hello gamers. I just woke up like an hour ago. Let me post on Twitter really quick. What what should my epic Twitter post say today? Thinking really hard. Please, sir, no touching of the stinger. Twitch.tv slash Tolomeo. It's perfect. It is perfect. <clears throat> What's going on, Flame Resistant? Game Boy, Finchbird, Hamada, Pit Panther, Sophonia, Mask Guide, Abyssal Spirit, C10. I, I probably sound sick right now. Or, or sad or like a little crying rat or some shit. I am 100% chilling. I just woke up. I got... I, my sinuses haven't cleared out yet, so I probably sound a little bit, a little bit off. But I'm I'm 100% chilling right now. I'm looking forward to playing this fucking game. What's going on, Hoifs? Castly, Amama, Spellsling. I had a bad dream. You started a new playthrough of Daughters of Ash. Why would that be a bad dream, man? What the fuck? What's going on, Oak and Shields? Neb, Battleship. Woo wee. God damn, how, how is your week going, fellow gamers? Hopefully you're all doing well. Oh, I've been trying to get some sleep. Unsuccessfully. I have I feel like I'm in a state of war with my dog, Sif. Hey, look, there's the little devil. Because whenever... I, I've said before, but whenever I look towards her while I'm sleeping, she'll come and wake me up. She thinks it's an invitation to Spoon. So, I've resorted to building a pillow fort around me. <laughs> so, I have a literal pillow fort around my head so that Sif cannot see me. Oh, wow. A lot of people just came in. Hold on. A thank you, Sniper Knight, for the resub. Tier 3 of 29 months. Thank you very much, gamer. Are you ready for this, this uh, epic game I'm about to play? Hello, Squid Plague, Skull Candy, Jaxper, Dank Dreams Don't Die, AF, Charizard, Unfixing Prawn, X Duel, All Fail. How do you have hunger if they have infinite free breadsticks? Because that breadsticks fucking suck dick, dude. I had a bit of trouble sleeping after watching that game. Good. Hello, Honey Pun, Trash Snake, Number One Johnny, Thomas J. Pretty good. Literally got a new job two hours ago. Good shit. What's the game plan for tonight? Get farther into this game. Maybe beat it. Who fucking knows? What's going on, Esper? I've been legitimately been so hyped for this stream. Me too. I'm just waking up. What's going on, Jaxper? Red Toddy? Ricola, are you going to cut the titty off the angel demons again? That's the plan. Hello, Melee. It's X7350. Thank you for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Skiui. Nursty. Tasteful Nudes, Knight, Mathner, Mr. Marv, Rumble, Chovy, I Say MD, Seek Brow, Hank Hill, Propane God, Riz, please do not post hit or miss emotes in my chat. You have been given a warning. Hello, Pineapple Punch, Frexian, Lex Brofist, Papa Fubi, Fizzle Snarf, Koyomi, Ebraragi. I got this game because of you. It's kind of ridiculous with the save points, but otherwise I'm like, I'm glad you've been enjoying it. I've been playing this, but I keep getting stuck like the buffoon I am. Yeah, yeah, that that's that kind of game. What's going on, King of Kieran? Okay, that's going to have to stop. I, tur I definitely turned my fucking, my chrome volume down. I guess it only did it for my TV and not for my actual headphones. That, that can't be happening. Thank you for the 100 bits, though. <laughs> this is a mad. Scared the fuck out of me. What's going on, Miss Doodles? Sim Simma. Macam. Masked Goido. Thank you, Snoopy McSoup, for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. How far in are you? Well, so... The last stream, we found out where the, where the next save point is. And we also found out... Where our first party member is. However, the attempt where I did find these things out, I kind of was fucking around. And so if I saved, I would have fucked myself. So I'm going to start from 
the point that we were starting at last stream, but I know exactly what to do when it should only take 10, 15 minutes to get back to where I was. Like, that's the thing about this game, is once you once you solve the portion of it, it's pretty easy to get back to where you were. What's good, communist? Electric right you. You better keep the girl. I'm absolutely sacrificing the girl. What's going on, Hellish? Great pains. You feeling better? I just have congestion because I haven't been awake very long. I feel fine. I feel fantastic. But when I wake up, I always have, like, uh, a lot of phlegm, mucus, whatever. I'm, I'm a disgusting fuck for, like, two hours after I wake up. So, if I sound sick, that's why. I'm not actually sick. I'm 100% one, I'm good. This guy finished building a PC. And as soon as, soon as go to put the Windows key in assist, it's already been used. Well, I know what to do for that. I'm not going to tell you, though, because I don't want to get banned. And thank you for the bits, Butternut Slap. Hello, Occult Enigma, Mr. Crow. Think girl for dual two-handers? Yeah, okay, so once I once I catch up with chat, I'm going to explain what I want to try to do. Um, my, my idea that I have, this brilliant idea. What's going on, Yogi, Iguana, Sushi? Thank you, Siri Advent, for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for using that on my stupid ass. Hello, Chump Cump, Cryptic Leo, Hardcore Henroy, Novice One Two Three, Empty Perspective, The Toad, Occult Enigma, Clockwise V, Nine Hour Vod, and assumed you beat this game. No, not even close, dude. I I hope you like this game because you better you better buckle the fuck down because I'm I. I enjoy it perhaps a little bit too much. What's going on, Gaban? I hope you feel better. Hello, Mr. Weeb. Thank you for the 11-month resub, Chump Cup. I'm looking for a boy with amazing elves that can suck the bark off of a dog. Let you know if I find one. Hello, Blind Ashland, Brew Rip. And thank you, Blue Man 900 for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Brad Schnaw, Artie Toy. Darth Nihilus, Wister. Kashmir, computerless citizen. I just started a level one, no block, no roll, dash, and yelte, and that flying bitch is sodomizing me. That's like one of the only bosses I actually remember how to do for that run. What part is fucking you up? I can help you out. What's going on, Wilt King? Lock on. This game is creepy and fun. I'm glad you're having fun. Because I've decided that when I beat this, since there's apparently multiple en endings and shit, I want to play on hard mode. I want to play the hard mode of this game. Um, cause we're only playing on normal, like, we're getting fucked this hard on normal. Hello, some nobody. So, I, I think we're gonna go, and if, unless you guys become bored with it by the time we finish, we'll probably at least try out hard mode, and thank you, Rush Shekels, for the 35-month resub. Appreciate it, dog. It's Solaire for Smash of Tomorrow's Nintendo Direct? I fucking hope not. What's going on, Look Clouds? Fried Potato. No fat world pictures. What happened to KH three? I'm gonna play KH three, but I like I found this game and I am I am addicted. I my my idea right now is I'm gonna play this tonight. I really doubt we're gonna beat it tonight. It's possible, but I doubt it. Tomorrow and Thursday I'll play Kingdom Hearts, and Friday I'll probably try to finish this game. Um, that's that's the idea I have rolling around in my in my empty head. When she flies up, I always get hit by her knife throws. All right, so this shit's going to make you feel like a retard. Dank dreams don't die. The way you avoid that, I don't remember exactly which direction it is. I think it's to the left, but you want to just strafe to the left. Walking speed. Don't run. Don't roll. Don't move forward. If she throws the knives, just walk to the left. And in Neo... That will actually deal with a surprising number of the projectile attacks, particularly the ones where they're firing multiple in, like, a cone, like with the knives that she does. So try strafing to the left, and that doesn't work, strafe to the right. And then what you want to do is, after she's done with the knives, as soon as they fly past you, run under her. Run under her for half a second, and then run back out, because when you're under her, it triggers her to do, like, this slam attack and, and get out of the air. And she'll just fall down, and if you hit her while she's recovering from this, you knock her the fuck down and do big dick damage. Game has quite some annoying bugs, but I still keep playing it. Oh, you're playing it too? Well, Palaplu was a good dog. Hello, tall bird. 
I tried playing this game on hard. I'm not sure if I experienced the glitches or what, but it was a wild ride. I'm actually really, I'm really happy to see so many people are playing this fucking game. Uh, that's really cool. What's going on, Gensel? Unlucky, lucky me. Thank you, Smug Skyler, for the seven month resub. I appreciate it. Hello, Daring Destiny. I'm, I'm scrolling down my chat manually, so I'm, I'm slow on everything. I apologize. Hello, Cody RC95. Totes not Geo. Okay. Hello, Gerald Bud XC. I beat Crosscode. I don't know what the fuck that is. Nicki Minaj should be the next fat world girl. Isn't the ice bitch like that too? Yeah, you just walk. You strafe and all of the ice projectiles just miss. Would you say you have found your passion? I am the least passionate man you can you can possibly see in life. What's going on, Black Royland? Gimpy Peanut? Chutzpa? Okay, I'm at the bottom of the chat, so let me mute my mic and, and sniffle. Let me do some snorts, get a couple lines, and then we'll start the fucking game. Alright, and thank you, it's like a pagoda or something, for the Prime resub, I appreciate it, thank you very much, I hope you're doing well. Okay, you guys ready to play uh, Fear and Hunger? So, let me try to do my best to explain, because I know not everyone knows what this fucking game is about. Um, let me capture the game before I start bloviating. It's a very difficult, like, survival horror JRPG hybrid game that's got a bunch of fucked up shit. Like, enemies have giant cocks called stingers, and they, they well, to, to deal damage, they thrust towards you. Um, so it, it, it's a very weird game, but it's really, really non-ironically good. It's very fun. I'm enjoying it profusely. And hopefully, uh, hopefully everyone else is, too. What's going on, Dave Talis? And thank you, Akilix, for the six month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna continue. Hello, Meat Man Spartan. See, we we found a save point last time, but we're gonna start on this one because I want to have a. Uh, I basically I want to fulfill certain. Objectives Like, I want to complete certain objectives before the save point this time. And the reason for that, it's not necessarily because I'm faith-gumming. Because uh, I did say that was against the spirit of the game. It's more search, make, making sure I've searched all the barrels and shit and done all of the things I need to do. So that I don't have to do it every time I die, like I was yesterday. I want to, I want to pretty much do the best possible job of minimizing busy work uh, after a death, right? So, my idea is we're going to go get all of the books, all of the chests and shit. I'm going to get the little girl, and the safe spot we get is actually not a safe spot. It's a book that you read. It's consumable. You can use it anywhere. And I think I'm going to save right by the cat, right before I give him the little girl, um, and after I've gotten the party member. What's going on, Sky Beast? That's the idea I have in my mind, because I, I still kind of want to see what the Necronomicon does. Alright. I'm weak from hunger. That's right, I gotta do all this shit. He wants to get the little girl. I do want to get the little girl and, and trade her away for a claymore. Oh, what's good, Jay? A long time no see. Hope you're doigin' well. I'm doigin' great, Jay. I hope you're doigin' good, too. Us, us bronies need to doigin' together. Did you kill the human hydra? I did. I did. Okay. Don't show... Oh, shit. I need to remember this is this game's not fucking around. Can't talk to chat anymore. I'm, I'm just gonna close chat for the remainder of the stream. So the game would change if you started over. The rooms and the layouts would be different. The general... I think the general goals, the general idea of any given room is more or less the same. Uh, the items would change. That's a pretty big consideration. And thank you, AVP, for the two-month resub. Monthly reminder that DS2 is the best Dark Souls game. And we see here we have someone who has escaped a... A, uh... <laughs> a fucking asylum. Alright. Uptime about 15 minutes. I just started. And I just... 
I, I spent 10 to 15 minutes just talking, too. I didn't uh, immediately start playing the game. I think the layout changes that much. It changes a little bit. Because I've, I've restarted already before, so I know it changes a, a minor amount. Particularly the first castle area. You feeling better? Yeah, I'm good. I just... I'm waking up. Glad to be watching a good nerd play weird games. Well, thank you for the six months, Drew Hall. I appreciate it, homie. General gist of what's going on. We want to kill this dude because he drops a two-handed sword, which is pretty much the best weapon up until this point. Because it's it's the only weapon that we can get this early on that's capable of one-shotting the giant cock guys. And that's very important because on the second turn... If you haven't cut off uh, a certain limb of theirs, they can they can do a coin flip, which fucks you. Game is a little quiet. Okay, hold on. Hopefully you can hear better now. Playing MHGU, what weapon do I use? Try them all out and see what you like. I'm going to say Greatsword because it's what I like. And it kills doors. Yeah, it's good enough to beat wooden doors down. Oh, fuck. All right, this is this is a rough start. I'm free. I've, I've forgotten all of this shit, <laughs> and I need to. Uh, I need to take my worm juice and cure my poison. I'm I'm not doing too good here. I'm forgetting my order of operations. Some encounters and toss coins are so fucked up. True, I'm looking forward to trying the hard mode out when I beat normal. What's good, Airlock? Still have dark orb. I do not. See, look at that fucking deck. Too bad he's never gonna get to use it. <laughs> the last thing that happens before he dies is a singular pulse from the cock. That's a, that's one way to go. What's going on, Matoko? Is this a roguelike? Kind of. It's it's like a roguelike JRPG survival horror game. It has elements of all of them. Like the items you get from containers and shit are random. And the biggest thing, like, the biggest unique mechanic, which is honestly one of the shittiest mechanics, um, is the coin flip. The coin flip shit kind of sucks. Like, in various actions in the game, you'll be required to flip a coin. Like, let's say hypothetically the fight goes on with this guy for a couple of turns. He uses an attack called Trample, which does upwards of 70 damage, and the only way to avoid it is guessing heads or tails right. If you fuck it up, you just get decked. Um, and if you if you go open a chest, you, you coin flip. And if you fail the coin flip, you get absolutely fucking nothing. You do not get shit. But if you win, you get some pretty good items. So, the coin flip is probably the, the biggest contributor to RNG roguelike shit, I guess. What's going on, Zen Master? Most creative name. Oh yeah, I need to remember you guys can see my other fucking screen. That's not good. Yeah, I need to be careful. I'm getting complacent and comfortable. Let me know if the volume is okay. I need to get the skinning knife. I need to be super thorough. What's going on, McGelatin? Swift Darkness. Stinger's pulsating, by the way. Might. It's a little loud. It's not like it's music, though, right? I think it's it's fine. Let me turn it down a bit. What's going on, Oak Tree? What happened to our girl companion? A variety of things uh, ha happened to our girl companion, and depending on the run you're talking about. One time she got killed by the stinger of, of this asshole. Um, we've sacrificed her to several different deities. Uh, lots of things have happened to that young lass. What's going on, Sozoi? A stream where you can finally hear the game destroyed. No, you can't fuck her, thankfully. Hello, not really, Oscar. I didn't do it intentionally. I apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm waking up. Okay, I'm, I'm I gotta get the shit out of my eyes. I'm sorry. Should we use the small key there? Oh, fuck, that's right, these gnomes are a thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. These fucking assholes. Alright. I'm gonna talk 
talk to these retards. You know what? I think I'm just gonna try to run. Fuck these asshole gnomes. <laughs> these are these are the worst, by the way. These gnomes fucking suck. You don't really want to fight them. Like this is the interesting thing about this game. For those of you who who haven't been watching it too much, you don't get experience from fighting enemies. Like you don't level up. So if you can avoid an encounter. It's best to avoid it, unless they drop something that you need. And the gnomes do not give you shit as far as I can tell, so you just do not want to fight the gnomes if you can if you can ever avoid it. Okay. Is this a restart? It's a save point that's 18 minutes into the game? What's going on, our face? Can you skin the reptilian? No, you can't. You can't. So we're going to kill this ass. So then how do you level up? From what I can gather, what you want to do is there are items called soul stones. And after you kill an enemy, you can capture the enemy's soul. And with two of these, you can get another skill. And I think that's how you level up. I'm pretty sure that's how you level up. You can also curse your weapons, but we haven't ever gotten two soul stones on our own. So we will hopefully find out today. See, now that he goes to the basement, the reward for that is 40 coins. I'm trying I'm trying to make sure to do everything I can before I go into the caves and get the next save point. What about Blizzard firing people? Yes, I did. What does skinning do for enemies? You basically get their hides, like you get guard skin or, or whatever the fuck. No, Matoko, we'll find out tonight. Difficult to level up. Everything is difficult in this game. This is not an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. We we have been getting thoroughly dicked down on normal mode. There's a hard mode, too. So. I need to find a better helmet. Yeah, like, we can't kill a variety of things we've encountered. Why the fuck is this guy here now? He has not been in this room for, like, the last the last ten runs. Now he's here again, so... I'm gonna take some fucking damage for no reason. What an asshole. Fuck you and your stinger, little bitch. <laughs> fucking hate these things. I need to skin them. I need to skin all of them. Because I might... I might get some benefit out, off of doing that. So, we got a good book. This is good. This is something we want. Because this is the book that tells us how to make a fetus. Where did that one coal member? We don't know, Davian. We have no fucking idea. He just stopped showing up after after a certain point. Okay, chat heads or tails. Tails? Fuck you, chat. <laughs> Fuck you! It's all good. It's all good. That's that's just that's the fucking that's the game. <laughs> that's the game, dude. That is that is gonna keep happening. Kill Shakespeare. That's what I want to try. I want to try to kill Shakespeare today. That's my goal. If nothing else, I want to beat the shit out of Shakespeare. Because my idea is, what we could do if we were feeling particularly cheeky is we could use the girl and try to super zerg him down. We could get the two party members both with a two... Well, I guess I can't get the girl and two two-handed swords. But we could have the girl throwing, like, molotovs and hopefully the guys chopping the arms off. What do the priests do? Um, they're, they're kind of pieces of shit. They're really weak, but on, I think, turn two, they start this incantation that if you don't if you don't successfully do the coin flip the incantation just outright kills you like it doesn't do any damage it seriously just kills you like no matter how much health you have you will die if you fail that coin flip so i feel like it's not really the best idea to go fuck with them but maybe later 
I also know that they drop their they drop their robes, and once you kill one, you can put their robes on and talk to them. So that's that's something. Okay. Scoop and glass vial. Let's make that fetus. Because I have a feeling we're going to be able to do some dope shit with it. I like how it's the only thing we can make. Literally, the only thing we can craft is a fetus. <laughs> Alright, we're doing it. I wonder if it's just a food item. Because I know you can eat it. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to try to see if there's something I can do with it. Oh, there are, Davian. We found one last stream. I'm just... I'm, I'm starting in an earlier save so that I could do all of this boring shit, like searching all these containers, before I get to the next party member and save. So I, if, if I die, I don't have to do all this shit again. Uh, if that makes sense. I'm trying, I'm trying to save... Save you from tedium. Okay, I do have two explosive vials. I need one for the mines, but I can clear this out. Any jump scares in this game? Not really. Fetus does not look well. Well, if you read the book, it says that the fetus is... It, it, it grows at a, at a ridiculous rate. Like, it turns into... Let me read the book. I'll just read the book for you. Okay. Black liquid has proven to be very potent in my previous research, but this new discovery is unlike anything I expected. A mixture with human blood has created a new artificial life form. This also a tiny fetus with human features. It is breathing lightly and seems to be in constant agony. Life form has shown, shine, shown, shown signs of rapid growth. It's already an ever hungry baby. All right, that's all. Right. I killed the child. I was growing attached to it. No helping that. So it grows at a ridiculous pace, which is interesting. Heads or tails, chat. I rust that tails. God damn it. It's a heads day, I guess. Okay. Tails. Okay, we got one. Alchemelia volume 2. That's really good. That gives us recipes for potions and shit. So you can have an army of fetus children? I guess so, in, in, in principle. Default to heads? That's what I was doing yesterday. It was giving me tails every fucking time. It was actually wicked annoying. Okay. I found a cheese. What's going on the CJ Cat head? We've get, we're getting a lot of fucking bone salts. That actually sucks so much dick. How many of those do we have at this point? Three fucking bone saws. Redo the run if you get bad RNG? No. Once I once I get to the save point, we're, we're saving. I do want to do a new run after I've finished this one. I want to play through on hard mode if people still want to see the game because I think it could be fun. Hey, buddy. He's friendly. Oh, shit. I fucked up. All right, I might, I might die here. Uh oh. I'm definitely fucked. Alright, chat. Heads or tails. I fucked it. That was the only time we've ever failed to escape from one of these two. I'm picking heads because he's about to thrust me with a head. Okay, it was heads. Alright, get this fucking thing away from me! Woo! <laughs> We absolutely would have died if we fucked that up. I, I really, I really did not do a very good job there. I was just kind of winging it. Okay, that, that didn't go as badly as it seems. He, he always gets a hit on me with the hacker. The little meat cleaver. Oh shit! We can beat the fuck out of this door. Fuck you. 
bone spurs, you little slut. That's right. It's your favorite fantasy race, gnomes. Like, Darkest Dungeon, but darker. It's way more fucked up than Darkest Dungeon, I think. Although I haven't played a lot of Darkest Dungeon. I only played a little bit and got mad <laughs> and refunded the game. Which is funny, because I actually think this game is, is at times shittier with the RNG than Darkest Dungeon. Okay. Darkest Dungeon is... Just has Eldritch Horror, not fucked up shit. Alright, I need to find everything. Saying a lot. You don't get no mags in Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon's item management makes me re. I'm done. Did I get everything in here? Oh, I, I should cook. Let's cook some meats. Oh, yeah. What do I miss so far? Not really anything. We were just kind of... I'm doing a run where I'm trying to get all of the barrels, all of the items, etc. Before I go and get to the next save point, And that's when we're going to start doing new shit. So then... For, for the time being, not, not much is really happening, truth be told. Explosive... Dude, we're getting good RNG with those. We can... Explode all of the fucking uh, landslides that we know of now. As long as this game... I don't know. No fucking clue, dude. What's going on, Awood? Mock-up book. Alright, so... Heads or tails, chat? Tails? I swear to God, you, you motherfuckers. Alright, thank you. We got the Necronomicon. Okay, dude, this is the fucking run. That's... It, it says ancient book, but that's the Necronomicon. That's... So... We can get the Claymore from the cat. We don't We don't have to get the Necronomicon. I'm doing heads. Hey, thank you, Pandy, for the four-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. God damn it. I fucked that one up, though. Okay, heads or tails? No, never mind. Never mind, that wasn't one. But we're about to get a chest that's going to require a coin flip. So don't worry too much. Delivered on the sexual violence claim? Considering they're enemies with stingers. That if you if you don't kill them quick enough, they go, oh, 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 while, while thrusting their stinger at you, I would say yes. I would I would say that that is that is uh, it is absolutely delivered. Okay. Tails. Sorcerer's stone. We Harry Pothead now. I don't even know what the fuck that is. What the hell is the Sorcerer's Stone? I'm guessing it's like an armor or some shit. Ring restores my- Okay, so it's like the Ring of Raids, except it's for your sanity. So now we can- we can heal all of our sanity by attacking doors. Which is- That's- I don't know about you. But whenever I'm feeling a little bit fucked in the head, that's what I do in real life. Okay. But, for the time being... I'm, I'm trying to think where I need to go. What have I not done yet? The library in the northern area and the place with the fucking nymphs. I thank you, Big B, for the 27-month resub. I appreciate it, homie. How are you? Oh, I should probably pick these herbs up, huh? Be very careful... Teenagers always punching walls when they are feeling edgy. Have you guys ever lost Mario Kart and then shoved your head into the wall and then and then punched a big asshole in the drywall with your head? Played Puppet Combo's new game yet? No. 
free that one jabroni? I have not. I should try that, but I don't know if that's going to result in an encounter that, it, that fucks with me. 40 coins from the print. You're right. We're, we're going back, though. We're going back. I'm... Right now, I'm, I'm going to fall down that hole intentionally. Are you going to kill the no mommy? Yes, but I might wait until I have the second party member. There's not really a, a, an urgent, pressing reason to kill it. Like, once you get there, right? You can wait. Although, the thing is, our second party member is going to be a lot shittier than our main character. Because he, we can't put the arm guards on both characters. And that sucks, because the arm guards... Okay, making sure. The arm guards make it to where you cannot lose your limbs in combat. So they're probably going to chop his legs off and turn him into a nugget. Okay. Talk to the cave mother. I scooped an egg out of her vagina. What's going on, Matt Mank? Thanks for the 14 months. How are you? My friend used to humble brag by showing cracks holes he made while gaming. Nice. I'm so fucking strong, I could punch a hole in this wall. You regen limbs? You don't? <laughs> you don't, Davey. Not, not as far as I can tell. I'm sure there is a way, but... Knight OP? I like Knight the most. I don't know if I'd say it's OP. The Fellowship. I don't think I've seen this book. Fellowship, the following pages tell the events that took place in the year 809 after the birth of our Christ, the Ascended One. Thank you, Danny3198, for the sub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. The tale of the Fellowship is familiar to many, but few know the factual story of which all the poems and songs are made of. The Fellowship consisted of five people. Francis the Dominator, Nilvin the Endless One, Valtale the Enlightened One, Chambara, the tormented one. And there's the fifth one, he who never aspired for the same greatness as the rest of the party, whose story bears no listeners, the forgotten one, the furtive pygmy. <laughs> What's going on, Mar? Maybe you could use growth hormones to regrow. I don't know, maybe. We still have a lot to learn about this game. The Fellowship was formed to seek the older gods, who left humanity without guidance, without aid, in times of great peril. The great kingdoms were slowly riding away, and the grand values. Mankind once and forward were displaced by defiled principles and practices. Back then, there existed an ancient tomb, the ancient city of Mahavre that worked as a hub for multiple different planes of existence. A place where man could meet his maker. Those who would set their foot inside would end up in a forever going turmoil of godly dimensions and planes of afterlife. It is here. The fellowship would demand the rights of self-governing for mankind. Freedom to choose our own destiny and build the future we deserve. Okay, that told me absolutely fucking nothing. Heads or tails? I should get like a heads emote and a tails emote for this shit. Hey, thank you, Slay Hair, for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How are you? Oh, yeah, big boy. Okay, that's so good. This is such a good fucking run. This is the book that gives us counter. I'm not going to read it again because we've read it several times. That's the dream world? Yes, yes. The, that book was about the dream world that, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get access to this time. Studies of Almer 1. Creation of Life. Another one of those. Saved yet? Nope. Alright, this is the last bookcase chat. Hold on, hold on. I need, I need to blow my nose. I'm going to mute for a second. Alright, sorry about that. Hey, thank you for the 145 bits, Arrow Kitsune. I appreciate it. I had an awful nightmare because of this game. Nice! Good shit, dude! Hello, Sean. How much have I missed any bunny orgies? No, no, you haven't. No bunny orgies have been missed. We're actually about to go there. Fucking goddamn it. <laughs> Alright, it, it's fine. We got the Necronomicon. We really we really can't be bitching about anything that we get. We've, we've got a pretty good repertoire of shit right now. What's going on, Fitzy J? It's 
pick up all the little herby werbies. Is the asshole gonna shoot the arrow at me? There we go. It'd be fucked if you could get hit by that. I see. If you could give all dogs in the world one superpower, what would it be? The superpower to not wake me up every morning. <laughs> that would be the superpower I'd give them. Okay. Yes, I am. Immortality? I would give them biological immortality. Like, they would live forever. They wouldn't die of disease and shit. But if, like, hypothetically, if a gamma ray burst were, were to hit the planet, they wouldn't just be adrift in space for all of eternity. You know what I mean? Because that shit would suck, Dick. <laughs> that would be no fucking good. All right. Hey, thank you, CY9N, for the two-year resub. Goddamn. Thank you very much. How are you? We have enough explosive vials that we can actually explore this little side area with the tree, too. Their lungs bursting over and over in space makes an endless hell. I don't remember if there's any... Wait, can I... Can I put my seed in one of these corpses? I know that's... That probably... For those of you who didn't watch the entirety of the last stream, that probably sounds really fucked up and out of left field, but one book was talking about doing that. Like, I'm not just saying that randomly. Like, it's not coming from my heart. It's coming from the game. Leave me be. I'm turning into a butterfly. I'm gonna be a pretty butterfly. Do you think he's gonna be a pretty butterfly? What's going on, Ethan? Yeah, I have two explosive vials left. Alright, I gotta I gotta I gotta censor this part for you guys. Enjoy my little screen, because this is the part where there's a gangbang of, of nymphs, so give me just a second and I will heal and we'll be good to go. I need to eat. All right. I wonder if you you re recover hunger from this little bunny thing. That'd be dull. Okay. What's going on? BK. Is it graphic? Oh, it's very graphic. It's a gangbang of 12 couples having sex. Some of them are, like, sucking dick and shit, too. It's... It's no good. I don't really... I don't really wanna... Wanna show my stream chat. <laughs> I don't wanna risk it. I don't want Twitch being like, You can't play this fucking game anymore. I was sitting there last night, like, waiting for them to email me. Like, why the fuck are you playing this game, asshole? Don't you know that we have standards on our website? It's known as an orgy. Orgy gangbang. Same shit, different pile. It's, it's... You're right, it's an orgy. They're interchangeable in my mind for some reason. Okay. And now, we have one last thing we need to do. What's going on, Cynical Dupe? We need to fall right here. Tail. It, do it really doesn't matter. Like, I don't care if I win this one or lose it. The outcome is basically the same. Still don't know what the ankle hurting actually does. Worse than the orgy scene? I don't remember the orgy scene in Witcher 13, but there are 24 individuals having sex at once. And and you can, you can see shit in this one. Did it get shown the first time? I don't think so. Now we can rescue the knight and save so we can try to open the necro. True, hold on. Let me make sure I have as many explosive vials as I think I do. Yes, I can do this. It's a new run. No, it's the same one from last time, but I'm getting all of the items and shit before I go to the second save point. 
Okay, chat. Don't fucking fail me or we wasted a vial. I don't have the recipe for it, Noodle. Oh my god. Okay. That was my fault. Should have listened. <laughs> god damn it. Not picking tails. I'm really about to just start always picking tails. I'm not I'm not even kidding. I'm subbing because of that. Shit. Sorry, dude. Didn't know. The game was fucking with me. Okay. I thank you, Joy Jack. I appreciate the three month resub, dude. Thank you very much. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I, I kind of. Should we, should we talk to the dude in here? Oh, I have the cell keys? Oh, fuck. I didn't even know. Mercenary. Oh, hey, you got me out of here. I'm Car of the Sal. A mercenary at your service. Why were you in prison here? I was caught up in one of those malformed prison guards. Conversation took an awkward turn for some reason. He got fucked. Feeling kind of weak after being left here for ages. Would you mind if we travel? Are you serious? Fuck yeah, dude. Join my shit. You mean we could have had a fucking party member this entire goddamn time? Fuck. All right, I'll take it. Let's see, what can we give you? Give you the longsword, the eagle crest shield, the cloth hood, iron currents. I don't know if I want to give you either of those. Are you scared of ghosts? Yeah. What's this? Simple crude doll depicting a long-haired man is laying on the ground. The doll gives you chills and eerie vibe can be felt from it. Peculiar doll. Gee, I wonder where that's from. <laughs> I, I wonder where that's from. Huh. Shit. Woo! Fucking got it, this game. Fucking absolute legend. Doll is armor, it's an accessory. Okay, so now... Are you fucking kidding me? I fucking hate this game. He stole my shit. What a fucking cock smoker. Oh my god. <laughs> what a piece of fuck. Okay, so next time we're killing him. Next time we're... we're he, 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 he fucked base for the money, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yoinked me. God damn it, dude. We saved him and he stole our shit. Fuck. And we gave him gear and shit, too. We, we decked him out and he just fucking yeeted. God damn it. It's a good thing we didn't give him a ring, right? Thank you for the raid, Magenta. How was your stream? Thank you very much. Hello, popcorn boy. Say the password, and thank you for the 13 months, Magenta. I appreciate it. Thank you. What gear? Well, okay, I equipped him with gear. Like, I, I saw him as a party member. I'm like, I'm going to give him iron plate mail. I'm going to give him my sword and shield. And I did. And he fucking ran off with it. Gave him... No, I still have my two-handed sword. I just can't go back to the shield now. I'm locked into the two-handed sword. I, I cannot switch for scary fights anymore. So I really got fucked there. I really did get fucked. But that's okay. That's what the game's about. Now we know. The girl is staying quiet. What's going on, fat nerdy potato? Game teaches hard lessons. Yeah, yeah, it does. And before the girl robs you. That would be fucked. K 
Can you not kill her this time? I'm definitely gonna send her to the fucking cat. Are you out of your mind? Why the fuck would I want her? She's gonna die to some miscellaneous mob if I don't sacrifice her. Always steal since last stream? Well, that's the first time we've unlocked it, Rick Harrison. That was, that was a different party member. That's not the one from yesterday. Um, that was a completely different guy, and we, we got diddled by him. Girl robbing you would be fucked, unlike selling her to the pedophile cat. See, exactly. Now you're speaking my language. And now, since we have the Necronomicon, we can just fucking pawn her off for the... Pawn her off for the Claymore, right? I think I'm gonna get to the save point before I sell her, just in case I want to try doing something with her. I don't want her to be permanently gone from my game. Finish a game with her and your party? I'm sure there's a... There's a reward for doing that. What's going on, Mardos? That she's like the good end. This way. There will be a ballista. Yes. We'll kill him. Should be no problem unless I miss. <laughs> Imagine hitting a zero on a stinger. <laughs> okay, we gotta be quick. We gotta loot before the fucking crow comes. Oh, fuck! This... Oh, no. The mercenary who just betrayed us is right here. What do you fucking want, asshole? Hey, great to see you alive. Dude! You tricked me! There's no avoiding it, I guess. Alright. The crow's in here? This guy's in here? Dude, we are so fucked. Let me say goodbye to your arm, asshole. Little girl, go for his leg. Bite his ankle. I missed. Girl lost her left arm. It's bleeding heavily. Well, that's delightful. Dude, come on! Two misses?! And now he's stealing all my shit. Okay. We need to use an item on the girl. Just use, he's gonna steal our blue vial, so just use the blue vial on the girl. God damn it! We just fucking lost because we saved this asshole. Oh, what a piece of fuck! Go for the torso. I don't think it's gonna. He's just gonna heal. Is the problem? with no hands what a fucking god i can't sacrifice you now little buddy <laughs> how did she do that but now we gotta leave because the crow is still a thing oh my god <laughs> this fucking game is retarded okay i hope the crow's not there still we gotta skin him and search him.
Fuck you. <laughs> cure her bleed. You're right, I need to cure both of our bleeds. Sleeping lurkers? Dude, I haven't even been streaming an hour. Nobody's sleeping yet. Are you kidding me? Okay, now I want to clear her because if she dies... I don't want to. I don't want to lose my ring. Okay. Didn't get any? No, I got three vials back. It's not the best. I'm at one body, but it's something, right? Okay. What about if we go here to the to the recipes? Can I make some good shit? Alchemelia too. I don't think that gives me any potions of any sort. I can't believe that that throwing knife shit fucking worked. <laughs> that shit was so fucking funny, dude. The Hail Mary throwing knife. I guess they're really good. I I guess that I need I need to uh I need to utilize those more. It was poison too. So you throw them at the head and they're fucked. Damn it, she did, she did like 18, but she did it to the head, so it was a one-shot. Alright. Never expected her to be able to throw him with no... <laughs> yeah, like, this, this armless, droopy-eyed child. Uh, okay. What else do we need? We're... What, that, that's still really unfortunate. We lost a lot of fucking health from that, but that's okay. We managed to, just by the skin of our fucking teeth, make it out of that situation alive. That was the last hit. That's true, but we, we definitely hit his head with a fucking knife. So it wouldn't surprise me if that was what did it. We need to be careful because there's like a, a ghoul here that can fuck us up. This is the save book, unless it's randomized, which would be fucked up. Nope, that's definitely the save book. Surprise when he turns on you? I mean, I should have expected it, but still, we helped him out. We gave him shit. Oh, fuck. Honestly, we should save here. It's right next to the party member. We're gonna save. I'm not gonna be greedy. We're fucked. No, no, I have an idea. I have an idea, dudes. This is it. We're, we're, we're gonna get our revenge on that fucking bastard crow. We have a bear trap. Where the fuck did little little cock go? Use the Necronomicon? Okay. Heads and tails, chat. Tails? Okay. What's gonna happen? Summoning powers that exceed your understanding. Next to this ancient presence, you're nothing but a feeble ant. You learn hurting. All right, so we got bone hurting juice. Delightful. That costs forty sanity, but it caught. It creates a devastating vortex. But you know what we have? We have that infinite sanity ring. Okay, we gotta try this shit. Where's this fucking monster? I'm gonna use hurting on you. That really isn't that good.
Can I hit his head with it? You're fine, girl. Stop crying. Okay, so if that consistently hits the head like that, that's... That could be really good. However, he was already really damaged, and I think him being damaged makes it easier to hit him in the fucking noggin. Also, I have ten mind. <laughs> I'm, uh... You were losing your mind. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. I gotta I gotta fix this. Let's eat the fetus. I don't think it did anything. You know what we could do? If we trade the girl in, we can get another save. Um, guards with no hands? No, I have hands. The little girl doesn't. Like, look at her. That's so sad, by the way. <laughs> she saved my ass, though. I actually... I really don't want to give her away. But... She's gonna fucking die to, like, a miscellaneous monster, so you might as well get use out of... Out of that, right? What do you guys think? Oh, shit. We don't want to fight him. He can kill us. We don't get our party member. <laughs> we don't get our party member. I guess we have to get here in a within a certain amount of time. Or maybe it's because the girl. Recognize him from somewhere? There's a slight glimmer in eyes resembling a teardrop. This game just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Task in the dungeons is done? Does that mean I, I actually just fucking leave now? I wonder. Okay. Mission changes. On your back. No, this is the same character. Like, we, we got to this guy yesterday with the same fucking character. Something we did on, on the way here uh, caused us to, to lose out on him. Okay. We want Sorcerer's Stone to get our sanity back. Was in love with that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I read that part. Although they didn't really do anything. When, when I saved him, he wouldn't even have sex with me. I'm getting my mind back. <laughs> Has to be the Merc? I'm thinking so, but I don't know. Hey, thank you, Texas, for the one-year resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Love equals sex? You fuck yeah, dude. You serious? What's going on, baby? Let's finish Sandy's lashes. How'd they go? Man, we got dicked, huh? We got dicked this run. Everything was going great until we went into the fucking mine. And now now we have a droopy-eyed armless child and no second party member. And the, also something that we that we can't really neglect is the fact that the crow is in this dungeon with us right now. Like, the crow is... We're, we're, the crow is going to come and beat the shit out of us. The 
mod in progress with DB? I have not. She saved your ass. She's gonna get fucked by the crow, though, is the problem. That's what I'm saying. I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I do have an idea. Thank you, Blorath, for the tier 2 resub of 17 months. I appreciate it. As far as ideas that come from me go, I think it's a good one. But I have to execute it properly, which is gonna be the hard part. Droopy eyed armless child, G get that fucking head. Come on, kid. beat it but at what cost at what cost she died fuck you never forget you little one You are the MVP of this run. Never did I ever expect someone with zero attack to be such a potent force of, of, of danger. So I, I have broken bones now, though. I have osteoporosis. Which is not good. I think we're fucked. But we do have that, that door key now. We can see what's behind the door. I got bo yeah, I got bone hurting disease. Fate was probably better than one. Yeah, she died a hero. She she died a hero, and I respect that. So what we learned that throwing knives are actually really fucking good though. Like the the little girl. Can, can be a pretty potent force for combat if you've got throwing knives to give her. We tried that jail, but the corpse will despawn. So, I think it may be if you have it on hand, but having it on hand is a pretty big ask. Miss you trading her? No, we killed the crow together. Her, her throwing knife acquired a, a, acquired a victory for us once more. We actually beat the shit out of the crawl. A soul stone. Do I have two of those now? No, only one. When all corpses end up somewhere in the blood pit? Maybe? I think about from the vendor was a scam though. See, that's true. You're right. This harder than Dark Souls? Yes. Well, fuck. I can't believe that mercenary dicked us though. Tell you about no, don't tell me shit, please. I don't I don't want help with the game. I wanna I wanna try to figure it out on my own. I'm I'm almost certainly gonna do multiple runs of this game, so there's no reason to try to to try to tell me stuff. The merc Yeah, the mercenary absolutely fucking destroyed us. We got greedy. We had a god tier run, we had the Necronomicon, we had all sorts of good shit. And then we freed the mercenary, he stole our shit, and he fucked us. He fucked us. And he almost killed us, and possibly killed the person that was in the prison. 
Paranoid because of fear? No, I'm not. Drink some ale. But goddamn, what a wild ride this run has been, right? Fucking shit went south so quickly. <laughs> it's actually incredible just how, like... It, it, it's like a switch. It just flips and you're fucked, and there's not much you can do about it. I like it. Rogue it, it does follow a story, but it's also kind of a roguelike. So, if we get lucky enough to, to mystically get the prison keys again, and we need to kill the mercenary the first time. Because he is not someone we want... I... It was bad enough that he stole our shit, but he comes back and tries to kill you. So that was not good. And thank you, Swaggins, for the three-month resub. A wonderful month in the Rat Congregation. Thank you very much. How are you doing today, dude? What's going on? Come and find me. Let the blood flow. The door seems to be locked. There's an emblem of a crow on the lock. Use the crow emblem key. So we're going to at least see what's behind this door now. Miserable mortal worm, you wish to use me? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, no. Yes. A big dick sword is what it looks to be. 122. There, this sword is going to kill us. This so it, it's a talking sword. There's no reason, like no smart person would see this shit and be like, "Yeah, we we want to use this. We we want to use this." Doing great, just here to watch a chill stream. It it has not been chill so far. We are getting absolutely dicked down by this fucking game. Everything is everything is going uh going completely shitty. Run is fucked? Oh, I agree. I'm going to use it. But I'm just saying, like, it might not be the blessing that it that it seems to be. It's one is it really one hand? And I gave my shield to that asshole. I guess I have a wooden buckle. It is one-handed. What the fuck? See if you can save without a coin flip? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Wait, why am I fighting this asshole? Alright, I dodged his, his bullshit. 445! <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! All right, I played that pretty well. Defensive stance works very well on those guys. Looks like the type that makes rage quit for like an hour. This game's super fucking difficult. It's 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 rough. It's rough. I've played it for ten hours and there's been like two save points and almost everything fucks me in short order. It's it's really fun though. It's a game where knowledge is pretty much all of your power. Uh, once you once you figure out what it is you need to be doing and figuring out more optimal strategies, it's not really a big ask to get back to where you were after you've died. Shakespeare? We're not going to be able to beat the shit out of Shakespeare. Crow is dead? Alright. You, you guys are really going to make me... F Wait. What the fuck? What's going on, Pearl? Why the fuck is he here? Is he dead or is he sleeping? Use the soul stone. So what happens if we sleep? We can just save. Okay. Hey, thank you, Roy Kepler, for the 26-month resub. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. The problem is, we still have a broken bone. Like, even though we have a save, a save, I think this run is still fucked. I don't think there's really too much we're gonna be able to do to salvage this. But we can mess around. 
Maybe. Do you think we can beat Shakespeare? Probably not. I really doubt we can, but we, we do have a big dick sword right now. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. I have an idea. It's a bad idea. But we'll try it after we fight Shakespeare. That's with counter and defensive stance. Come here, buddy. Now both of his hands are on fire. Mm! Oh yeah, baby! Fuck you, Shakespeare. Cell key F3, okay. So, uh, it, it looks like hurting is actually overpowered. Like, the, the hurting spell you get from the Necronomicon is actually genuinely OP. Because you can just hit their head with it. You don't... It doesn't seem like you can miss with it. Because normally... Alright, so... So check this shit. Check this shit. The way this works in the game is if you break their head more often than not, they fucking die. But the accuracy for hitting their head is dog shit until you've broken other parts of their body. Like, usually you have to break their legs and then maybe you'll have a 60% chance to hit their head. But this seems to just... Pass go several times and immediately let you bonk him in the fucking noggin. And it's OP right now because I have this ring. It costs sanity, but I have a ring where I can use an exploit to just fight doors over and over and get all of my sanity back. What's going on, Spork? And thank you shh, for the three-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Wow, holy fuck. We just... God damn. Are you fine with cheesing exploits, dude? Okay, if you didn't see the last stream, we we, we found a, a nice peaceful lake area. And there was a shiny thing on the shore, and so we searched for it. And an axolotl. A giant fucking axolotl popped out of the lake and stunlocked us to death 100 to 0. There was actually, like, I know it's a meme, but there was actually nothing we could do. It, it seriously, like, turn one, it stunned me till death, and I was at full health. This game cheeses you. <laughs> so, I don't really, I don't really have too much uh, remorse for cheesing it back. And the, sh and the shit pit, of course. Pass my driver's theory test? Driver's theory test? What's going on, Rogue? Happens now if you try to leave. Actually, you're right. I need to do that. Because it said that we just leave now, right? Like, maybe the run's actually fucked. Let's try to just leave this entire castle. Crow door? We already did the crow door. Hi, Tolo. How's Apollo Rogue? Man, what a fucking dope game. I love this shit. You think you're doing good? Like, I'm talking about how I think I have a way to pretty much solve this part of the game. I go through and get everything, and I'm like, oh, well, maybe, maybe I could free this mercenary. He seems like a nice guy. Wasn't a nice guy at all. There more, yeah. You you can pick classes. You can pick like a mage and shit. S search shit in the corpses. Yes, it's fucked up. I don't like doing it <laughs> because there's a there's a head that tries to beat the shit out of you. Wait, hold on, hold on. I want to try something though. Maybe since we use the Necronomicon and we have a sentient evil sword, he'll be more amicable to speaking with us. Need 
more fresh blood for the ritual? What are you doing? Imminent Doom approaches, but it's a glorious way to go. What is your origin? Cross your path with the wrong floating head. I am the great wizard of the Eastern Sanctuaries, Nasra, the bringer of chaos. I'm sure you've heard the legends and tell the tales I brought to the Western world. Great war, plague, and darkness, the world where nightmares roam the battlefields among soldiers. You've been given a rare audience with such a fabled and legendary figure. Alright, well, well, bye. I don't want to get eaten by the Sam Squanch. Look behind him. Dude, that was like our fourth time with the wizard. I know about the Sam Squanch behind him. I, I know. I'm very well aware. We've, we've been crushed by him twice. We're trying to figure out if there's a way to beat him. I guess we could try with the sword. I don't know what happens if we try to do it again, though. No, I guess we only get one opportunity. And try to kill that big dick monster? I think we gotta give him blood vials. He says he needs more blood for the ritual. Maybe we can give... Maybe we can give him the girl. Thank you, Brian RG, for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh! Game brings out the best in Tolo. True. Girl does seem to be the center of most things in this game. Oh, that's right. There's this asshole. He sells maps. I want to buy it. Okay. Sell you the maps. It's a deal. Map 1 and map 2. So, let me look at this shit. Map 1. Oh, yeah, I know where I am. All right. What's going on, Faded Oaf? This, huh. What about map two? What do you guys think about this shit? I'm not... Huh. <laughs> I don't think that's good for figuring out where I am at this particular moment in time. I'm gonna be honest with you. And thank you, Usagi Shiro, for the 11-month resub. Is this really any good? I think so. I think this game's fucking awesome. I mean, look at, look at how lit chat is. Like, chat fucking... I have a feeling that overall chat likes this game almost as much as I do. Like, this shit's fucking crazy. We're fucking... We're ready to have... We're ready to procreate. Oh, yeah, we just left, dude. We, we just left. We won. You escaped the dungeons of fear and hunger. Part of you still doesn't believe this to be the truth. You still smell all the blood and gore that seeps through the seams of the ancient stone walls of the dungeon. You can still feel the gaze of hundreds of past warriors sacrificed in pools of blood. Now let's try. It wasn't really a win. It was a bad ending. It's a, it's a you fucked up ending. We did not actually complete this game. Still feel the pressure of never-ending darkness that underground caverns offered. You can still hear the distant flapping of the wings. Feel dizzy just imagining the rail tracks. Oh. You know what? 
We have not been down the path with the ghost. You know, you remember what I'm talking about? That part of the mines that has like the big tall fucking ghost? It's talking about rail tracks and there are rail tracks there. How did you find this game? I found out while looking for Game Jolt games. We're in the showers at Ram Ranch. An excellent retirement. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna piss and get a drink, and we are gonna play more of this shit, and we're gonna we're gonna find some more epic gamer content. So, we have a definitive goal. We have to figure out what causes that dude in the prison to die. Good, it's not even an ending as far as I'm concerned. And thank you, War, th War388, for putting Kylo in the cock shed. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. A little stale meme. Try escaping with the girl? Hmm. Hmm. What do you guys think? Be a wizard? You guys really want me to start over and be a wizard? Wizards are lamer? Fuck wizards. We're gonna do more runs of this game. Like, I wanna- there's a hard mode. We can try the wizard when we do hard mode. You beat the game already? No. Oh shit, this isn't what I wanted. Give the go to a homeless man? Actually, no, no. This is what I want. This is what I want. I need to go see what's down the minecart tracks. Maybe I can kill the ghost with my magic. Keep nice, she's great for combat. Yeah, I'm, I'm a combat sort of dude. I like big dick knights with big dick combat. I will try other characters, but right now I am invested in this one. There's a hard mode? Yes. <laughs> yes, there is. Brand new game when? Brand new game isn't brand, like, starting completely over or, like, a different game. Like, you don't want to see this game anymore. 
Uptime, about an hour and a half. Dark Priest is the epitome of dicking down in combat. I actually want to see something. Can I go down this way again? What if it's something stupid, like, because we didn't kill the gnome mother, the guy in prison dies. If you, if you don't, if you know how the dude dies, don't tell me, by the way. I'm using it myself. I don't want spoilers. What's going on, Giselle? I, I, I have a feeling it's time-based, so I don't think it was the mercenary or, or not killing the mother. I feel like we just have to go there quickly because it wants to prevent the exact same strategy that I tried to utilize, which is getting a fuck ton of materials and savings, so you're at a... You're at a... agreeable position. Okay. Already dead? Well, we're gonna have to go back to save, like... Was the second option when you confronted the Merc? You can attack him. Or just take your shit and leave? Not only that... He tried to attack us, and he almost killed us. Okay. Second option to make peace. You know he's just gonna do the same shit again, though, right? Okay. So this is our one of the big problems we have is, is this asshole right here. But, we have Herding Juice. Oh, he doesn't have... Uh-oh. Does magic work against him? It does. Dude, he's a... He's a healthy young man. Do you think... Alright. Can I even hit him? No. I just wanted- I figured I'd give it a try, you know? Dude, what the fuck? This guy's a monster! Try talking to the ghost. What do you want? It doesn't react in any way. Okay. Huh. Counter? I don't know why you think counter is gonna work when he's 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 a fucking ghost, dude. <laughs> Like, I, I appreciate the, the suggestion, but he's a fucking ghost, homie. He doesn't give a shit if you're gonna counter him. Maybe you should try running? Maybe. I also like how she has no hands in the save screen. Chant your weapon? That's actually a really good idea. That mind ring does a double restore when you use the fast dance. You know, I, I like the cut of your jib. That makes sense, but I don't know. The thing is, if we... Alright, alright, so check this shit out. Cursed Demon Sword? I have it, though. That's what I was using. Like, I literally tried to hit him with this sword. Let's try running past him this time. Because I'm fairly certain that this playthrough is bricked. I don't think we can win anymore. But we can we can use it as a as an exploration run. Break his fucking ghost ankles. I wonder if we could kill the axolotl if we were to use counter. Does counter work if you get stunned? Matter of using a chain of weapon. I don't see why Miasma wouldn't counter Eddie. Maybe. Why don't ghosts bleed? <laughs> Why the fuck does Karthus Rouge work against Walner? I don't understand. He has like 1k... Well, we hit him for 350 times 3, so he has over 1k HP. 
So what I'm going to try to do is we're going to use the Sorcerer's Stone. We're going to open with Fast Stance. And then we're going to, on turn two, we're going to use Defensive Stance and try to beat him with magic. And hopefully the magic regeneration will allow us to, to finish him off. Your limbs? Yeah, it's super risky and it's probably... But the thing is, even if we're a nugget, we can cast magic. Unless... Unless we lose literally every single limb, we will still be able to cast shit at him, right? Oh, wow. I wonder if the... The soul matters at all, like the type of soul it is. Having the fetus is something for the alchemist? That's a good point. Equip it? I don't think you can. It's Like, if it shows up in the inventory like this, in this inventory screen, it's not something you can equip. It's not a weapons or armor. Alright, we're gonna fuck this ghost. I bet you it's just invincible. Alright, we got my left leg. Defense stance. And hurting. <laughs> I love the noise it makes when you dodge. Okay, so now the problem is... We're wounded. Please miss. Okay, so let's recast defensive stance. Cause we have to we have to wait for our our shit to regenerate. See we can cast defensive stance every turn. Not hurting magic. And you know what? Let's go the extra mile and just guard, too. Why the fuck not? Just in case he does hit. Eight. This is actually... This appears to be an extremely effective strategy. Like, it's, it's so hard to break past this shit. It seems. Okay. Now we have that we can hurt him again. I have a feeling he's invincible. If he's if he's not dead now, he's got to be invincible. We've already that's what 1400 damage with hurting that we've unloaded into this asshole. That's a lot of fucking damage. Oh, I, I didn't refresh my defensive stance. So I'm guessing you just can't kill ghosts. I'll try one more. I have to wait. I mean, you've been going defensive stance this entire time. It's not... It, it, it's situational. He's gotta die eventually. Maybe? I don't think he's gonna die, dude. I feel like he's I mean I guess he's not healing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna die eventually. Like I can't keep keep this up forever. I don't know what purifying talisman does, let's see. Cool. You know what? Goodbye. Fuck you. Let me in. Come on. Well, you don't want to come in here? What's wrong, asshole? That's fucked up. You're really gonna do me like that, bro? You're gonna... 
What a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> what a piece of shit. You're really going to commit death by axolotl with me. Oh, my God. You are such a fucking cunny. Alright, well I guess you guys are gonna see what happens if you- if you look at this. I'm gonna hit you in the eye. What?! And he ate me. <laughs> oh fuck, man! This game is is brutal. I go fuck him up at the beginning of the run. One of the hardest you've played. This is definitely up there. Save my- Oh, this saves absolutely not, but look, I want to figure out how to get past the ghost. So when we do get to the ghost on a real playthrough that we can- Alright, chat. Chat. Do we want to start the 18 minute night playthrough, or do we want to start a new run as a mage? New run? Fresh? Okay, we can we can try a new run as the mage. I reserve the right to go back to that, that save file if things go awry, though. Bearing no burden on such things as morality and ethics it gives Dark Priest an edge in blood magic. Okay, what's our name gonna be? Thank you, Slayhair, for the 11-month resub. I appreciate it. Kyle, Donald, Dom, Cunny, Jimin. <laughs> What's up, What the fuck, dude? God damn it, Clyde Cash. <laughs> Jimin the Chungus. I like dark Jimin. No, no. You know what this is? This is Jimin's Heartless? Nobody? Jamixin. Can I not do X? Jamixin. Do you like it? All right, this is the story of Jamixin. Jamixin some cupcakes. Choose difficulty. We're doing normal. Play intro. I haven't seen the intro for the Dark Mage, so why not? You were born with the soul of the enlightened. You were always seeking restlessly for new knowledge and secrets hidden from common folk. This trait already started showing itself at a very young age as you were chosen to become a dark priest upon the birth of you and your twin sister. Thank you. It won't fit Oni-chan for the 18 months. Like typical to such occult rites, you were pitted against your sibling with ritual daggers and challenged to fight each other to the death. Fortunate for you, you were born with a fragile body and your sister easily overpowered you and had her dagger on your neck. Dude, he got beat the shit beat out of him by his sister. It's fucked up. And then she gave him Moisey. And then I fucking disemboweled her. You stroke your dagger to the spine of your sister. Wait. Okay, that that's that's questionable phrasing. And she collapsed on the ground. You high priest masters seemed especially pleased with this and prepared you for your ascension ceremony. In the ascension ceremony, you were to resurrect your deceased sister with necromancy and use her as your ghoul. 
You did this, and the cold corpse of your sister brought a smile to your otherwise emotionless face. You learned necromancy. After your ascension to dark priesthood, you were to leave the temple grounds and learn of a cult on your own in your dark pilgrimage. When beginning your cell studies, you first had to choose the god you dedicate your time to. Okay, this is probably... Wait. Have we heard of the god of the depths before? I don't ever recall seeing anything about God of the Depths. I've seen all of the others, but I have not... I do not recall that. And thank you, Dead Box Cat, both yes and no. The, the, the Schrodinger Cat. Thank you very much for the resub. So... Hmm... Well, I'm trying to think. I feel like with this character, we're going to want to do a god where we have a lot of opportunities to get favor with. And I think Grogoroth is probably the number one easiest to get favor with. What's going on, basics? Depths? Okay, we could check out of the depths. Traveled across the western continent learning of different gods, deities, blood magic, and all known sciences. Your studies didn't come without their merits. You were acknowledged by the top scholars of modern times. You were finally granted a pass to the great libraries of the Kingdom of Rondon. You now have the collection of all known history and science at your grasp. Learned of a certain man who was prophesied to begin a new era for mankind, a man meant for greatness, but why would you need to share the spotlight of the gods with any mortal man? Prophecies are only for those who are weak enough to bend to their sorry fates. You need to find this man and learn more. To your current knowledge, he would be found imprisoned at the notorious dungeons of fear and hunger. So... Rush straight after him, to me, makes a lot more sense after the last run. You know why? Because if we don't get there quick enough, you fucking, he dies. So that, that like, before, it's like, why the fuck would you ever rush after him? But now it, it does make a lot more sense, now that we have context. So let's get intoxicants. You got a pipe and opium powder. <laughs> and thank you, Mavarius, for the eight-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. And thank you, Trinity Vince, for the 16 months. Thank you very much. Okay. The fake out? Fuck yeah, dude. We're in this, bitch. There's actually something I want to try. Wait. What do I have? What are my skills at the beginning? Necromancy, counter magic. Okay. Okay. There's something I want to try. Rise skeletons. See, we're not going to be able to beat any fucking monsters right now, is the problem. So I'm thinking I might rush to the uh, the armory so I can maybe get a weapon and some armor. Because my, my first thing that I initially want to do is kill these jellyfish and try to cast necromancy on them. But I don't think I could kill one in my current state. Because what's my equipment? Short sword? Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm fucking dog shit. I have 40 attack. Okay. I'm just a little baby bitch necromancer. Why don't you have your ghoul sister with you? She's worn out. What the fuck are you saying, attack? Hank, I only have two spells. I have counter magic and necromancy. Those, those sound great. But most, most enemies do not use magic. And I can't use necromancy on something unless it's fucking dead. 
You follow you following me? Alright. Maybe the cultist will be nice since you're a high priest, maybe. I do not oh. Wow. This is probably going to go poorly. Inject me, daddy. Oh, you whipped my fucking ass. Fuck yeah. From Slipknot. Uh, yeah. Inject me harder. That was a great run. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay, okay. Let's do Jim Mixon's done. So what's what's another one? Suga, I think, is one. Okay. What would Suga's nobody name be? Goose Axe. Yeah, Goose Axe. K-pop darling. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Fucking... God damn it. Play intro, yes. I feel like once we kill our first monster, we will get significantly stronger if necromancy does what I think it does. Okay, and I want to do... I want to do Gogoroth, which is the first one. Magical items, healing items. Let's rush straight after them. To type X manually? Yeah. No, not hard mode. I'm gonna do another run through once I beat the game on normal with hard mode. But I'm already getting fucked enough in normal mode that I feel like hard mode wouldn't really add anything at this point. Hey, thank you, Dangin' Man, for the nine month reset. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Necromancy the horse? I could try that. We gotta go. We gotta go. If you stay in this early area too long, the dogs come and kill you. If you like, it, there's not even a fight. They just kill you. Didn't even try. I interacted with it. It would have given me the prompt if I could do something, I imagine. Hey, thank you, Loco Como to Padre, for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Give me that full cute pup or you got it. Twitch randomly made me follow Randomly, you dude, like like that one time I randomly went on onto a a website and I got a virus and it put porn on my computer and then my mom came in and then my pants flew out and then like cum flew everywhere and it's it's a virus, mom. It's just random. There's nothing I could do. Okay. It just happens. Wait, hold on. Alright, let's go down Wanderer. Two eggs. Wheat flour. Can I? No. I'm really curious how you go about using necromancy now. I need to come back here. Oh, what the fuck is this? Okay, this is actually one of the only areas with jump scares. I want to see what happens if you just stay here. It's not a very good jump scare. But it's there. He's gonna do it three. He's gonna laugh three times. Nope. Oh shit. So you can fight him. Yo.
So we've never seen this guy before. Can I run? I guess I'm gonna talk to it. Please don't. Yeah, yeah. You're in my domain now. Okay, that's... Man, that was some good shit. <laughs> we're we're doing we're doing great in these witch runs. <laughs> these dark priest runs. We're gonna go through all of BTS in like the next ten minutes. Counter to magic? If you read the description though, it says that it removes effects off of you like it's a cleanse. It doesn't sound like it's a reflect. Like maybe it is in the descriptions just inaccurate. Name one Hank. Alright. Hank. Hold on. Hank. Darling in the Hanks. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> oh man. What's going on, fool to think? If I miss much, you've missed quite a lot, yeah. Shit, that's not what I wanted, but I got a soul stone, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so let me show you really quick. Let me read you the description here. Counter magic. Undo the effects of any lesser magic by your superior knowledge in the... Like, maybe it, it'll block magic, but to me it sounds like a dispel almost. So we can try it the next time we find something that uses magic, but... I don't think it's really going to turn them... Like, at, at the absolute best, I think it'll just nullify the magic. And the dude's still got a poisonous ritual knife. So I don't think counter magic would have really realistically helped me out in that situation. Finish your night run? No, not really. We figured out a new game mechanic. The guy you're supposed to free the second party... Remember, you have to get to him within a certain amount of time or he's dead and you get a bad ending. And guess what happened? <laughs> guess what happened? Okay. Can I be a scrub that lives for six minutes? Maybe. Loving this game. We're watching the first couple of hours. Some interesting shit happened. We managed to kill our first crow in dramatic fashion. It's definitely worth watching over. Honestly, I think that... Pound for pound, these have been some of the best streams I've done in a long time, because really just nothing's, like, shit just continually happens. There's never really a point where nothing is happening. <laughs> like, some bullshit is always transpiring in, in this fucking game. Imagine if you succeeded your nugget run. Oh, fuck. Okay. We're just gonna leave. We're not. We're not gonna invite him. <laughs> Is that random? No, I think it it happens in two specific spots. What's going on, Dylan? We're we're trying a new character now. Wonder if you can kill this guy. I feel like the only way you'd be able to kill this guy is intentionally avoid going here and coming back. I don't. I don't think you can. You can trigger this event again. I. I don't think you can go back the after the first time. So you would. You would have to know that he's there and know how to avoid him and then come back with a stronger character, which seems honestly like a like a pretty big pain in the ass to me. Okay. No. 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 Don't risk it. We. We need weapons and armor. More than anything. We, we're gonna have to play like a little baby Usi. Okay. An ominous aura fills the hallways. I don't really remember if it said that the first time. I think that's because of Iron Shakespeare, though. Okay. Hello? 
Yeah, this doesn't seem very randomized this time. Armor no, I know the armory is always there. That's why I'm always. That's why I'm going. I know that the knight and his little side quest are always there. Okay, this Mimi could find the knight, maybe. Okay, found some salami in a glass vial. Oh baby, some kekabage. Blueberries. Do you think I can... Do you think I can convince the gnomes to be my friends? Okay, so we're not saving. It makes sense in this game, considering what happens when you try to do a second save, to, to wait as long as humanly possible. It's like a risk-reward thing, like... You run, you run the risk of dying and losing a lot of progress, but the later you save, the better, in my opinion. Okay, what's going on, Robotic Wolf? How goes the food in San... It goes. I got some tobacco. Leather helmet. All right. Okay. So. Heads or tails, chat. Oh, I just got a mace. Okay, cool. I didn't even have to roll for that. You just get the mace. That's really good. This is what we roll for. Tails. Nope. What about this one, chat? Heads or tails? Tails? Okay. It's rough. So we, we will not get armor this playthrough. <laughs> we do we do not get armor. Okay. We got a water vial though. 100 percent tails on our boss. Input reading. This is fucked up. It happens. It happens. Check the well chest. I plan to, yeah. I'm trying I'm trying to go to all of the places with with chests that I can recall. So the chest get that. It doesn't always give you plate mail though. The drop is random as well. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Save and reload until you get an armor or is it that I I would say that it's pretty fucking important personally, but I'm not I feel like save scumming goes against the spirit of this game. You know what I mean? Oh fuck. Wow. <laughs> I, I can't go, I can't go that way. Oh, shit. That's decidedly not good. Oh. Broke both of his legs. He'll remember me. <laughs> Fuck me. Man. <laughs> this is cool. These, these priest runs are, are fan-fucking-tastic. Alright, one more time. One more time. I'll try one more priest run. Chat? What's our name? Kyle X. Okay, this is this is gonna be me. Kex Lee. This is this is my nobody. Okay. Chungus? No Chungus. No Chungus. Darth Smegma. You're gonna die like a little bitch? Probably. I picked the soul stone again, didn't I? God damn it. 
God damn it. Chungus is a dead meme. Chungus was a stillborn meme. It was never alive. Blue herb. Oh, yeah, big boy. Give me those blue herbs. Me. Wheat flower. Okay. Let's not get fucked by the dogs. See, the main thing about picking this character is I, I feel like... The likelihood of getting dicked down by the prison guards is astronomical. You know what I mean? It seems like, uh... Like, how the fuck are you gonna fight one of those assholes with, with this character? Hey, thank you, Brazilian Hope, for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hmm. Like, maybe if I get better armor... Oh, shit. That's right. There's this. I guess if I get the mace, it wouldn't be too bad. Because I would kill him on turn two with two torso hits with the mace. Especially if I stun. Like, the mace apparently has a chance to just stun them. All oh, right, I have a hood. Because if you don't kill your sister... I want necromancy. <laughs> I want necromancy. What's scary about Olive Garden... It's scary that there's so many people who think it's good food. Like, I think it's PSYOPs on my mind, because it's like Olive Garden breadsticks the best, and then you eat them, and it's like, oh shit, dude. What the fuck? You serious? I'd rather go to fucking Denny's. Did I pick up a mace? No. Okay. So, no, it... I just don't like pasta. That's really my thing. I'm not a pasta person, so obviously I'm not going to like it. Okay. Jebated Lamount. Hank, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hank, shut the fuck up! Okay. Hmm. Stack of pancakes for $4? Denny's is good for... Denny's is okay. My... my my once frigid opinion on, on the, the excellent restaurant known as Denny's has, has lightened up in recent months. Okay. Explosive vial, that's some good shit. I gotta go. I'm about to get... Nope, not yet. You can get sandwiched by the, by the jellyfish here if you take too long. <laughs> hey, thank you, Katuna, for the 17-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How are you? We're gonna win with this Dark Wizard. Also, I just woke up right before the stream, so we're probably gonna be playing this shit for like 10 hours tonight. I hope you got alcohol. <laughs> I, I hope you were ready to get inebriated. Okay. Cause I got I could get my, my rum if you guys want me to get fucked. I got I got a big old bottle right here too. Okay. Go get fucked up. Alright, hold on. Let me let me let me get to the armory and then I'll drink. I'm gonna make even shittier dis Oh fuck! Why are you coming towards me, asshole? Fuck you. Alright. Hoo <laughs> hoo! Mm mm. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Good. First, first sip's always rough. First sip's always rough. I like that, that emote Omega Boost. We used to have one of those. His name was Waffles. No mixer? No, no chaser either. Just, <laughs> just fucking drinking that shit. Blech. 
It's it's the thing is it sucks by itself because it's it's coconut flavored rum meant for use in mixed drinks and it, I'm not mixing it right now so it's it's like someone made an wait what the fuck is a soul devour necklace silver necklace with a soul stone embedded on it the stone protects against otherworldly powers that sounds really good. I feel like we should probably save since we just got that. What do you guys think? Only one enemy has used a magic attack? That's not true. Plenty of things have used magic. Don't save? Sound strong, I'd save? Too early? I'm gonna see what we get here. Something absorb half your soul one time? Yeah, I guess it's those those tree monsters. An iron mace. That's right, baby. Give me that shit. Okay, heads and tails, chat. No, it does not, Dunksinski. Heads. We're saving, dude. <laughs> We're saving, dude! We got plate mail! Okay. Heads or tails? We're absolutely saving. Heads? No. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. We're gonna go save right fucking now. Plate mail on, on, a, on a wizard this early on? Hey, thank you. Ice and dice for the 15 months. I appreciate it, partner. How are you doing? You got a shield? D did I really? Oh, it's probably oh, just a fucking shitty wooden buckler. Oh, I can't use plate mail. Wow. This game's fucking shit. Fuck this goddamn video game. That makes sense, though. I just assumed every class could use everything. We're gonna save, though. I'm gonna save anyways. Fuck it. Class based. What kind of game is this? It's it's interesting. You missed an item on that table, did I? Let me go check. Play me out a little girl. I mean, if we ever get like the mercenary or some shit, save after ten minutes. Fucking wasted. We got powerful jewelry, a modder. We're chilling. We could just we could coin flip against the bird, and we know how to get the second save relatively early on. Nothing left to use. No, I think you can only search once on the table. Wait, no. It's just too... Can I dual wield? Can I be a drummer? Damn, that would be sick. This became a birthday. Can you sing with a heavy Texas accent? No, but I can sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Adi Toy. And anyone else has a birthday today? Happy birthday to you. All right, we're, we're big dick swinging. Hold on. What do I have? Do I have... Okay, 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 okay. I have a great fucking idea. I have a great fucking idea. You're gonna love my nuts, chat. The epic lizard is RNG! You don't always get him! That's fucked, dude. That That is like the pivotal point of my strategy is that lizard being there. God damn it. Fuck. More and more that 18 minute save is looking like the god run disguised. That lizard sword. I mean, I guess for a wizard it's not that good because I, I doubt I could use the two handed sword anyways. But fuck, man. That sucks.
Is he giving- Oh, I thought he was giving me a thumbs up or some shit for a second. Let's just go for the torso. Oh. I'm infected. No. Yes. Oh, come on! Necromancy's a fucking heads or tails? You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Heads. What's going on, Memer? Okay. Give a name to your new ghoul! Hanku Chan doesn't seem to remember his past life and seems to be confused about life. Shamelessly, he scratches his groin area! It's. Yup. Good call on the name. Thank you, Blue Hat TV, for the prime sub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Oh, man. Okay, so what's he like? What, what are his stats looking like? Can I equip him with shit? No. He only has 16, so he's a meat shield. We have an infection. I think, uh, I think green herb cures it, right? Yes. Okay, I like your new GF. Thank you. God damn it. This game is so fucking wild. <laughs> this shit is so fucking funny. Christ. I wonder what happens if you fuck up necromancy. Like, you have to fight it again, or if something else happens. Try banging him on the altar? I am not banging Hanku Chan. There's no way you can convince me to bang Hanku Chan. Come on. God damn it. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> you really want me to bang the zombie. Thank you, Toasty Pod, for the three month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Throw him into the shit pit. There's no lizard man faded off. He didn't spawn this run. This is new. I'm not gonna talk to him. <laughs> Bad experiences with those gentlemen. It seems like this is always the same. Oh, well, that's good. Okay. I, I gotta say, so far, I am not digging the wizard. Sure, hold on. It does not appear that I can necronomatize him. Oh, what the fuck? What are these guys doing here? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's fucking dick, dude. Go for Hanku Chan. Not get him, but I can get his meat cleaver. Lesser foes might be intimidated. I'm gonna try that because I want to see if if that's actually a real thing or if the game's just memeing me. So here's the scary part. 
I don't have the ring that gets rid of bleed. I only have one necro at a time. I think you can only necro the zombies. I don't think you can necro other bullshit. Okay, a bear trap. That's good. Hey, thank you, Noir Pain Net, for putting Nightbot in the. I don't even have a Nightbot, but thank you very much. How are you? Lost an arm? Did I? Oh yeah, I fucking did, huh? This is this. This is the class that must be gimped at the start and ends up becoming just an unkillable god late game. Feed him to the Hydra? I wonder if that does anything. Piece of raw meat. A white vial. That's good. I like that. Okay. Can use necromancy on that one. What about this one? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. And thank you, Rogue, for putting Moobot in the cuck shed. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Nightbot needs the rat. That's true. The rat must be spread far and wide. It still makes me laugh because sometimes I'll go into, like, Majin's chat or whatever the fuck, and some person I've never seen in my life will be like, is this the asshole with the rat emotes that, that gets spammed all the time? And, you know, that's who I am. I'm the rat man. I'm not... A quality content creator who does epic playthroughs of games nobody's ever fucking heard of. I'm not a uh, a disgraced challenge runner who's not good at the games anymore. I'm the rat man. I'm not even the dude who takes care of the really cute dog. I'm just the rubby rubby fingers rat man. I guess there's worse things to be. Okay. Rats need to spread like herpes. Blood and flower magic. That actually, that's really good. Creation of life. Okay. Blood and flower magic. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Chat? Heads or tails? Yeah! Hey, thank you, Rogue, for putting We Are The Rat 666 in the cock shed. Okay, so what's this? I know this gives me counter on the on the other dude, but I don't know what it gives me for the necromancer. So let's read. As you open the book, you feel warmth and nostalgia that cannot be explained. Memories of your past life? Okay, this is... Remember the wicked rituals your ancestors took part in, the crude old-fashioned witchcraft that lacked the finesse of its modern counterpart. You remember how your ancestors would desperately try to contact even the most minor demons in their attempts to gain more knowledge of the other side. Remember how, from every generation, only the eldest child would be chosen to continue the family name, while the rest would be cut open and have their blood drained as a sacrifice to the older gods. Remember, after generations of these black arts, your ancestors finally managed to summon a wretched little evil. This, The miscreant that crawled from the summoning circle revealed its secrets. You remember? Blood sacrifice. Okay, so what's that do? What the hell does blood sacrifice accomplish? Sacrifice blood for gods. Okay. Cool. Studies of the Almer one. Blood and flower magic one again. An iron arrow. Another iron arrow. And salami. And then we get the small key for the little goyle. Heads or tails? Alchemelia Volume 2. Good shit. Good shit, brother. There's a lot more uh, here for bookshelves than there was in my last run. What the fuck? Wait, what's Assassin's Handbook 1? That sounds fucking epic. 
The book contains instructions on how to skin an animal or human creature and how to make believable disguises out of their leathers. Use skinning knife with precise movements to tap the skin for muscles and bones with enough pieces of leather you can use them to make an outfit. Mask any human scent, be it a scent of fear or hunger, you'll be able to fool the beast. Okay, this teaches you how to- that's what the skins are for. You can make a disguise and I guess it, things won't aggro onto you. That's actually insanely useful. It's a new character? Yes. We still have the old one, but we're just trying shit. Okay, chat. Heads or tails? Heads? Okay. Chat knows best. Holy fuck, we got every single book here. The Necronomicon! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Okay. Man, I really shouldn't have saved early, huh? Fuck me. Go save. Need that second save. Now let's go to the shit pit. Get the save book? I don't think so, did I? No. Rush to the next save? Yeah, I know how to rush to the next save. But I have to get through the prison. The prison, I might I might die to, to guards. It's possible. But we, we should really get through that part and get to the guy. Is that a zombie? Yeah, that's that's my zombie Hanku-chan. Chat, heads or tails? That's a bug, Kylor. Tails? Chat, what the fuck? You're on some dope shit right now. Plate mail! Oh my god. Okay, the second plate mail, we can't use either of them. This is the unluckiest lucky run that I've ever seen in any game ever. Okay. Now we, we're going to go through the prison, get the lever, and hopefully not fucking die, but it's... Honestly... Oh, shit. It's going to happen. Shakespeare, fuck off, you... You got a nice ass, I'll give you that, but you need to suck a dick. Oh shit, don't, don't do it. Shakespeare, holy fuck, go away, nobody loves you! Green herbs cure infections? Yes, don't tell me shit though, please. I like figuring it out on my own. Heavy Knight and Ludwig, you're right. You're right. I forgot about that. Sorry. No, it's, it's all, all good, dude. It's all good. I just... I like figuring things out on my own. Wait, did you give me the money? Do I have the 40 shekels of silver? I do. 55 shekels, okay. What if I buy a potion of life and give it to my zombie? Would that be fucked up? Would that be animal cruelty? Okay. I want you to become an unneeded nugget. But that shit's funny. Why wouldn't you want me to be a nugget? Give me Hank rotted meat. He doesn't seem like he's very hungry right now. I think, I think we're chilling in that regard. Fuck off, gnome. <laughs> I fucking hate these things. Serpentine in case... Okay. Please hit Hank. Do not hit me. Hit Hank. Thank you. Hanku Chan lost his left arm. It's bleeding very heavily. Well, that's just a tragedy. <laughs> Hank goes for the dick! <laughs> Hank goes for the dick. He hit the dick for four whole damage. <laughs> oh my god. This is like this is so fucking perfect. Alright, Hank, you get that door, dude. 
That was a mistake. I didn't mean to get the door. It's necromancy. No, I can't. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Fuck, that was my opening. Ooh! Happy feet, baby. Fucking god at this game. What's going on, Hanky? Fucking legend. Let's search the corpse. They always- Oh! Oh my god! Who is this fucking man? Why do I not have my mace? Oh, right, meat cleaver. Hmm. This is the luckiest I'm lucky. Oh, dude, you know what? Hold on. There's another guard in the other area. I can I can make the guard outfit now. That that should be three. Mace was doing a lot more damage. The mace got a crit the one time it did more damage. It has the same attack value. But we can try it. Because crits are a thing in this game. I've crit for over a thousand damage with the two-handed sword. We gotta hurry, though. We gotta get to the next save point. So that we don't get fucked. Okay, so where was this asshole? Right here? Very good shit, brother. Guard outfit. Okay. And let's go down here. Your ankle hurts a bit from the fall. I need to get more items. Don't be greedy. Nah, dude, I'm good. I need an explosive vial. Do I have one? To I do. I have two. Was that an upgrade? It was not. Okay. Raw meat. And we're going right into the caves. We're going to skip the gnome mother. We're going to skip the little bit with the girl for the time being. We are just going to beeline to the party member. We got a bear trap. Some dried mushrooms. Me and Hanku Chan are ready to go. We're ready to We're ready to hit the hit the town. Hank been testing combat. Yeah, he sucks dick. Save for Necronomicon? I will, but I have the Necronomicon already. Even if there's a guard here, I should be fine because I have the guard skin. I don't have to fight him. Ooh, add some cheese. Good call. There's a guard here. Okay. Him and his big-ass cock are gonna have to... What the fuck? I thought I had a disguise. Maybe it just diminishes aggro range? Not entirely gets rid of it? Yeah, you slap him on the fucking head. Okay, that's fine. We win anyways. Got too close? I guess so. God damn, Hank is fucking tanking, but he's about to die. Hanku chan has lost both legs and arms and is useless now because he was all... Goodbye, Hanku chan you did good. Here lies Hanku Chen. <laughs> Rip. Alright. You did good. You did good, though. The only reason we got past the... See, I want to search the thing, but Hanku Chan's corpse is in the fucking way. We'll be able to come back later, I suppose.
He he honestly did work. He didn't do any fucking damage. But he tanked a lot of hits for us, so I think we would have been fucked without him. Okay. What's going on, Fan? Get a new corpse, gotta find one. We're trying to get to the next save spot. You lose a hand? Yes. I wonder if the cat is always a thing. Oh, there's the fucking cave mother. Yeah, the cat's always here, I guess. What up, dude? Get you a little girl later, alright? Wait, what the fuck is this obelisk? I remember it from the last run, but I didn't do anything with it. It only works as a prompt, Ponzi. Go for the torso. This dog is gonna kill us. Can't resurrect it. I was hoping you'd be able to resurrect the dog, but no such luck. However, I've, I think, oh, I have one more infection cure, but I am, I'm running low. Okay. Hello? If we see eggs, we gotta turn back. Because that's where the titty monster is. This cave is a lot bigger than the last one. No noodle. What? Hey! <laughs> hey! Don't mind me! Just a, just an armless guard here. Still got my dick though, so it's okay. Oh my god, you've got to be fucking with me. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck you! <laughs> Suck my dick! Dumbass bird. Okay. Found a blue vial. Crowfucker's bat? Yeah, he does that. Okay, we found... Oh, shit. We actually have to use the key. This is our save book. Alright, we're gonna use that now. It's risky, but... This is... This is a pretty good run so far. So we're gonna go ahead and use it now and then try to get the Necronomicon. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yep. But I'm dead? Literally nobody gives a fuck, Hank. <laughs> All right. Heads or tails, chat. your fault, chat. <laughs> That's fine, though. We just saved. 
<laughs> Cal, this is my save icon, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Hey, thank you for the bits, Zamat. I appreciate it, dude. Okay. So I guess we're gonna use it until we get the... Heads or tails, chat? Tails. Okay, good shit. Black Orb. So we we didn't get the same one, but if I recall correctly, Black Orb is also really good. Because that's the, the thing that the, the witch used on us to hit us three times. So, hopefully that'll be good. Right. So I guess the Necronomicon gives you... Oh, shit. Do you think he'll attack me if I'm a guard? Almost certainly, huh? Did the Necronomicon give him? It gave me Black Orb. You used the fuck sacrifice on that circle? Hold on. Do you really want me to do that? You learn Blood Golem. Okay. That sounds pretty fucking lit. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds fucking incredible, actually. What do we need for a Blood Golem? Sacrifice your own blood to summon a Blood Golem to fight by your side temporarily. Okay. Hey, hit the blood golem, please. All right, we got the blood golem. Hey, thank you, Pokemaster678, for the two-month resub. I appreciate it, homie. Thank you very much. I'm going to use black orb on your head. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Hey, thank you for 100 bits, man. Let's see. We are probably fucked, but it's okay, because I have an idea. Cloth hood. There's going to be a guard here, but I, might, I have a guard skin, so I should be fine. Okay, he's alive. We got him. Black Orb costs mine. Yeah, all magic costs mine. Except Blood Golem, which costs your own life force. But now we have the crow to contend with. Black orb the door. That would probably probably be retarded, right? Okay, I gotta get out and cure my infection before I die, though. 
and then get to the nymphs. Yeah, we need to go, dude. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you notice. Oh my god, asshole. No head, no arm, gotta pulse your cock a little bit before you die. <laughs> Fucking love this game, dude. Blue vials? No, I'm good. I'm good. Trust me, I have a plan. It the wor the thing I'm worried about is dying from my infection, which is probably gonna happen here in a minute. But if I have to cut an arm off, then it's really it's not really worth continuing. Remind me that I didn't gather the items there. Then again, I'm not sure I can actually make it. What do you guys think? I need a green herb. Because I want to heal with the nymphs, but I got to go and get the fake book. Before I can go to Nymphland. And Nymphland should have herbs, but I have to make it there first. Heal though? No, I don't need to heal. There's no enemies that can deal with me right now. Nothing can fight me. Because I can just, if I fight a guard, I can black orb his chest and have the dude cut his arm off. There's, there's no reason to heal if I can full heal at the Nymphs. I have no idea, Rafa. That's the farthest we've ever made it. Do I have one green herb left? Do I? Nope. Only blue and red. We gotta fucking go though. We gotta mosey our way on out of here. Infection insta kill? Yes. Get the book. I know. We have to go there. I am. I am. Where the fuck? What's going on, Hindo? Probably gotta get past the ghost next. That's what I would wager too. Maybe I could fight the Axolotl. We could also kill... Shakespeare with Black Orb. I'm hoping there will be an herb in this courtyard. I don't think I've... I've really explored it too much. It does not appear to be the case. Okay, we're probably fucked. Find a quill. A bag of wheat flour. If I can find the library and get the book, we can immediately beeline to the Sylvan area. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We are absolutely chilling right now. Okay. Target of Torso? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter a bit. Okay. Torso has about 400 health. It sucks that the guard outfit doesn't really work. It's probably because I have this dude behind me now. It was working for a little bit. Also, I'm probably going fucking nuts right now. And thank you for the tier 2 resub of 28 months. Gyroscope, I appreciate it. God damn. Live for a month now? I'm sorry. <laughs> Why the fuck would you ever want to do that? Thank you very much, though. We might be fucked here, dudes. He already has plate mail. But I could give him a better weapon. He doesn't... And then I guess I don't need the guard outfit. I could use the loincloth. Oh, yeah, baby. 
do you think I can cast magic with my with my fucked up arm? Because I have no more bear traps for this this stupid ass crawl, and I didn't know he could even show up here. I wonder where he is. Here's the book. Okay, we just have to leave. We have to get past the crawl. Perhaps a tall order. We'll see. What's going on personally, Amy? This game is... <laughs> it, it, it's hard to explain. It's fucked up. I think you'll like it. It's like a survival horror JRPG hybrid mix. Fuck me. advantage here. Hey, hey, asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, shit. No, he's gonna get me. Fuck! Okay, I'm dead. Unless... <laughs> he got me. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna piss and get a drink and then we'll return. Fuck that bird. God damn it. Every fucking room now. Alright. I will be back momentarily. Move set. Time for another swig. All right, drinking game. We're doing a drinking game. Every time I get fucked by the crawl. Oh, God damn. Give the doll a little girl. That's what she's holding on the title screen. That's actually a pretty good observation. What are you drinking? Malibu Black. Okay. Heads or tails? Tails? Alright, we're doing tails. What's going on, Albino Alpaca? God bless you, chat. 
blood golem. Oh, okay. So wait, hold on. For some stinger nuggets? I think you get them in my Discord Japanese name, guy. Thank you for the 11 months. So what am I going to get for blood sacrifice? Hurting. Okay. So can I just do that over and over to get... No. Alright, so each ritual circle I can get a new spell. So you know what that actually means? Ne Necronomicon is kind of... Kind of fucking pointless once you have blood sacrifice. It seems like it's the same thing, except instead of having to sacrifice your blood, you have to sacrifice a little bit of HP. Oh, fuck. There's a random spell for every god. I don't think I've gotten anything from the Necronomicon that hasn't been from Grogoroth, though. What happened to your character? Oh, I'm wearing a disguise. This dude gave you the infection. I know. I'm trying not to fight him. I'm going to have to eventually, but... Can you make love with that corpse that you make with necromancy? I don't know. So tired. Get some rest then, dude. How are you? I'm good. I woke up excited to play this game. I wanted to play it yesterday, but I had, uh... I had things to do. Winky face. Two eggs. Try to make love to Hank Chan 2.0? No. RuneScape? Actually, no. Okay. Get through this bullshit. This game has been on my mind since you started. This game's very addictive. I'm very engrossed in this. This is the only thing I want to play. Although I think tomorrow and the day after I'm going to do Kingdom Hearts and then we'll resume this on Friday. Because I doubt we're going to beat it tonight. The Dragon Slayer 2 boss today? Nice. Dark Orb? Herding's really good too. Herding's not a bad spell by any stretch of the imagination. Shut the fuck up, Lagarde. Nobody cares. Mmm. Which money is this game? Seven dollars. So. What should we do? Let's hit his head with hurting. And Lagarde will go for the arm. Oh. See, hurting's really good. Hurting is really good. It's not quite as good as Black Orb, but it is not a slouch in its own right. <laughs> okay. Five silver coins. We're actually in really good shape right now. Go follow the door. I already know it's over there. It's a door you can't open. But I, I will go. I will go if that will make you happy. Then that's okay. Kingdom Hearts means I can skip the next. You can skip the next all of them. I think I would prefer that. <laughs> the only the only thing you ever say in here is is annoying shit, bleeding Norwegian. So you should do us all a favor. Okay. So I could use Blood Golem. I'm kind of fucked here because I don't have I have shit that I can use. I could just try running, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright. So let's see. Let's go ahead and smoke some fucking kush. Because I need sanity. I guess that's the one bad thing about hurting is it costs way more sanity to use than it than the black orb does. Is this a porn game? No, it's not. There are very sexual things in it though. Do you guys think I should cut this organ? Nothing happens, but you have the option to slice it. Okay. Alrighty. Black orb. Well, I mean, I don't really get to choose. I, I kind of have to... Kind of have to take what they give me, but yeah, black orb seems to be better, you're right. So... 
Where the fuck is the bird? He didn't spawn this time. Okay. Stairs lead to darkness. Oh, gee, Kush, hope we get either... No, we don't get rings now. Like, we, we have a necklace that seems like it could be really good, but it hasn't seemed to kick in just yet. That's the hanging corpse. Would that work? That looks like one of those enemies you cons consistently dick down. Because we skinned him and made a suit out of his shit. It's supposed to be a disguise, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really disguise you very well. In my experience, we, we still have to fight everything, so. It's unfortunate. I guess they can tell. They notice that our cocks don't pulsate quite the same way. Oh, I should probably eat, huh? Alright. Do blueberries really not do hunger? No, they do. They do. Also, I should probably equip this dude with better stuff. The short sword sucks. Give him a cloth hood. Oh, baby. So much food in this dungeon. Fear and hunger my ass. Sometimes you get fucked, especially now that we're going to need to have multiple party members. It's going to get a lot harder to have everyone well fed, I imagine. Okay. So what the fuck do I do now? I'm trying to think. Shield? I don't think I have a shield, dude. Oh, wait. I have it equipped. But no, because it, it still... It still adds to my defense level. Now I can search this, uh... Search this right here. Now that Hank's corpse isn't blocking the way. Bullying you for erection problems? Did your hand fall f No, one of the big ogre dudes sliced my fucking hand off. Was fucked up. Never searched the armory? I'm pretty sure I did. That's where I got the plate mail. No? How the hell can you grab a shield and a mace with only one hand? You, you, you gotta tie it together with cloth. Duh, fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm just playing. Check the ogre corpse. They always drop the same shit. I mean, I guess I could skin them. I need to find more of those ritual circles, though, so I can I can get more magic. All the crows. Not here. I feel like that should be our next order of business, is trying to kill the crow. Because with magic, we can do it. We just need luck on our side and not get, not get one shot. Drop the jail key, you're right. I'll go back. I forgot about that. I almost spilled my fucking drink on myself. Need all the magic. Yeah, Black Orb seems to be best in slot, more or less. Unless there's something else. Blood Golem? I don't know how to feel about Blood Golem. It would be really good to use on the Crow. Like, if I have to fight the Crow, I should always use Blood Golem. Because it gives it it gives you a chance to have the Crow just attack the Blood Golem instead of you. And if the Blood Golem gets its eyes pecked out or its head exploded, it's not really a huge deal. Later, Brazilian Hope. Take it easy. Give me the key, baby. No. Nope. Not this time. Let's see, join this. No, this game's dope as fuck. It's only like seven dollars, so if it looks fun to you, you should you should play it. What's going on, King of the Beach? I'm actually I've actually been really pleased with how many people have told me that they started playing this after watching the first stream. Oh fuck. Thankfully, that can I can avoid him pretty easily here. It's on my wish list. Probably check it out sometimes. This looks like the kind of game I'd enjoy. There's multiple classes and whatnot too. Yeah, Ricky. When it says terrifying presence, it's the crawl always. 
So should, I actually did do that full moon uh, a few minutes ago. Wait. You necromance a corpse before fighting the crow? I have to find one. Seems said no bueno. Interesting. I'm glad I'm playing the uncensored version. <laughs> or, or the censored version, rather, because I don't want to get... I don't really want to have my stream banned. I feel like that would be kind of shitty. Maybe maybe some people will be like, oh, fuck yeah, about goddamn time. But me? Nah, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Okay. So I could fight these jellyfish now and get more items, but I don't really know if it's worth it. Okay, apparently I can't search that guy. This is censored? Yeah, there's some, apparently, like, there's a scene where if you die to the prison guard, well, I'm not gonna tell you what happens, but I've read some shit, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm not, I'm not gonna just go and fucking tell you. Fuck. Okay. Well. I know an easy way to take care of this. Search him. I wish you could resurrect those guys. Here's another blood circle. We can't use this one, though. So you kill the crow dude, you can save as much as you want in bed? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. Necromancy seeming kind of shit. It really is right now. It does, unless I'm missing something, which, to be fair, I'm, I sh I'm sure I am. It does not appear to be the best thing in the world. Now, the problem is I don't really have any more sanity increases. So I, I have to only use my magic if I if I have to. One circle in the first castle, yeah. Game worth buying? I think so. It's like seven dollars, dude. It's definitely worth in my opinion. We've got a bear trap that's good, we can use that on the crawl. That means if you go batshit insane, you lose. When it gives you that prompt that there's there's noise, it's always the girls' room. Hey, thank you, Phantom Gauss, for the Tier 3 Golden Rat sub. 13 months. Last month, it's going really well. We've had some really good streams. We had Giraffe Town, which was fucking hilarious. We started playing this game, also fucking hilarious, but also really good, too. It's not it's not just like a ha-ha, so funny joke meme game. It's actually really fun to play. Um... I've been playing some Kingdom Hearts 3, which maybe, uh, some, some people don't like it, but I've been having fun with that game, too. Except for the Skrillex intro, that was pretty retarded. An animal group that heals mind? If there is, I have yet to find it. Okay. You didn't like the wubs? No, I actually found out that that, that... Has your tails. What's going on, Rob? So. Tails? Okay, I'm trusting you, chat. Thank you. Alchemelia Volume 3. Alright, that's good. Forget which what this does. Super Sense is greater healing, highly explosive. Pine cone, and we can make a pine cone pig. Well, goddamn, dude. I think we can make two pine cone pigs. Okay, so let's give him a pine cone pig. Maybe that'll do something. Heads or tails? We don't know what the pinecone pig does yet. And if you know, please don't tell me. Heads? Everyone 
heads. Sif coin for heads. God damn, chat. What the fuck is wrong with you? You guys are fucking monsters tonight. <laughs> like, you're getting every single one right. Yes, I made it in the past, but I still don't- that doesn't mean I know what the fuck it does. Okay, this is basically- if you haven't seen this, this is the loot pinata area. There's no enemies, but you're timed. You can only sit here for a certain amount of time, so you gotta be quick. So I'm not gonna ask you for coin flips, I'm just gonna do them. I'm just gonna automatically mash heads. Because I want to maximize the amount of shit I can get here. Good shit. I think this always gives me the same thing, yeah, the ever-watching talisman, which is really good, I think. I believe that prevents me from losing sanity, if I, if I recall correctly. Bottle of ale, that's some good shit. That's sanity. Okay. Just run for these these chests. And infinite magic. I don't think it's infinite, but I think it means it gets rid of the the gradual drain. Is a big ass TV? Cause I like big ass TVs. Explosive vial. Okay, that was amazing. That was an incredible fucking haul. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this last turn. Alright. That's some good shit. Ever watching talisman. Relieve it seems to relieve your feelings of fear and terror. Crow is in the room, is he? Thank you, DJ Loser, for the 13-month resub, my gamer friend. How are ya? Yes? Oh, by the way, I need to equip Longsword. Longsword's way better than Mace. It's 20 more... Well, no, only 5 more damage. Never mind, I'm retard. Crow? We're fine with the Crow, I think. What happened to your Night File? He's he's still there, but we're, we're... Like, chat wanted me to play a different class for a bit. You know what? I don't have to kill him. Like, there's actually no reason to kill him. You don't get experience in this fucking game for killing enemies, so... If you can just walk past him, that's pretty much always the best way to go, unless you actually need to kill them for something. Why are you missing an arm? Enemy chopped it off. Oh, you can use counter magic on the doors. You don't need purifying talismans here. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Skill Black Orb is engraved into your head. So let me see. Did I level up from that? No, you're. I think you're just always level two in this game. Okay, so we have Black Orb now. That's some good shit. You can curse equipment. Yes. Later, Oscar. You have another save if you kill him? Yes, but the chances of you getting fucked by him are really high. It's not just a fight that you waltz in and win. At least it isn't for me. Maybe maybe there's some big dick fear and hunger players here, but I, I, I do not consider myself to be amongst them. I'm not going to re remain here any longer. There's no point. Get a sword? Seen it? Well, I've lost to it several times. Several times. I I do not have a very good track record against it right now. I'm sorry. Because it has a one-hit kill attack. It just kills you. There's not much you can do about it. It literally pecks your head off and you die. And it can use it turn one if it wants to really fuck you over. Might as well not put it off till later. Hank, calm down. Everything's going to be alright, Hanku-chan. No, I haven't gotten a helmet beamer. Curse equipment. I don't have enough souls for that. Okay. 
Hey, buddy. You want to join us? I wonder... How do we get this dude to join our party? Maybe if we were to come here with the little girl, he'd, he'd acknowledge that we're not evil or some shit. What do you get from killing a cultist any good? It might be. I think it just makes it to where you can talk to the cultist without consequence. I haven't looked at its stats, though. I can check it out. Hey, buddy. What? If Do you think I can I can resurrect him? If I kill him? Let's try it. Pinecone pig brought you dirt. Well, we know what the pinecone pig does now. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'll take it, I guess. Nope. Can't do anything to him. We killed him for no reason. Alright, so we can get some epic dirt from the pinecone pigs. Can't go up there because it's where that's where the uh, the orgy is. So, what should I do? I'm thinking. I think. The logical idea here is to kill, try to kill the crawl, but it's so risky. Because if I kill the crawl, I get another save. I could try risking the save, but if I if I fail the coin toss and I have to fight the crawl. I could sacrifice the little girl for an extra save. I haven't done anything with the girl yet. Why did you find a friend? Quite a while ago. I could kill these assholes and see if their robe's good. Oh, there's two of them. I might be fucked. Okay. Wait, how do I scroll down? There we go. Search. Purifying talisman in the priest's realm. Okay. No, because I have... The High Priest Robe Jail. That means I'm the fucking best. That means they hate the High Priest, which is fucked up. Should we kill him? Ah! Yeah, we're killing him. Oh! I love the noise it makes. <laughs> we really actually... We don't have a lot left to do. In the first part of this game, we, we really just, we can go to the crawl, we can go to the furry orgy, we can go to the axolotl, or we can go to the ghost. It, at this point, I think it's just, we gotta nut up and try try our best to kill the crawl. It's almost certainly gonna result in tragedy. I guess we could, we could kill the, the cave monster. But there's not really a reason to. Oh shit. I can craft a big dick potion. I think I think the crawl is the way to go. I think I'm gonna try. But the, the crawl is so fucked. 
Because if I don't win two tur turn two, I basically lose. What, what what skills does this guy have? High finesse arcing attack. Open coin for a save. Yeah, I think I think we got to do that. Try the head, dude. No, not before a save. Because you only get one chance to do whatever it is you do with the head, dude. All right, I think we're gonna risk it. We're gonna go for the save. It's almost certainly gonna result in tragedy. But I don't really, I don't really know what else I could realistically do here. Hey, maybe the coin flip isn't rigged and we'll actually get to take a snooze and save. Stranger things have happened. Kill we killed the crow earlier, Whole Wheat Roni, on the night. We killed it. It's definitely, it has about 600 health on the head. If I can get two turns of magic casting on the head, I'll, I will win. You did? Yeah, I did. Granted, it was on a on a run that was kind of just doomed and not really a serious run, but you can kill it. Okay. Heads or tails, chat. What's going on, Afro Wolfie? I'm convinced you can't win this flip. <laughs> I'm absolutely convinced. Okay. Guard's dead. Nope. See, that's the crow is crow is not good. Find out the secrets of the tree dungeon. The golem seems to be completely worthless. The golem... I, I don't know if I want to play the, the wizard anymore. Okay. I'll play the wizard. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to do the wizard, and then I'll save night for the hard mode playthrough. Okay, it's time, it's time to do the Necronomicon. What do you guys think, heads or tails? Hurting, okay. That's not bad, I suppose. What's this? Ooh, woo. Yes, give me the blood sacrifice. Mm, girl. Blood golem. Woo! Yeah. Yippee. <laughs> I don't like blood golem. What's going on, Echo? It would be much better if you could use it. Can, like... Can I use it prior to a fight? No, I can't. Talking to yourself or the voices inside won't save your sanity. Well, that's fucking dumb. Take a sip when the crow killed you? Oh, yeah, that's a thing I'm doing. You're right. Okay. Remember, we're doing a drinking game. Whenever I die to the crow, you take a, you take a full swig of whatever drink you got. God damn. Woo! 
Okay. Might as well try the crow as soon as you get your second dude. Honestly? As much as I hate to fucking say it, I think Hank is probably right. Because it seems like there's only one crow. When we killed him the one time and we went back to save, we could just save. Like, the crow there had been dead. So... I feel like I feel like when the crow interrupts us here, we might as well just try to go all in and fuck him and hope for the best. I just hate doing that because it feels like save scumming to me. Hank's trying to get no. I mean, I know Hank. Hank's trying to get me drunk, but Hank happens to be right in this situation. Because then I get the I get the sword and I can put it on my second party member. Then we're big dick swinging if we kill the crawl. Like he he's absolutely correct this time. Like I, I really should just try to zerg the crawl. Yeah, you pulsate, you little bitch. Fuck you. Alright, so that was 80 sanity down the fucking drain, but... <laughs> that spell is really good. Maybe after you save, take Lagarde and the girl and just leave? Maybe. If it lets you leave, because if you try to leave the mist normally, it basically tells you to fuck off. Do I have any... I don't even think I have things to, to heal my sanity. I have one tobacco left. So I'm fucked for the crawl. I can I can cast one spell basically. I have no more ale. Oh, okay. Hey, thank you, I push kids for the 13 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your continued support. And let's give this dude See we don't have the piggy anymore either, like the little the little mystical pig. Maybe you'll get lucky? Use your big dick spell on the guard? Why not? Learn Black Lord with the Soul Stone. Do I have the Soul Stone? Did I... Oh, yeah, I do. You're right. Fuck. I can learn it. I wonder what the difference between hurting is, though. It seems really weird to me that it would cost double the sanity and be a shittier version of Black Orb. I don't know if you read last time and didn't reply like an anus, but did you try blood sacrifice in the room of the jellyfish? Yeah, that big one, it doesn't work. That's not actually a real sacrificial circle. There's one in the castle you can use, but the one by the jellyfish is not viable. Slightly more. It does a lot more. It's like 150 times 3 versus 350. So, it's almost 30% more damage. I, I would consider it to be very significant, personally. And they don't seem to be able to miss. I've never seen a spell miss. So the thing is... It just... I don't know. And it, it makes sense that they can't miss. Because you need to use like half of your fucking stamina for it. So it would be really... It would really be a kick in the dick if it costed like 40, 40 sanity and then you just missed. That would suck ass. That would be no good at all. So let's go learn Black Orb. I'm still debating, like, maybe I should risk using the Blood Golem? Or I, I should try Zerging it. Because, like, the thing is, with the Crow, is when he attacks, one of, one, one of three things is going to happen. There's three, there's three things he can do. He can peck your head off, which you've seen. He can use Flock of Crows, which doesn't kill you, but it makes you completely blind. So if he hits a character with that, it breaks your character. Um, and then sometimes he just looks at you. And obviously that's 
that's what you want to have happen. Like, I think it's best to just zerg him and hope that he... He lets you through. Okay. Where was the last circle again? RNG save encounters with the crow. Yeah, it sucks, but... Okay, where the hell was the other save circle? Chat. I don't remember. Not the save circle, but the sacrificial circle. Let's just go fuck the crawl. Get a little girl for meat shield. No, the little girl's important. We need the little girl. Thank you, Texas, for the 15-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. How are you? Okay, we're just gonna say fuck it. Big dick swinging. I learned black orb. I don't think it really will make much of a difference, honestly. You need the little girl not blind? That's not a terrible point. That's true, I can only use hurting once. I just, I hate having to go back and do all this shit. And then it's like, it's RNG whether or not I get past the crawl. Put a bear trap. Bear trap doesn't seem like it damages the crawl. It just immobilizes him so you can run run away from it. Like, when we used the bear trap on the zombie, it seemed to dismember all of its limbs. But on the crow, it doesn't seem to do that. Are you okay? He's saying I can only use the hurting spell once, Oak Tree. Which is true. It costs 40 sanity and I have 78. So if I don't... Like, if I get lucky and he does let me have two turns that I don't even have enough mana to cast that spell twice, so it's fucking, it's a stupid idea to even bother. Wait. Do I have the third Alchemelia? No, I only have two on the save. What is Scroll of the Church of Sylvian? What the fuck did that accomplish? Loving Whispers. Concentrated Whispers carried out by the older god Sylvian heal a considerable amount of health. Okay, so that, that we have as a scroll that teaches us a heal ability. I actually feel like I, I would, would have been better off giving it to the knight. Because heals actually seem to be really limited in usefulness in this game. Because you, it's either you fuck the enemy or you get fucked. There's very little in between. You either completely blitz them or you get completely dicked. Sometimes in between shit happens, but it's it's not often. And thank you, Dead Inside Viking, for the 500 bits. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. See... I could go to Whataburger, but now I've been drinking, so no food today. I had hot Cheetos before before I uh, started the stream, though, so it's all good. Change your gear? Change it to what? The high priest roll? The crow doesn't use magic, so it wouldn't really be a big deal, but... What other spells are there? Oh, shit. Well, asshole, I have Black Orb now. You're done. Yes, that is a neck. It's 24-7. That's why I like it. You can go there 5 in the fucking morning and get a burger. And they have to cook that shit fresh. Like, that's a cheat code. That's a, that's a real-life cheat code. Most fast food places have burgers sitting on heat lamps or whatever the fuck. We all know this. This is something that everyone's aware of. But what a burger? They're not going to have a triple meat, triple cheese just laying on a heat lamp at 5 in the fucking morning. So you can go there 5 in the morning? Oh, shit. Okay, we have all of Grogoroth's spells. So, in retrospect, should have not done that.
And th thank you for the raid, Tacky Boy. What's going on, dude? How's your stream? Upgrade from Hurtix is further in the Golga. You might be right, yeah. That makes sense. Hurting is a beginner spell, and then the Black Orb is, is the big dick one. What's good, Dak? Can you have sex with this guy? No, he tells you there's no way that's gonna happen. If you try to fuck him. I'm gonna go to the orgy and heal. Actually, you know what? No, there's... there's I'm, I'm not gonna do that. There's no point. Doesn't have Ayaya? I hate Ayaya. I hate the anime emo shit. Sorry. So you might want to get another thing from the Hex table. Yeah, no, I agree, Ponzi. That's what I'm saying. I fucked up. Like, he would have taught me Black Orb there, and I decided to, to fuck myself and just lose health for no reason. But I didn't know that. I didn't know that, so... Now I do, and I, I hopefully won't be making the same mistake again. 2D Bloodborne, you haven't seen this shit? Oh my god, you're in for... <laughs> you're in for some bullshit. This game is fucking ridiculous. This game is unbelievably stupid. Beat Keisha a couple days ago and it was painful. It is not that bad. You are, you are being a diva right now. I absolutely... I, I, I guess a lot of people disagree with me, but Kingdom Hearts 3, having, like, so much more fun with that game than I was with Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, it's... It's it's not even a fucking competition in my mind. Like, I would... I would play Kingdom Hearts 3 20 times through before I did 2 again. And 40 times before I did 1 again. Okay. Chat, heads or tails... Combat? I like no 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 hold on hold on now now I'm pissed. Hey thank you for the eleven month resub seeming legit. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe maybe it gets like twenty times worse later in the game. But the world design in Kingdom Hearts 3 is so much fucking better. Oh my god! We actually can win the coin flip here? Holy shit, thank you, chat. It's a goddamn fucking miracle. That was like the seventh time. We've tried that and it's been the first time we've won. Okay, now we gotta try to lose it though. I wanna fight the fucking crawl. Dude, what the fuck? The game's fucking with me now. <laughs> you have got to be fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> Fail the fucking coin flip! God damn it. Pissed off occasion. Hey, okay, Kingdom Hearts. Since we're going to be doing this shit. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 worlds were like the most linear, just unenjoyable fucking slogs in my mind. But in 3... At the very least, you have the hidden Mickeys and things to find, and the game rewards you for exploring the, the worlds which are much more in-depth, which are much more fleshed out than they were in both 1 and 2. So it feels like there's actual gameplay content outside of fucking combat for the first time, in my opinion, uh, for Kingdom Hearts. But like, even if you like Kingdom Hearts 2, you, you gotta fucking admit that outside of the combat and the boss fights, the gameplay, like, going through the levels was not exactly the most enjoyable thing in the world, right? Can we at least agree on that? No? Then you're tripping. You're fucking tripping. You were absolutely tripping if you're if you're not gonna agree on that. In my opinion. Suck my motherfucking dick. Where are your arms now, bitch? 
taking another drink because we fucking won. Pirates, like I said, I haven't finished three. Maybe it does get bad and ends up being as bad as everybody says it is. But I feel like people are, are at, I like I wanna I wanna fucking jump off of a bridge. I really do, because I'm I'm actually in a position where I feel the need to fucking defend Kingdom Hearts, and that makes me feel wrong inside. But I really feel like people are giving three too much shit. I enjoy it way more than both of the others. <laughs> okay. Woo! All right. Thank you, Savant, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have the key? What an asshole. Okay, so getting getting the big dick god gene sword is RNG. You don't always get it when killing the crawl. Oh, this dude's looking worse for wear. Oh yeah, he's fucked. He's actually gonna die. Well, Lagarde, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks, dude! The healing spell? Is that gonna heal infection, though? We could try it, I suppose. Loving whispers. No, it just says health. There's no way it does. Wait! I have a move that kills myself now? I guess you get that at low sanity. Okay, that's dope. Been there for a while? I didn't even notice. Okay. This is the new playthrough I'm playing as the mage now. So now he's just bleeding. He'll get over it. Save scum the key from the- I'm not gonna save scum the key from the crow's corpse. Why'd you cut his leg? Because he was infected. They die if they if they get infected. I don't have the herbs to heal it. This game's fun. this game dicks you. This game is not not easy. Maybe it is for some gaji mandingo warriors, but for me, no. Kill Shakespeare? I think I gotta go to the Sylvan and, and have sex really quick. This is the farthest we've made it progression-wise, though. The Crow is dead. We have both party members intact. Because we killed the Crow earlier on the night, but we lost... The second party member because if you don't apparently if you don't reach him in time you you actually just don't don't get to don't get to proceed with the game like there's actually a time where you have to beat the first part of the game within I, I would assume to be 30 minutes so actually we have something that we want to do down here before we heal Sex scene better with a male or female character? I haven't done it on a male character. Do you want to know the actual time? No. What's going on, Melon Fox? And you can save without dying? It appears to be the case, yeah. But the game gets much harder beyond this point. Like, everything fucking dicks me. There, there are very few easy encounters from this point on. This is actually probably the easiest encounter that we're going to have. But you guys have already seen this, I think. Can I not get its head? I just get its torso, I guess. And you 
you get the titties. Actually, no, just deserve the torso. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, what's going on, Tentacle? The wizard is very strong at this point. Once you get Black Orb, it's just like a, a, a switch flips and you just fuck everything. But, we no longer have any sort of sanity increasing items. Let's go down to Silver Fox. Dark Priest? Yeah, Dark Priest seems really good. Once you get past the initial slog. I need some more Diet Coke, holy shit. Now I have to find out where to go to trigger the second encounter, because you've had to fight that thing twice. Hello? Is anybody out there? So what the fuck is this? You wanna pray, pray to Girl Garoth? Okay. Doesn't seem to have any effect. And then we can get the... We can milk this thing. There's a huge creature chain on the wall. It's all dried up. But it's a certain whether it's alive or not. Milk it. You milked some yellow muckus from the breast. Isn't that just a... Doesn't that make you happy reading that? You were losing your mind. Yeah, I am. Let's go to the nymphs and heal. I don't think we can get the second encounter with the cave mother. It didn't attack us again. Okay. Acting last Jedi? You're goddamn right, dude. Makes you want to pop some pimples. That Dr. Pimple Popper shit is degenerate. Can't believe that's a thing. Go to the left. There's a different layout, Hank. Like, the layout changes, so I didn't know which way to go. So keep in mind that it's not I wouldn't really call it a roguelike at this point but the layouts of rooms and dungeons and shit do change so it's something to keep into consideration all right I didn't get the mock-up book from the prison you're from the claymore I could but do I want to sacrifice the small child after she okay here's the thing Earlier in the game, the small child performed acts that can only be described as heroic. The small child did some big dick shit. I'm going to give it to her. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then it's worth watching the first hour or so of the VOD. And I really, like, I don't really feel like sacrificing the kid anymore. Thank you, Fifth Gear, for the seven-month resub. Are resub still broke? Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate the continued support. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're doing that. So, you know, getting, not getting the croquis is a bug. I'm okay with that. Emergent gameplay. I kind of cheesed the crow, so I'm fine with not getting the reward. Appreciate the continuous good times. I'm glad you have good times. Fuck. I need to ask chat. Oh, my mind is not doing well. We gotta go. We, we actually don't have time to be fucking with this. We, we gotta go. Duel didn't want... I got lucky. There's no ifs, ands. If it had used pack, I would have just lost. I think I might have actually fucked myself. Is there anything that gives a small amount of sanity? Yellow vial. Nope. Alright, I think we're fucked, gamers. Where'd 
three. Can I stop playing ESO? I stopped playing that game. It was fun for like four hours and then the illusion faded pretty quickly. It's like, uh, it has a lot of the same problems that I, I consider to plague oblivion. Okay. We might be able to make it good, but I gotta avoid the other guy. We didn't get to the good part. I was on Morrowind. I wasn't the good part. My problem with that game is there was no sense of progression because literally everything scales to your level. Like, the difference between level 1 and 10 was absolutely fucking nothing. And mm. it just... I can see how that would be a good thing for a lot of people. Oh, I'm doing it doggy style. Holy shit. Um, I can see how that would be a good thing for a lot of people. But for me, I just don't... I don't know. But I read up on it, Hank. Everything scales to your level in that game. Like, it's designed to make it to where, regardless of where you are, the content will be scaled to what you're at currently. And I don't like that. You know I don't like that. And some people might. And I respect that. But me... I don't, I don't, I don't really care for it. You take it or give it? I'm a dude. She only really kicks in? Okay, maybe. But I don't really want to play for that long before I get the feeling of, of progression. Like, playing that long without any sense of progression, just... Not for me. If it's for you, the more power to you. But for me, no thank you. Well, to be fair, Pit Panther, Bethesda didn't make the MMO. There's a different, a different studio that works on the MMO. It's not the same people. Started doing that shit in WoW too. Yeah, I remember when RPGs, you felt like your character was getting stronger and more powerful and bigger dicked. But now it's just a lot of them seem to just scale all the content to your level. And like I said. I can see how that would appeal to a certain demographic of people. I just don't happen to be in that certain demographic of people. That's okay. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. Different strokes for different folks, right gamers? Thank you, Joe Mo Bay, for the three month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And wow. Wow is a lost cause at this point, I think, doll. You want your MMO world to scale your level? I want to fuck your asshole. All right. You mean to start shit? No, it's all good. I, I was the one who talked about it. Like, I'm, you didn't do anything. I, I was the one who started talking about ESO in detail. How is Sif like their bark boxes? She likes them a lot. The second or the third one is coming on Friday, I think. I actually have more treats than I can use. It's kind of funny. At least I think it's funny. Maybe you guys don't find the same sense of humor that I do with it. <laughs> okay. Give me that shit. Can you soul stone here? It doesn't matter what you tell him, listen, Angelic. He doesn't seem to really give a shit, one way or the other. I don't find it funny, and that's okay. Alright. Soulstone on the Raven, you can, and you get a unique thing for it, but the Raven corpse is, just stays there, so I don't feel a particularly, particular pressing desire to do it. I'm still fucked sanity wise. I guess if you get bad RNG on the, uh, the sanity items, you can fuck yourself. Actually, no. I can't even blame RNG. I should never use hurt. Hurting is not good. Heads or tails. Please be. Scroll of the Dark Mage, what the fuck is that? I 
think I already had it. Pulling an all-nighter to watch you play this? Well, I hope I, I do a good job for you. I hope you were entertained. Feed the guard? I also need to... Hold on. Do I have the thing that lets me turn cloth hoods into bandages? I don't. I like building up a character, but is it really that much different from auto-scaling? If it is, make sure you're keeping up in power. Yes, because it means there's consequence in, the, in how you build your character. You could build your character inefficiently and make it to where things are much more difficult than they need to be, or you could be a min-maxer and fuck everything. And that's kind of a rewarding feeling in and of itself, because you use your knowledge of the game to become a more effective player and make a more effective character. And in a sense, that feels rewarding to certain types of people, like me. Um, so... It really depends on your perspective. Like I said, some people just want to play Elder Scrolls Online for the story and, like, to explore all of the shit in Tamriel. And I feel like the sort of system where they don't really give a shit about the combat and they just want to do the quest and the story, that would work great for them because they don't have to worry about building a character. They don't have to worry about anything like that. But if you're someone who just happens to be more into the RPG aspects of things and that's not really going to pickle your pickle... So we got Ale. We have Sanity for the time being. If I sacrifice the girl, I can open this door. I wonder if if the Dark Orb would break it in one turn. Wait, maybe... Hold on. Maybe with my one-handed weapons, I have two people. Maybe I could just fucking break it. Not if I miss. No, it only does 98. Because his bones are broken. He's worthless now. He doesn't do anything. Maybe if I feed him. Here, eat your leg, asshole. There you go. Come on, you little slut. Gobble it up. More rewarding when I do things moderately underpowered. Me too. With an interesting build, min-maxing tends to get me bored really quickly. I still like feeling like there's actually choice. Like agency for a person when they're playing that game. Or that sort of game. You know what I mean? Makes it feel like it's, it's your character. That you you built it a certain way, and if you have scaling that just makes everything homogenous, then I, I don't I don't really get a boner from that personally. Okay, heads or tails. Heads. Okay. Wow, chat. What the fuck? Okay. Well, I'm not talking about WoW right now, Sincere. I haven't played WoW in fucking God knows how long. I'm talking about ESL. Has your tails, chat. Heads again. Alright, double down. Chat. Oh, well, I got a glass vial. I guess there's something, right? Blueberry. Draw back that dude losing his leg? I'm not sure. I imagine it reduces his stats in some way, but I, I would be lying to you if I told you I knew exactly how. Like, I'm still a newbie when it comes to this game. I'm not very good at it. So, I'm still figuring things out. Probably fucks his dodge chance. Yeah, that seems like it would be likely. You can name the islands you discover. Can I can I have an island named Cockfuck Atoll? God damn it. Some of those little jars you can search, but not that one. Is our current goal in game? I don't really know, to tell you the truth. <laughs> does that does that make you feel uh, hopeful? Well you know what? Fuck you. Oh wow, he actually managed to not kill these things in one hit. That's impressive in a certain in a certain way. Okay. Do something cool? I don't believe in doing cool shit. I think I had a Tolomeo our island. It sucked. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait. Heads or tails, chat. 
Don't fuck this one up. Tails? Okay. Necromancy failed. Skeleton kick! My favorite attack, dude! <laughs> the skeleton kick attack. Oh man, that's one of my... Uh, God damn. That maneuver has got me out of so many awkward situations, you don't even fucking know. Okay. So now let's try to fight little Caesar over here. I gotta save, though. You're almost insane? Oh, shit, yeah, I am. What the fuck? Well, I guess I probably shouldn't save then, huh? Because I'm just dead. That's unfortunate. Well, goddamn. Okay. That's a kick in the cock. Um, where should we fucking go then? Fuck it, let's go visit the, the ghost, I guess. I missed that ring. That ring was really good. I still I still wish that I had the I had the knight class. No chance to get a skeleton friend? Well the reason I fucked myself is because I tried resurrecting the skeleton for 30 sanity. That that was the problem. Like that was a, a a grievous miscalculation on my part, I guess. Well. Maybe we could beat the shit out of the axolotl now. Stand by some fire? Do you think that would work? Oh, my mind is too. Is your phobia the ghost one? I can't light that torch, huh? Hmm. Huh, yeah. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, buddy. We're, we're friends. Orgy time? I don't think that's gonna help my sanity. Do I not have tinder boxes? Have I actually managed to run out of tinder boxes of all things? I guess so, huh? Holy shit. Whatever we need to, to do, we need to get past this ghost here. How? Beats the fuck out of me. But, where the fuck is the ghost? I guess the ghost is gone after I did the, uh... Did I save this guy? Oh, well that's not good. What an asshole! <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit! Hey, thank you for the 13 month resub, Bivrak Bay. I appreciate it, dude. Man, fuck this game, homie. Shit's fucking retarded. How are you? Let's get his staff on. Yellow mage. Uh-oh, hurting. I'm dead. Rip. It's doing magical gang signs. Okay, go for the torso. Just fuck it. My mind is zero, so I lost anyways. Okay. <laughs> the nugget adventure. I like how this asshole is, uh, following a nugget around. Oh! Fuck 
you. God damn it. All right, we're going to run. Run. Oh. Cool. Well, I'm going to take a, a piss break and get a Diet Coke, and then we will, we will resume the jiggling. Hello chat, I am back. Did you miss me? <sighs> All right, so we made a little bit of progress, I guess. We know now that after acquiring this party member, it seems that we can run past the ghost man. However, the mage seems to be kind of an asshole. He just blew my leg off for no reason. A thank you, Crowix. 2106 for the nine months. I appreciate it. Whoo-wee, goddamn. Are you streaming much longer? Yeah, probably mo like four hours plus. I, I woke up right before the stream, so it'll be a long one. Alright. If the Crow Mauler is dead, is there a new drinking game? Just anytime I die to anything. <laughs> I, I, I think that that would work out well. Ever going back to that old night save? I don't know. I think we'll, we'll see how we can do with this. And maybe we can do a, uh, a hard mode playthrough as the knight. Because the knight's still my favorite class. I still like the knight way more than the wizard. The wizard definitely has its bonuses. Like the ability to do 450 damage to a head without accuracy. But I like the knight way more. I just, I enjoy melee. I don't like the fact that I, I, I die so fucking quickly and easily. It is not my cup of tea. Save had the best stuff. It really did. The arm guards are amazing. The arm guards are actually... I, I think they're probably the most understated part of the run we had with the knight. Is arm guards prevent you from losing limbs. And that in this game, that's super fucking huge if you're playing as the knight and just fighting shit like I was. No, no other knight playthrough will be nearly as successful if I don't get those. And they seem to be about as uncommon as rings. So, we will see. Alright, chat. Don't let me down. 
Get Black Orb tonight? Yeah, you could. You could definitely do that if you wanted to. I don't know if there's like a magic stat that would that would impede it, but maybe maybe the knight can't learn magic. I don't fucking know. Cause the mage can use plate armor. God damn it. A bear chair. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. Okay, chat. It was heads last time. Or, uh, tails? I know it was tails last time. Always tails? Okay, always tails. Wow, I fucking hate this game. <laughs> this game's bullshit. Can you teach the kid? That would be actually really interesting if you could teach the kid magic because that could be that could be really strong. Kid has dog shit for physical offense, but the kid was doing 450 a turn with Black Orb. That would be an entirely new game, basically. However, she dies in one hit, so... Heads! Scroll of the Highwaymen. That's gonna teach me steel, right? Learn the secrets of dashing and speedrunning. Yeah, we're not using that scroll, dude. I don't want to go to AGDQ. Heads. Tails, god damn it. Is something actually following me or is that my, my sanity fucking with me? Can I? It says if someone's staring at you from the dis- Okay, that's kinda... That's worrying. I'm not really a big fan of that. The crow? I fucking hope not. We got yeah, we got a bunch of sanity increasing items, so we should go back and save and then try to kill Shakespeare. Wait, do I have a soul that I could use here? It's chat. This character's a chick. No, this this is actually a dude, believe it or not. Pretty much the rule of thumb in this game is whatever it looks like, it's the opposite. Is something gonna dick me? I don't really want to get dicked. I don't want to be stared at either. Blood Mage 2 strong. The guards are women? Yes. It's like the butchers in Dark Souls 1 are women, technically. Little girl's actually a boy? Yes. Sometimes you get dick, sometimes you do the dick in. Words to live by. Five silver coin. Raw meat. Let's see if I can bleep this door down. What did I miss? Not a whole hell of a lot, honestly. Fuck! How the hell do I keep missing a fucking door? Okay, please don't fucking miss it. There we go. God damn. The agility of this door is unbelievable. Blue liquid. Oh, baby. Cloth fragment. That's good. Moldy bread. Also good. Good shit. That was... A good little foray. You don't seem to have the first character? What do you mean? Wisely placed 30 points into ADP. The high frames on this door are unbelievable. Low golden Play-Doh. Person probably loves Berserk. Berserk, Silent Hill, and Dark Souls. 
think it's a pretty safe bet. Wait, infection? When the fuck did this asshole get infected? Okay, say goodbye to a leg. Take that thing off, asshole. The door got him. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. Okay. Heal bleeding. He's still. He's pretty much been worthless since the fight with the crow because they broke his fucking bones. Also, look at this chat. If you play this game, you should go down this hole. <laughs> you should definitely try it out. It's good. We went through this area, right? Yeah, I think so. It's a good hole. It's a good hole. Try it out when you have a really good run going. Yeah, if you feel like you're about to win the game and you need a little bit of extra challenge, make sure to go into the bloody toilet hole. <laughs> you know what we haven't tried in a while? Let's save and see if we can beat the shit out of that wizard. It's been a minute since we've messed with him, right? Did you kill the lizard? The lizard actually did not spawn on this playthrough, which is exceedingly unfortunate. Because that means I don't have access to a two-handed weapon without sacrificing the small child. I could also try killing... Mr. Shakespeare. But I don't know if that would really be worth it. I mean, I have tobacco. How much does that heal? 30? Yeah. Save now. You, could you go into the shithole? I don't want to go into the shithole. <laughs> Place fucking sucks, dude. Gotta fight the yellow mage again. Yeah, but I want to see if I can do something with the wizard and maybe beat the shit out of Shakespeare. Although there's really no point. It, it does give you sanity to beat the corpses. Bear trap work on the ghost knight? I don't think so. Gave nothing. He gave keys to the prison, I think. Which isn't nothing. Some extra areas to explore. RPG maker taken to the extreme? Yes. Extreme RPG maker. Thank you, Homage Philharmonica, for the four month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much, and I hope you're doing well. Just discard. He's fucking worthless. Ooh, it can miss. Fuck. This might be bad. His name's Lagarde, so you gotta guard with him non-stop, right? Got him. Okay. Search. Cell keys, yes. He's really not that bad with Mage. That is one of those bosses that's absolutely gonna be much more difficult as a melee character. Because you can just hit his head with the magic. Back, what's up? Talk to the knight now? Wouldn't it be fucked up if beating him broke your foot? That would be fucking funny. <laughs> that would be hilarious, as a matter of fact. I'm waiting for one of these enemies to get up after you beat them. Like, I've been anticipating that in the back of my dick this entire time, and it has not happened. And it honestly, it's kind of disappointing. Hey, buddy. See, I talked to him earlier. He gave me the shekels. I got 99 silver coins. I'm actually capped on silver coins. Can I like this? Able to save multiple times now because I killed the crow, loco. I beat the crow mauler. So it frees up the save point. This Buckman? I've talked to the knight before. He doesn't do anything. 
classifies as the back of your dick that's a secret. I'll talk to him in a bit. Let me explore the rest of the prison. We got an asshole to kill. Where is this motherfucker? Okay. We need to give that to the girl and we need to kill this guy. Well, do you have a mission here, but let's save the story for another day. Got a week after being left here for ages. Would you mind if we travel together? Attack him. This dude is an extreme asshole if you weren't here for the beginning of the stream. We join, let him join our party. He stole our shit after we equipped him. And he ambushed me and the little girl and almost killed us. So this guy, as far as I'm concerned, this dude can suck a fucking dick. Asshole. <laughs> much easier than the last time. Much, much easier. Okay. I don't think there'd be anything there. Oh, shit. Go oh, away, gnomes. Also, a shit play of... I don't think he's shit. Help before? No, he didn't help at all. We didn't do a single, a single bit of combat with him. He didn't do shit. All right, chat, heads or tails. Soulstone. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm about. Okay. Good shit. Thank you, chat. See, we're actually gonna encounter a pretty unusual problem in that we're gonna run out of food. Although I have a lot of meat to cook. I have a bunch of shitty food too, like tomatoes. It's a mage route. This is the farthest we've progressed up until this point. It is going pretty well. We've killed the crow as well as Shakespeare. Oh, fuck. Okay. I want to save and see if we can do something with the mage now, though. Take the mercenary So I wonder if I could reanimate him. I want to take the crow's soul, though. I feel like it counts for more. I'll beat him, though. So I guess I need to beat every corpse. I feel like it gives you sanity each time you do it. Shittier? No, this character was shitty at first, but... It's, it's much better than the knight at this point, I think. Just because I can go and one-shot things in the head. Like, once you get Black Orb, I, I feel like it has better combat potential. Provided you have another party member. If you're the only thing that can be targeted, and they can and they can zerg you down pretty quickly. But since I have the knight, I just guard with him. And if they attack the knight, they take no... Like, he takes virtually no damage, and I just fuck them with the mage. It's quite useful. Okay, so let's smoke some fucking marijuanas. By marijuana, I mean tobacco. The saw the flag, you can eat that? Yeah, I can eat the lag eventually. Crow soul, you're right. You're right. I imagine I'm going to die here, though. Cook meat? I could do that. I'm gonna try to beat the, the wizard, though. Nice talking with friends. Thanks for sharing with the rest of the class, dude. Hope you hope you manage to get a situation okay. All right. Necromancy only worked on Hanku Chan. There's another skeleton you can resurrect towards the beginning of the game that we found out, but it's I honestly doubt it's worth it. I don't have enough sanity to be fucking around with it right now. 
Search. Okay. Wait. I can hit the darkness? This fucking night is worthless. <laughs> Dude is so fucking bad. I don't appear to be able to attack the head. Okay. You were crushed with great pressure. So yeah, that's usually what happens when you fight that thing. There's not really... Like, there's got... It, I feel like it's a puzzle. There's got to be something you can do, but I haven't figured it out yet. Don't fucking tell me, by the way, if you happen to know. Do not... Fucking let me know. I want to figure it out myself, please. Crowso, you're right. You? Who would even know? There are quite a few people who have, who have tried to, uh, to tell me to do things. Okay. Because there's a wiki for this shit. Keep that in mind. Nobody is Kexley Mine. My name's Kyle. That meat. All from a bag of hot Cheetos. Dope. Just bend over and let him in. Use the arrow keys, you can move. Ha ha. Ha ha. So I, I think you have to do something specific, Wiseman. You know, revive Hanku Chan and have sex with him? Fuck you. Alright, chat, heads or tails. Heads? Alright. Necromancy was successful. What's our skeleton's name? Noodle Bones. Yeah, Noodle Bone. Noodle Bone doesn't seem to remember anything about his past life, but it doesn't seem to care. <laughs> Look at his face. Noodle Bone. All right, I'm digging it. Yes. Tobacco comes, you will live. Thankfully, the, the guard guy has a very strong mind. I think that that probably doesn't bode well for us if his, his mind is good and all this dark shit. He's probably a fucked up furry or something. Can I equip shit to the skeleton? <gasps> Holy shit, I can? I can put plate mail on the skeleton? Oh my god! Okay, so you know what to do. If you play this game as a, as a fucking wizard, you know what to do immediately. <laughs> Resurrect that fucking skeleton. Holy fuck. The zombie was dog shit, but the skeleton appears to be anything but. 
He's like a fully-fledged party member now. If I find another skeleton, I have plate mail for that one, too. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> a skeleton, fuck! Is there a part of them? I imagine four. That would make sense to me. You beat Shakespeare? Yeah, he's easy as fuck to beat with the mage once you get Black Orb. I think you could probably even beat him with just the mage. You, you don't even really need the warrior. Because you can kill him turn two with Black Orb on the head. Infinite saves now? Yeah. I do. Okie dokie. Now maybe we can beat the mage. Oh man, fuck you. You're not gonna be able to beat my epic party of gangsters. Get him, Noodle. That's right. God, the skeleton animation looks like he's like, hello, on your chin. <laughs> Give me a kiss. All right. You named it Noodle? Yes, Noodle Ball. You already had one named after you, asshole. Bought more toys for my dog? Nice. Four sixty. It was a crit. I fucking love Noodle Bomb, dude. God damn it. Hey, thank you, Alex007C, for the 28 month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. We got the big dick party now. dead. <laughs> Alright. Maybe we can beat the Axolotl if we have the Skeleton, the Blood Golem, and the, and the Warrior, though. That, that seems like it could be conceivable. Soul Edge? I can't. It bugged out and I can't get the, the Crow's key. So we have to do without Miasma. Which is fine. We're still pretty stacked as it is. I think the head is undefeatable. I feel like we need to give him blood vials or a sacrifice or some shit. We also haven't defeated the Gnome Mother either. We need to go down here and see if we can find that bitch. Chop her fucking mams off. Is the wizard good? The wizard's very good. I think at this point... I I, I would I would say that, that the wizard is better than the knight at this point in time. I, I don't think that's an unreasonable thing to say. A soul stone. Alright. That's really it? <laughs> it's only got like 400 health on the torso? My third party member didn't even get to attack. Hey, thank you, Questionable, for the raid of 16 people. How was your stream, dude? Thank you very much. Hello, Trollger Boy and Lapis Viper. Thank you, Guntherkin, for the eight months. 
I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. It's fucked right now. It's fucked right now. Miss. I thank you, Lagarde. Thank you, Noodle. I'm glad I can count on my fucking boys. Cave Gnome came for breastfeeding. While wow, Noodle just punched, he's like, my titties, bitch. <laughs> Stay away from my mammary glands, you little gnome. <laughs> Those are mine. I respect that. Cave Mother sees it finally be dead. There's no pity between her legs. Search. You find a gnome egg. All right, let's go save. Noodle needs the calcium. Let Noodle hold the egg. <laughs> Noodles a bitch, dude. Noodles so much better than Hanku Chan. It's unfucking believable. However, however, Hanku Chan helped immensely tanking an early game. We would not have gotten here without Hanku Chan. However, Noodle Noodle is definitely a better big dick damage character. This game's gross. Fuck yeah, it is. What's going on, Stell? When did you switch to the mage earlier? People wanted me to try a different class. Okay. Here's some food. That's not who I wanted to give that tomato to. Does Noodle need to eat? He's a fucking skeleton, CJ Cathead. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's literally a skeleton. What's good, Chilvy? Is that the barbarian looking class? Yeah, I don't I honestly don't like the classes aside from Knight. Wizard's okay. You know what we have now, right? We have enough souls to see what cursing a weapon does. Girl's dead? No, the girl is has been locked in a cage. Wizard was good. Wizard is good, but I just... I like melee. I don't like magic. That's how I am. That's how I play every fucking game, dude. The gem, but not the souls. We can get the souls. There are fucking wizards on the way. Souls ain't no thing. Okay. Good shit, Neko. What's going on, dog? Curse the doll and give it to the girl? Curse weapons. I think the doll is a weapon. Gnomes sound like they shard every time they encounter you. Gnomes are actually really fucking scary early on because not only do they give you bleeding, they infect your limbs too. They can actually fucking destroy you when you, you just have a party of one. Curse the dagger and give it to the girl? And then give her to the cat? I like the way you think, chat. I still can't remember where the fuck- Oh no, I remember. It's in the lower prison. So let's beat the shit out of these cultists. Dude, the, are you saying the claymore is not good? How fucking dare you? Oh wow, he set me on fire. I haven't seen that one before. However, we have a water vial. Doesn't even matter, he doesn't stay on fire. Like we're getting by without it? You're right. Kick the fuck out of the- let me make sure, 46 mine? Nah, I guess only certain enemies give you stamina. I think we actually have three soul stones now. Curse the doll, give the doll a dagger, give the doll to the girl, and give the girl to the cat. 
The girl has a different phobia. I have a feeling if I leave her in the cage too long, she's just gonna fucking die. That'd be some shit, huh? Curse of weapons? See, it would be dope if I had the claymore. It's a curse. That would be a good weapon to curse. Do I have a long sword? Meat cleaver. Got a cursed meat cleaver. Who should we give the cursed meat cleaver to? 90 damage? Holy fuck. Alright, here you go, Noodle. <laughs> it's 76 for you, but. It looks like it just buffs your weapon, huh? Another soul, too. Mastery over insects? Needleworm? Blood portal. Devour. Okay, so what happened? What, what's the other thing I haven't gotten here? Pyromancy trick? Sure, I don't know what the fuck that is. Let's learn it. That sounds dull, right? Pyromancy trick. To cause burns to your opponent. Okay. Okay, that's fair enough, I suppose. Only 76, Omega. Hank, shut the front door. You had, like, fucking 20 attack. Only... Yeah, it really depends how hard it's gonna hit. How's the run so far? It's pretty good. Yeah, but I was epic. Hank is so pissed that his character's dead. Oh, wait, what the fuck? All right, well, we can try out Pyromancy, I guess, since we have. Should we try out Pyromancy? Oh, it's dog shit. Yeah, Noodle, you get that leg. Oh, but it burns them. Okay, no, that's not dog shit at all. You get that stinger. Okay. Interesting. So it is really good, actually. Hey, buddy. Open the cage. I don't have the key for it, actually. Burned out a substantial... Yeah, depending on how long it lasts, it's either really good or shit. Run the zombie and turn him into an undead kamikaze. We can't free her. Not yet. We will eventually. Want no info about the ghost? Absolutely not. And thank you, Dead Inside Viking, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. So our next mission... We're gonna go save, and we are going to try to fight a very intimidating enemy. Or have you made it? I've made it farther than the night run. This is our this is our best run for sure. So I don't even think it's a question at this point. Because we had an okay night run earlier, but we freed a mercenary who ended up dicking me down and fucking everything up. Which wasn't good. Wasn't good at all, honestly. Game have replayability. It has four classes in a hard mode, so I'd say so. And it supposedly has multiple endings, although I wouldn't know that from experience, what chat has said. Okay. Let's go to the fucking tree. This game hard mode? Yeah, we're playing on normal right now. This is only normal difficulty. So. Let that sink in. Alright, I haven't gotten the books down there. It said ending E, true. So there's at least four, four real endings, I suppose. Okay. okay. No, I think ending E is probably the primary ending. What are you talking about? We could beat the shit out of the human hydra if we were so inclined. I don't really know what it would achieve at this point.
Okay. I'm getting paranoid because of fear. No, I'm not. I have a finite amount of sanity left, unfortunately. Not the toilet pit ending. The TP ending, yeah, one of my favorites. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna try to do some hood rat shit that I hope works. Not liking pop time. I don't really like pop time. I don't like any robot to spam shit. Physically existing, bring your sanity down. It depends. If you're, like, around a fire or some shit, it seems to gradually go up. But for the most part, if you're in a dark-ass corridor, it's just going to go down. Deep have we gotten? The deepest we've gotten is to the catacombs level 7. Okay. Let's take a nippy. It's a shame we got that wizard encounter, the, the encounter with the witch earlier. I wanted to go back and see if we could beat it. Okay. Get the fuck away from me, you nasty gnomes. Alright, so we have, we can do the yellow wizard, but I'm actually going to try to see if we can beat the fuck out of the axolotl with a party of three. I feel like we have a chance. It's a possibility. We might be able to zerg down one arm and then it won't really be too intimidating after one of its arms have been chopped off. We do need to feed our, our boys, though. Have some dried mushrooms. <laughs> it sucks that I haven't gotten a recipe book at all. Tried necromancing the hanging ghoul? Yes, actually. Suppose I could have just eaten with my furry friends. Dude, you're, 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 you're cruising for a fucking cruise, and you, you are not gonna win this encounter, my man. <laughs> you are absolutely fucked here. That's right, Noodle, punch his fucking ankle. What a retard. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. You are not gonna- you can't even beat one- that is the weakest enemy in the game, is the ogre with the crossbow. There is no weaker enemy in the entirety of this game. Hey! Alright. Nice to meet you too. And jellyfish- no, jellyfish is definitely worse. Because you can't really kill the jellyfish before it attacks you consistently early game. You can with that guy, because he always wastes his first turn. He never does anything turn one. Ever. He's always just sitting there like a fucking asshole. Not the hydro- okay. Fair enough. Touche. This door is gonna get fucking dicked. Fight that fish? Yeah, we're gonna get dicked by the salmon snake. Christ. Noodle! Without- okay, Noodle just chopped his fucking eye off. I think- I think we won! 
I, I, I think we fucking won, dude. Although its tongue is doing something that I don't really like. It's about to do the ice Poseidon. So let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. I think I think it's fucked, dude. <laughs> I, I think it's done. And thank you, Kaiser K, for the eight month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We beat it. We fucking destroyed it, actually. <laughs> We fucking annihilated that asshole. Stone crown. The crown made of some finer quality, so it makes it shiny, but the crew design suggests it's not worth much. That's some decent defense. It's dead torso reeks of sea. You skinning knife. Yes. Some salmon snake meat. Oh, delightful. Kill the crow guy? Yes. Okay, so let's go save now that we beat the shit out of that guy. My mind is not doing too good, though. I'm gonna go, Snipe Boy. Mm. Your psyche is crumbling. You take a stone. I'm gonna risk something. I'm gonna do something really, really ballsy. Has a skeleton, but not a rotting corpse. What the fuck was that noise? Less or more fucked up? Eh, it's probably less fucked up. We haven't made that much progress because we started a new character. There's that slurping. I'm guessing that's because we're low on sanity. It makes sense to me. I don't know about you guys. What if we sit in the chair? Maybe that'll restore sanity. Okay, perhaps there's no sanity. I'm not sure. No, we've sat on this chair before. I don't know if it actually has an effect or not. Nope. Oopsie. I wish we could use necromancy on the salmon snake. That'd be some big dick shit if you ask me. Wouldn't fit. That's just like your fucking opinion, man. Be a big pile of meat. Yeah, portable food storage. What's wrong with that? Ooh, one mind. One mind. That's two mind because we're at the fire. Man, we are cutting it a little bit close here. If we stay up here, I think we just generate mind. Huge fucking Santa Snake model just follows you through the tiny hallways? Yeah, it'd be dope. My psyche is crumbling. Okay. I want to see if the sanity potion that that dude sells works. It's probably going to kill me. But, is that the talisman? I don't think so. No, I do not. What do you do for sanity? You gotta go deeper. Gotta go deeper. Told there's no way. Last potion murdered your ass. Man, let me try some shit. You never know. Sometimes miracles happen. 
And get the fuck out of my way, you degenerate. How the fuck? Okay. Noodle's gonna finish him. I believe in Noodle. Noodle will fist him. Noodle, what the fuck? Now, now our asshole has parasites, Noodle, and it's all your fucking fault. Okay. Dried mushrooms. What happened to your hand? It got chopped off a long time ago. I forget what chopped it off, but it's not really a big deal since I'm a mage. Okay. Do I really not have worm juice? Holy fuck. Now that's impressive. God damn it, Noodle. You fucked us. You fucked us. Oh my god. These things are terrible. <laughs> Never fight these fucking things. Now we're both fucking parasited. We're infested. Noodle's such a piece of shit. I actually did enough damage to kill its head, but it got turns anyways. Alright. That's okay. We saved recently. We don't lose like 20 minutes of progress if we if we die now. So to it's dude, it's fine. Like dying's really not a big deal at this point, to tell you the truth. Save the girl yet? No, I need a small key that I don't have. That's why I'm trying to explore like these areas that I haven't gone to before. Like even if it's only a couple of barrels, there might be a key and then I can I can I can chill, you know? Tolo, you got a drink? Girl's not saved. We've saved the girl and sacrificed her before. She's not saved on this playthrough. You're losing your mind. Oh, no. Why the fuck did I go down here again? Well, I just gave myself the good old dick down, didn't I? Yeah, pepperoni and cheese. That was worthless. Key in the diary? We used that already, though. You can't inject Noodle, you fucking retard. He's a skeleton. What an idiot. Skeletons can't have parasites. At least not the type of parasite you have. Alright, you've redeemed yourself, Noodle. For now. <laughs> fucking skeleton. Man, if I get another skeleton, I can deck that one out too. Christ almighty, that would be some shit. Alrighty. I'm trusting you, asshole. Potion of full sanity. Don't fuck me. You fucked me. Asshole. Alright. We knew it was gonna happen, but I figured I'd try. Necromancy the horse, we tried, you can't. Losing your mind. Okay. I guess I can buy the maps. No harm, right? How do I know the maps are legit? I don't always prove my words, so yeah. Well, I know they're not legit. Remember the warrior character? Chat wanted me to reroll his a Maj.
I haven't even gone to the nymphs on this playthrough yet. <laughs> I have, I've not even touched that part of the game. Okay, let's buy the maps just in case. So chat, check this shit out. These are what the maps look like. I'm happy we killed the fucking axolotl today. I'm teaching Noodle the way of the highway, man. We're giving Noodle some skills. Wow, it actually didn't do anything for Noodle. He didn't learn. He didn't learn a goddamn thing. Wait, 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 how the fuck does Noodle have a mind? He's a skeleton. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Hold on. Okay. Pretty fucking racist, Tolo? No, it's not. You're tripping. Eat your other hand? No. Skeletons have feelings too. They do not. I bet you that bug over there, if I had that bug talking ability, I could get him to give me some drugs. Have sex with Noodle when you find another circle? Jesus Christ, you guys are fucking animals. <laughs> Just fuck the skeleton, Tolomeo. Tell me what happened when we beat the fuck out of the crawl. He's fucking dead, and there's only one of them. We didn't beat him by figuring out some sort of good strategy or anything like that. We just got lucky and fucked him. Okay. I still want to know... What it is we need to do to get this dude to talk, turn into a butterfly. How's the game so far? It's great. Raw meat. Okay, can I have some, like, ale or some shit? That'd be fucking fantastic. Is when your mind is a zero, you become a brony. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and use the nymphs. I can't show this on stream. We're gonna go have sex. And I'm gonna get all my health back. You always ignore the dagger. You can't pick it up unless you have a little girl with you. It won't let you. Okay. Mage gets it in the butt. Oh no, he's definitely on top. He's doing it with another dude too. That's the noise that I hear whenever I, when I, uh, actually, you know what, never mind. Okay. So that's interesting. You can only have homo sex here. I can dig it. There's nothing like a good old dick in the butt. Makes your HP go to 100. Mind regenerates in the courtyard area. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I got 20 mine. You can just sit here. I guess, for however long you want, and then it costs you hunger, but... Eh. Which... I'm eventually gonna get fucked on. I guess I do have a lot of grilled meat. Alright. Let's go in the fucking tree. I'm feeling dangerous. So, what the fuck is this thing? Put your hand inside. It feels warm inside. The hole goes beyond your reach. Stick your dick in it? I would if I could. 
It won't let me. Bugs crawling between the vines, it makes you itchy. Hello? This is one of the biggest mysteries in the game for me, actually. This is it. Like, as far as I can tell, occasionally a monster will spawn in there, but that's that's it. I think you need bug speak to, to figure out what to do here. I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to progress there. Cause it, it keeps telling you there's all sorts of bugs and shit, so maybe you can you can ask a mosquito where to go. Talk to the buggies? One day. One day we might. Did I get the key from down here? I think I did, but I just need to make sure just in case. Yeah. It's like a dung beetle and you get shit advice. Epic. Alright. So I'm gonna save, and we are gonna try to progress farther into the mines, because I think we've more or less done all there is to do up here. Like, there's some shit, obviously, that I haven't figured out, but the main and the main stuff is pretty much pretty much done. We, we have to delve deeper. However, my guy's mind is still... Worse for wear. You already chopped the gnome titties? Yes, we destroyed the fucking gnome. Like, that thing could not, could not handle our girth this time. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why is my... For a second, I couldn't, I couldn't move a certain direction. Like, I, I just kept automatically scrolling over to that side. I wonder why. But I haven't checked the girl. We haven't freed her because we haven't gotten the key to open her cage. What's the goal here? I have not a clue. I think we have to get into the ancient city. Noodle, don't you fucking miss! Okay. God bless you, Noodle. Maybe I could pray here now that I have all of Grogoroth's magic. not. I thank you Bruner for the tier 3 sub of 33 fucking months. God damn. Thank you very much for the golden rat support homie. How are you? What's good? Darkwood? I've heard about that game. I don't really know what it is though. Hello darkness my old friend. No. Show love. Make love with Noodlebone. Yes. Noodlebone has no flesh to make love to. Well, that's fucking bullshit. God damn it. Sorry, Noodlebone. Alright, go, 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 go. Don't let him get you. Oh, I don't have any fucking magic. All right, Lagarde, I want you to get his torso. Well, thank you for that, Lagarde. Noodle, what the fuck? Holy shit! This tire of your shit, fuck you, mage. <laughs> what a god, dude. <laughs> Stop fucking dancing, asshole. Okay. I'm not going to save. I'm going to keep going. We know that the ghost is down south. Which is unfortunate. Maybe there's another ghost up north. Who fucking knows, really? Oh, 
Okay, so this is completely new. We have not yet ventured down here, gamers, so... What's this guy? Oh, shit. Oh, cool. There's multiple of the mages. That's what's up. They just chop your fucking leg off like they don't, they don't really care. Okay. Always go for the torso. Alright, so my leg's fucked. I'm gonna capture this dude's soul just because he was that much of a little bitch. These guys drop a lot of soul stones. Let's go on KC Smurf. Why not talk to him? Fuck him! He blew my leg off! Why would I talk to him? <laughs> Fuck that guy! He's a fucking asshole. Hey! Fuck you. Leave leave Jimin alone. Oh! Alright, well we're gonna have to get rid of that. Yeah, just just go ahead and chop it off. <laughs> the cave dweller loses its balance with its penis cut. Yeah, I fucking hate it when that happens. <laughs> I fucking hate it when that happens. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you, Duke, for the host. I hope your viewers like dicks. Thank goodness. Do you know what they did to me? Oh, that's fucked up. Not talk about it. The guard, oh my god, you were still alive. Do I know you? What do you mean? It's me, Darcy. Sorry, I can't remember a thing. Ah. I'm a part of your army of the Knights of the Midnight Sun. Does that ring any bells? Sorry. Where did you meet? I found him from imprisoned. What? No, the King of Rondon kept him here. He was sentenced to death, so I heard from him as fast as possible. Promise to protect him in my life? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we have a full fucking party now, dude. <laughs> we've got the entourage. And we've got fucking Noodle. Look at Noodle, just mouth agape, ready for procreation. With Blood Golem, man? Fuck Blood Golem. Alright, so what's your equipment look like? You're gonna run away with all my shit, aren't you? Soul stone here? Yes. Find a white vial. A throwing knife. What's in here? A cloth hood. Alright, let's light a fire. Yes. See if you can trade the knight to the cat. I don't think the knight's a little kid. Let's walk around, I guess, until my mind restores. Nah, fuck it. Oh shit, what up, dude? I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> What's going on, lurker? Oh, that's fucked up, Noodle. You gonna do him like that? Just pass that dick right off. Yeah, eat, eat that thing out. It sucks that I can't skin him. Wooden block. Please give me ale or, or opium or tobacco. I need something so I can start. Uh, this is how how powerful I am without the ability to cast magic right now. Like, think about that. My main character's worthless right now. Okay. 
some silver coins. Tomatoes, god damn it. So I actually think that on my tier list in this game, Wizard is the best, because you can get the fucking skeleton right at the beginning of the game. Like, you don't have to fight anything to get the skeleton. So if you win that coin flip, it's just... Welcome to Dick Downtown, pretty much. Uh-oh. Alright, get the penis. Get the ritual spear. Oh, how do you miss a dick that big? Oh my god. Noodle? Focus the dick. <laughs> All men on that dick. Okay. What's in here, goo? Glass vial. Tabacky, fuck. Thank God, dude. Opium powder! Oh my fucking god, we president now. 99 mine, dude, it's over. It's fucking done. What the hell is this? We're gonna. It's gonna attack us if we go this way, isn't it? What's going on, acid? Water vial. There's a rotting head and grasp of an ornament hand. Human sacrifices seem to be common around here. Okay. Is your GP at idle? Dude, you might as well ask me how many atoms I have in my dick. I don't fucking know. <laughs> me, come on. Oh! Okay, well, we can't be having any of this. Don't rock smash noodle, you bitch! Fuck you! Wow, she really doesn't like Noodle. <laughs> she knows where the real threat is. My carry. Wait, can I? Yeah, just give the skeleton some fucking blueberries. And heal him a little bit. Makes sense. <laughs> More blueberries for our skeleton. <laughs> And it just falls through him. I doubt we can even pick it back up. A glass vial. A quill. Okay. Stall the fight next time? No. Alright, go for the rock smashing hand. How could you miss? Oh, that thing's seen better days. Loses its balance with its breasts cut. Is that how it works? This one looks friendly. What up, bitch? No, it's not friendly. I like its hat. <laughs> Noodle, come on, you can't just keep missing like that. Okay. Damn, we are massacring these motherfuckers. I can't even take its hat. I wanted to give it to Noodle. Okay, chat, do you think I should keep progressing or do you think I should go back and save? I'm 
What's going on, Shinji? Save? Okay. Alright. There's a lot of progress, so save it. You're at a good point to save. I feel like that we're about to get the dick down supreme. Like, we're gonna fight one that has the name Mandingo, and it's gonna have the biggest dick of them all. I'm, I think I'm gonna explore the rest of this little area first, though. No save near? No. Oh, this one has a rock and a cock! Uh-oh. Wowie. You're fucked now, kid. Good night, loco. Thank you. You saved you lost a limb to a wizard? Fuck it. I don't need a leg. I'm a, I'm a wizard. I'm gonna kick him to death with my with my arcane sandals. I don't need that shit. Are you serious? Okay, chat. Heads or tails? Sif coin for heads. Okay, everyone's saying tails. Sorry, Sif coin. Empty scroll. Woo! Yeah! Moldy bread. Two eggs. What if the eggs came from these little smurfs? I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba die. Hello? Blue herb? Might be able to use the scroll. We've tried it before. It just starts this weird, like... Scroll mini game. Actually, fuck. We don't need to save. We're fucking gods at this game. Like, come on, dude. Say goodbye to those. Noodle. I don't like the noise it makes when you hit something with the mace. It's, it's too loud. Oh, look, it's a baby. Cave dweller child. Seems he's staring at the distance and completely ignores you. Okay. Make sure to give your mama a kiss when you leave the house. What's going on, quality ADC? Give it the doll? I think we need to give our child the doll when we finally get a small key. That's not a bad idea, I guess. Blue herb. Red herb. Stop rock smashing me, you asshole. These actually seem to be... Some of the easier enemies. Enjoy not having exams? Good shit, brother. Yeah, I think it's probably smart to go back and save at this point. <laughs> that looks like- that, that that doesn't look like a friendly place to be. What's in here, Ugu? Oh! Okay, XP- no, there's no leveling up in this game. All right, chat. Wait, it seems to be locked. Oh, 
This is the part where you're going to need not only to win a coin flip, but to have a small key to even attempt the coin flip. Because fuck you. Okay. Me and the kid lost both of our arms by the guard dick monster, and it was a fucked up experience. Nice. That's how it goes. Use red vials on locks. You can, but it gives you the prompt. I, I need to make some red vial shit. Okay. I thank you for the seven month resub casually damaged. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. There was another bug. We need to get bug speak. Hold on. Someone said earlier the blank scroll lets you type in the name of an ability and you get that ability. We're gonna go level up and we're gonna see if we can we can acquire insect speaking. I'm sure you can, RD Toy. There are bugs all over. Well, I don't know about the state of your genitals. I'm sorry, some nobody. Oh shit! One of these fucking things. These guys are kind of assholes. What are you gonna do now, you cockless fuck? That's what I fucking thought. You're gonna get punched in the fucking mouth by Noodle. Get Noodle Bone, bitch. Got an infection? And you know what? That's okay, because I have green herbs. We are chilling. Game okay with all these dicks? Well, number one, they're pixelated. Number two, Outlast was a game where they, they were very not pixelated. They were big fucking, like, just pendulous cocks. Nice girl lady night to sex on the thing? That's fucked up. She just got violated by the blue dudes. She got dabba dee dabba died in the fucking subterranean. Don't you people have any empathy? No way, no way. What are you thinking? That's just, it's just like real life. <laughs> wow. Okay, there you go. Try the dude. Last time you said no. I don't think it'll be different this time. Sex with Noodle, it says he doesn't have any flesh to fuck. You know what? I have to censor this because this is the area with the furry orgy, but I'm gonna go here and partake in the feast. So you won't be able to see for a minute, I'm sorry. Furry orgy? Yeah, there's a cannibal furry orgy where they're, they've... It's fucked, dude. Echo Fox 10. No coin flip? No, not the first time. And now we are all good on hunger. Is everyone healed the orgy? No, no, they just it's it's a hunger thing. Let us see a corner. No, you if you want to see that you can play, you can purchase the game for seven dollars, and you can see your very own furry orgy. Would you eat? You eat. It's cannibals. Like they, they eat each other. All right, I'll give you a sneak peek. I'll show you one dude. Okay, this one asshole. That's it.
Enjoy. I hope you liked it. Toto, would you eat a human? Yes. Provided that they they consented. If, if it was like an organ donor situation where I'm like, yeah, I want someone to eat me when I'm dead. And I could, I could procure the meat through that and I knew it was safe and prepared by a professional professional chef, then I'd probably try it. Would I eat someone against their will? No, that would be fucked up. As long as it isn't brains. Yeah, you don't want prion disease. It's no good. No good. Do you think we could beat the shit out of that head? We're gonna try it. We're gonna save, though. All your melee misses? I don't give a fuck. Kill that, what's the stuff? Bigfoot? He'll respect me. He'll be like, yo, dude, you got a big dick. Holy fuck. Looking like a cave dweller over there. And like, word. And just lets you go. How did Tolo find the chick? She was in that place with cave dwellers getting fucked up. They, they were... They were... Well... They were doing things to her. Okay. Who's that on the floor? That was a dead crow. No disturbs my sleep. I can throw the rock at him. Laughs you. Okay. Noodle, how could you? There's no way you can kill him. Fucking asshole's invincible. So pyromancy trick can miss. Uh oh. Smushy, smushy. I like how Noodle actually technically survived that if you looked at the health bars. Alright, that wizard is so You gotta, like, parlay with him or something. You, you gotta negotiate with him or, or do some... Like, have some fucking item. There's no way you can just dick him down. I was fucking him. That was thousands of damage. Curse I do have a cursed weapon. That's the funny part. Like, Noodlebone has a cursed machete. That kill a giant beast? I don't think so. Okay. 
I like the way Noodle walks, by the way. Can you say cursed again? Yeah, cursed. 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 Okay. Noodle has no kneecaps? It's fucked up. Get in here yet? What the fuck is that? I don't remember this from the last time we went here. What on God's green earth? We are playing Lisa now. It's a fucking Joy Mutant. Wheeze. We delve too deep. <gasps> is this the fucking night? The night that we helped earlier? Uh oh. Oh no. Alright, I want one of my party members to die so I can get another skeleton, dude. <laughs> get the fuck out of my party. Because the skeleton has been absolutely fucking incredible. Has Tola been drinking out of your death? I think I missed the last one, so get your fucking booze ready, gamers. Chug, chug. Oh, ho, ho. This is a drinking game. Every time I die, every time I die, you gotta, you gotta sippy sippy. Maybe, Vlad Tat. Maybe. Drinking rum. Investigate. Turned 21 a week ago. Good shit, dude. Happy birthday. Is it Soylent? Yes. Yes, I want to, uh... I was thinking about joining a Super Smash Brothers tournament, so... Been hard on that Soylent. I wonder if I could beat the door down before people... Doesn't help if you miss the fucking door. Okay. Big dick doing things, come on. That's what I'm talking about, baby. God bless you, Noodle. All right, chat. Heads or tails? Seen a lot of Sif coins. All right, Sif, don't let me down. God damn it, Sif. It's okay. You're still a good girl. Still a good little doggy who likes the spaghetti. Broken bones? I have no idea what broken bones do. It doesn't seem to be bothering me too much, though. Okay. Man, fuck you. Why is it even a mechanic? Just to, to, to dick you down. Locks an empty chest in a locked room. <laughs> okay. We're gonna see what's in what's in the living failure village. Is that bully is okay after you cut that organ? Wait, can we get more meat from the giant fucking axolotl? seen you win a coin toss yeah it happens I realized that I have not gone back to use all my lesser souls 
Dude, so now that we know that cursing a weapon just makes it have increased attack power, imagine getting the 110 damage claymore and cursing that shit how hard we would hit. We know what the what we want to do on our night playthrough. <laughs> we we know what we're going to try to do. This shit would just fucking obliterate him. What's going on, Bor? Yeah, we're we're making some good progress. Chat wanted me to re-roll as the necromancer, so we are. We we died like five times early game, and then we got our first zombie named it Hank and. He carried us to the point where we got the knight, and then the other knight, and the skeleton who is noodle bone. And now, we're honestly carving a, a path of fuck everywhere we go. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, chat, don't look. Don't look. Later, Peter. Take it easy. Imagine cursing my ass. If you can. Okay. Are some boys having some wholesome bro fun? Absolutely. Can't believe you bothered to sense that. Dude, I don't want Twitch to... Like, what if... What if Okay, how pissed would you be if Twitch is like, nah, you can't play this game anymore, Tomom and Nope. And you don't get to see me do the conclusion of this game. That would fucking suck dick, right? Okay. Where the fuck do I go here? Right, this way. Twitch game, it's been approved? Not necessarily. Because this shit's, like... I know you've heard it over and over. But I really like this game. I think this game's fun as hell. What's the uptime? Mm -hmm. Just under six hours, I think? Survive some layoffs with old days kind of feeling shitty. Sorry to hear that. I'm glad that you, uh, you did not get laid off, though. That's some good shit, brother. Later, Melon. Okay, so we really only have one place to go. Thank you, Driz T, for the 11-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Altar of Darkness. Well, that sounds... Great. We chillin'. He's gonna let me pass. We're friends. Okay, we immediately gotta go for the deck. Just absolutely. For the Sekiro? Eh. I guess so. I'm not really optimistic about it, but I'll play it. This dude's fucked. <laughs> this guy is done. Everything chopped off. Are you not optimistic about it? it? Just doesn't really seem that exciting to me. Okay. So, we're kind of low on HP. See, now if we really wanted to be a little baby bitch, we could save scum the... We could save scum the, the nymphs. Until we... Until they give us the full heal. Okay. Mysterious object. Investigate. Ancient looking cube with ornaments and decorations twisting around. It's the Dwemer puzzle box. Spell that heals. I don't want to use sanity. Cube of the depths. I feel like that's what we got to use on that door. Okay. What's over here? A wall. Well, that just looks delightful. I think it wants a kissy. Huge creature is lying dormant. 
Hmm. All right, I guess we're going to the depths. Wasn't that one of the old gods? Yes, god of the depths. Which, as far as I'm aware, has not been mentioned by name in the game yet. I bet Noodle could take him. You, you, you're a kid, Icarus-looking motherfucker right now. You gotta, gotta watch yourself, my man. Noodle's not invincible. One day there's gonna be another skeleton that replaces you, and I'm gonna name him Davian. Because I feel like naming naming the little NPC minions after the biggest fucking retards in chat seems to be producing pretty good results. No offense. <laughs> no offense, you know, but... So is the ghost still here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Always good cheese popsicle. David is a fi I like how you're calling him David. That's fucked up. Wow. I like how there can Can you imagine any other place on the internet where the concept of a fake retard exists except for this one? Where people like, no, you're you're actually a fake retard. You're not a real chromosomal crusader, you son of a bitch. That's me. An depressing ass game. I mean, this is only my second day playing it. It's called Fear and Hunger. It's fucking dull. I like games like this. This is the shit I like. I wish there were more games like this. I might have to start looking up fucked up RPG Maker games now. Play Donkey Donkey Literature Club next. Wait, yeah, what am I doing? I'm supposed to go the other way. Play Corpse Party? Play The Witch's House. Love Space Funeral. Play I already played Katawa Shoujo when I was a young man. Should totally try Animal Crossing on the GameCube. I'll consider it. Okay. Close party sucks. What about that Phantasmagoria game you guys wanted me to play when we were doing Harvester? Let me the fuck in. Cube of the Depth seems to react to the doorway. It's actually a dick because it's pulsing. Tomb of the Gods, huh? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Excuse moi? Fuck you, asshole. Bloody man. Well, you know what? We're just gonna go through your torso and you're gonna be fucked. Oh. Well, we're fucked now because it infected two party members. That's... that's a gun. Fuck that guy and his dead fish eyes. Thanks for the great streams. If I wasn't such a poor dude, I would sub every month, but I always watch. I always pick an interesting. Yeah, like Bloodborne. Thank you very much for the two month resub. I'll fuck you. What? You know what? Sometimes in life, you just gotta. Just pop the fucking pussy. Bloody man keeps on fighting even with that his head. Delightful. And 
I tackled Noodle for seven. How is it still standing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm gonna heal infection on me, but I, I don't really care about the guard, and I can go summon another skeleton. It's not a big deal. Although it'll suck if I lose characters and I can't break these doors open again. Okay. Manage to force your way through the door. I can't wait for a zombie to pop out. Worm juice. Cool. Eat your own leg, idiot. It's actually insane to me that I have yet to get real food at this point. Like, I don't have any recipes to make shit. Okay, chat. What you think? Tails? Okay. It was heads. Worm juice. I like how there was a fifth man behind us. Okay, so we need to get rid of these arms. Noodle just punched his head off! That's epic for the win, my gamer friends. <laughs> Killed the beheaded wizard? No. It still gets that tackle. Okay, well, we have a bleed cure, thankfully. There we go. Noodle from the Necronomicon? No, I'm a necromancer. I resurrected Noodle. Oh, I bet you I could res all these dudes, right? I don't want to skin them in case I need some more... Some more rubes later. Wait! What are these guys holding? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh! These are some stinger dudes. I, I put on my wizard robe and hat. You know what? Fuck these zombies. I don't want to get infected and die. Let's just keep going. Ancient city passageway. Enormous city ruins. Okay. I feel like we're making good progress tonight, my gamer friends. This looks like the, the place that was in that dream earlier. What is this? How can something like this remain hidden from the world? I didn't realize what I got myself into when I stepped down to this darkness. These rooms give me terrible feelings. If something like this was waiting for us. What else is there yet to come? Alright. The damp air has had its way with that. Hmm. Okay. Silver coins. Coins are like the most worthless fucking item in this game, funnily enough. Like, you buy the maps and that's about it. Although I'm sure the maps have their use. You are getting terrified. 
And I think it's time for me to smoke some good shit. Opium. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Oh, shit. Noodle's gonna lose his mind. If I'd be worth a watch for this game, I think so. I guess that's up to up to the viewers to decide, but I think I think this shit has been pretty fucking good. Okay. You feel repulsed by it. Okay. Let me through. Noodle has a mind, yeah. Yeah, he does. Funnily enough, scale. I'm, I'm sure he'll go berserk and attack us, and we'll have to put Noodle down like the dog he is. Terrible odor emanates from a distance. Give the ganja to Noodle. In a story synopsis till now, we were sent here to find a knight. We found the knight, and now we got to investigate this cursed city. And there's all sorts of fucked up shit, like crow people that look like they're from Dark Souls. Uh, dudes with huge fucking cocks. And, yeah. That's really, there's not, there's not too much to, to... Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. We gotta go back and save now. <laughs> we gotta go back and save. We got the Ring of Raids. Oh, that's GG. Find cum slot Jimin? It's complicated. Okay. We're gonna keep going. I don't even think we have doors left to kill. We've broken all of them down. So, it's not as useful as it seems. In the ring arrays. We still haven't even done anything with the little girl yet. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's Bernie Sanders. Human, you were not worthy of passing through the gates of eternity. In this tribunal, to suffer through your personal trials, torment on the loss of your close ones. Only through this pain can you reach enlightenment, understand your place in this world. If you go through all this without still losing your original goals and dreams, only then shall I let you pass. What do you mean by that? Okay, let me, let me read this. Suffer through your personal trials. Torment on the loss of your close ones. Does that mean my dudes have to die? Or should I snort? Okay. Interesting. There's another opening for a cube here. It's called a uterus. Yeah, we're gonna black orb that thing's head. I like how it actually has a little baby in it, too. <gasps> what the fuck, dude? Okay. This game is fucked. That's a durable embryo, Jesus Christ. Oh no. Noodle, fucking kill it! Oh my 
<laughs> okay. All of my sanity has just been drained by the embryo. I should've used magic on it. Do I just have to beat the shit out of the thing in the back? No, it was just very tanky. Well, that was an encounter. What's going on, Ragnavalder? Your phobia is about babies? I don't know. Hope there's no baby sharks in this game if it is. There we go, finally! Fucking Christ! Search her. Find nothing of use from the uterus, are you sure? Skin her. It's actually too hard for the knife. Interesting. Okay. A wooden buckler. A red herb. Search. Heads. Fuck. Okay. Lighten up. Puff, puff, pass. Yeah, we're not doing that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are not going through that again. I learned my lesson the first time. Ale. All of my people are gonna go insane. That's not good. I feel like we went the wrong way. We probably should have taken a different turn. What is this? Can't interact with it. Fuck away from me, you harlot. My cloth hood, fuck yeah. And some tobacco! What's good, Druid Leaf? A lot of shit has happened. Oh, I do not wear a pointy hat. How are you a wizard, then? I sell magical artifacts, even if they are precious to me. You have 80 silver coins, what do you want to tri- Oh! God has formed a panophobia, fear of everything. Well, that's just delightful. Is this gonna poison me again? No. Can I buy more elixirs of mine? Yes. So what does the Sorcerer's Stone do again? I feel like we've gotten this before. Restores mind. That's right. That is exactly what we want. And we're gonna give this chick the Soul Devour Necklace from our Magic Defense. And now we can restore the mind of our of our gamer friends. Yeah, everyone, everyone's good for like five minutes, and then everything's gonna go to shit again. All right, chat. Heads or tails. Sorry, I need to get my straw through the, the fucking ice cubes. A soul stone. Okay, not not bad. This guy doesn't have permanent zero mind because he doesn't. No, he he actually has a real a real sanity stat. As funny as that might be. 
Dude, look at the way it's fucking dancing. Oh, no. Can I go this way? Yes. Temple Square seems more refined than the rest of the city. The thing is creepy. Yeah, that thing's terrifying. Ooh, can I use an explosive vial here? Nope, I can just take a stone. Hmm. I don't like this music or ambience or whatever you want. Oh, God. Okay. Look at its little wiener. This is fucked up. We saw that dude as a corpse in the memory of this place, if you remember from earlier in the run. Out of here, fuck that. You saw a dead one of those? Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Maybe he was just sleeping. Where's the chest? Is ill from hunger? What a fucking baby. Have some ha salmon snake meat. Eat some eggs. Some rat eggs. Everything in this game has a dick. Except for you. <laughs> lots of tomatoes. Yeah, I got lots of eggs too. It's a good thing we have a skeleton who doesn't get hungry. Oh, that's kind of fucking unnerving. I don't like that a whole hell of a lot. It's fucked up. Take that back. No. Oh! A white vial. And a water vial. What is that in the fucking container? eyeball that's tracking me right now. Why won't it work? Right, I'm leaving, dude. Fuck this place. That's scary as hell. Is this the uterus? That looks a lot like the uterus, right? like the big old gaping hole in it like the uterus did. Enemy's really dark. I like how I'm gonna have to watch the VOD after this because you miss a few hours and absolutely nothing. And this shit doesn't really make sense if you're if you've been here the entire time though. To be fair. I, I don't I don't think most of us are have a coherent understanding as to what the fuck is transpiring right now. But I could be wrong. Exit that room to the right. Alright, I'll do it in a second. Studies of Sylvie and all will delight. Heads. What's going on, Rain? Tables, you son of a sagret. Studies of armor. Heads. Tales. Thank you, Heretical Tyrant 666, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the emotes. So, always tails on bookcases. I, I, I forgot the rule. I got the skeleton. Well, I'm playing as a necromancer now, so I found a corpse and I resurrected the bitch. Can I exit? What's in here, Ugu? I've already been in here. 
I kind of want to fight the spider thing. Do you think that's a good idea? And what's over this way? This place is fucking huge. Probably not. Yeah, I'm getting the distinct impression I'm gonna... That dude doesn't look friendly. Too many figurine is standing tall here. Human. I'm what they call the Guardian. I was created to defend the city with my life. I am to look after the city until the king returns to this land. The king? The king will return one day. He is the one who created the city. Where did he go? It's not my concern. He was created to guard the city. Can I attack this dude? I want his chest. What are you doing? Work. That is the reason we were created. The gods create hate us. Who are you? But a worker, that's all I am. I don't want to interact with that thing just yet. Because it might send me back to the real world. Hi, Seth. A black vial? Goo. What's up, baby? What's up, puppy? What's wrong? Sif, heads or tails? What do you think? Thank you for the kiss. We're gonna do heads. Thank you, Sif. Cursed short sword. Okay, now we're fucking smoking. Five more damage. Okay. Four jabronis now? Nice. You're goddamn right it is. Fucking big pimpin' now. Opium powder. That's really good. Worm juice, not, not so much. Cut off your arm already. I lost my arm really early in the run and enemy chopped it off. It was really uncourteous for them. Oh shit. No thank you. Hey, thank you, Kellett Clovis, for the eight month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Mm. Heads. Always heads. A soul stone. I have like eight of those now. It's been so long since I've been at a place where I can utilize them. Okay. What's over here? A shortcut. Now that's what I call epic. I don't know what I'm going to do with the shortcut. But, it's there if I need it. This will retrace our steps. You need to save and go use those stones? Nah, you're tripping. I don't need to save. Fucking got it, this game. If the original Xbox? No. Okay. Do you think I could sniff his feet? Ancient statue stands here. Do you want to pray? Hmm. That's a very nice piggy. Investigate. Knock on it. What's wrong, Sif? Is that a pinecone pig? Hold on. You know what that reminds me of? Does this look similar? I mean, it is a pig, but... And you think, okay, hold on, this might actually make sense in a weird way. 
I think we need to look for the vases. There's a tall one and then two small ones. But this doesn't look like exactly where we need to be. Also, what's the what the fuck is wrong with that dude's face? Yeah. So it makes sense, kind of, in a weird way. We probably need an item here, but the the arrangement's different, but it it looks right. Skeletal man get hungry? No. No, he does not. Investigate. Shape of a king's crown. Oh, you mean like this fucking crown? Like the stone crown? Probably not. What if I try to just open it? Okay. There's a skeleton following you. Well, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, sir. What's up? Who's a good dog? Who's a good little dog? Who's a good little doggy? Is it you? Is it me? Who's a good little doggy who likes the spaghetti? Now, what if we go here again? Nothing? Okay. Nature seems to have creeped in and taken over this city. Okay. And a wooden buckler. I think the general consensus is we should go back and save and regroup and come, come here and see what the fuck's going on. We need to go get the, uh, the soul stones and upgrade some shit. Save cheese. Dude, it's been like an hour since we've saved, Hank. Come on. Come on, dog. Keep going. We will. We will. I'm not I'm not going anywhere, big boy. I'm right here. It doesn't look like we can get to the other side from here. Later, C10. Save the girl with the vial? We can't hold her in our inventory, though. Like, we can't just put her in our backpack. She's got to be a party member. Loop the city in happy mode since the bookshelves will be restored. We're gonna have to do both. Like, obviously there's some sort of shit we need to do in happy world to get results in sad world, which is a fucking dumbass way of saying it, but... Okay. Oh, fuck. I forgot this area was a thing. God damn it. Oh, shit! Okay. Sif, hold on. So, I think we need to start really analyzing those maps because I, I think the thing with the pig and the and the vases seems to indicate that there's actually something to them. What that might be, I don't fucking know. But it doesn't seem like they're just non sequitur red herrings like we initially thought. You farm souls? Yes, but I already have a lot. Let's see. Like we have three. I can get two more. Here. Yes. I can't believe I'm actually making this much progress with the wizard and not the knight. Number of steps? I think the number of steps has something to do with it, yeah. Hold on, Seth. Seth, seriously, come on, Pop. I'm gonna let you out in a second, okay? It's, I, I just don't want to die while we're we're doing a, a dungeon crawling video game. We're out here. We killed the axolotl. We, we did a lot of big dick things. And now, I'm going to save. Maybe the knight is OP late game? I think if you were to get a cursed two-handed sword, the knight would be... 
Fox. How'd you kill the Axolotl? I have four people. <laughs> we just fucked him, honestly. He got to attack once, and then we chopped all of his shit off. Noodle? Noodle I don't get to control, and he just randomly went for the eye for no fucking reason, and he actually hit it and blinded the Axolotl, and I couldn't do anything after that. That was just fucked from that point. Hey, puppy. Who's a good little doggy who likes the, the mango habanero buffalo wild wings? That's right. That's you. What's good, Hanky? Arrgh. Arrgh. How old is Sip? She's about four years. Dick down Shakespeare. Oh, yeah. Yeah, every, everything except the ghost is dead, pretty much. All, all of the threats of the run have been exterminated. I'm ready to, I'm ready to do another playthrough on hard mode. Alright. I will be back. I will be back. I have to let the Cipheroni and cheese out. And then we will continue our exploration of the fucked up city. Of, of spider people. And cock stabs. All right, gamers. I'm back. It's cold as hell and my nipples are freezing. How are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. So what's going on, dogs? I'm kind of engrossed in this game, so I haven't been talking to chat as much. How are you guys doing? You chilling? Are any of you drunk? High? Both? Cold as hell and my nipples are freezing. Yeah, no, I know the feeling. I know the feeling, dude. Okay, hold on. I can't- Oh, that's fucked, dude. I can't- Like, I have to unlock the door. He looks very strange. It is. I'm 
I'm sick and feel like shit. Well, I hope you feel better soon. I bought this game because you got turned into a nugget. My first playthrough, yeah. <laughs> it sounds about right, dude. It sounds about right. We are almost out of food, though. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Do you think it would be fucked up if I were to chop my party's members' limbs off for the express purpose of getting no food? Would that make me a bad person? Yes? Okay. Just wanted to check with you. <laughs> me hungry? Yeah. Yum yum. Yummy! Do you think we could beat the shit pit now? <laughs> More salmon snake meat? I don't think we can. Chop the skeleton's limbs off. Noodle. <laughs> I like how there was fucking blood. <laughs> Do I get a leg? Can I eat it? Skeletal leg. Oh, god damn it. You know what? I wonder if I can use this skeletal arm to stick it into that hive thing. Wait, I have extra reach because I have a skeletal arm. Maybe I can pluck out some, some good shit from that hole. Oh yeah, this dude exists. Yeah, I'm, I'm evil. I listen to Avenge Sevenfold. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that this dude does not turn into a butterfly of his own volition. There's, got, there's something we have to do to get him to, to turn into a butterfly. It goes beyond my reach, but I have a skeleton arm. Okay. Well, you know, it happens. Poor Noodle. <laughs> Poor Noodle. Command him to turn into a butterfly? Maybe. Ever talked to him? I've never gotten insect speak. Noodle can just regrow his bones. Hold on. I. Can you turn him into a nugget? New item at McDonald's, skeletal nuggets. <laughs> I fucking love this game, dude. Oh my god. Why are you doing this to poor Noodle? I'm trying things out. I like how he lets me do it, too. When you're famous, they just let you do it. I actually feel so bad for Noodle. Go bang a zombie. Um, what the fuck was I gonna do? There's something I want right. I need to go to the level up thing and see. 
as well take Noodle's last arm. Did you level up? I don't think so. Now it's to level two. I think the level is just a red herring from the fact that it's made an RPG maker. I don't think you can level up. Okay. Right, you have to be at the side of it. Demon seed. Yath Queen. Healing Whispers. Needleworm. Focus Swarm. Mastery over insects. Hold on. So. I fucked it up. What does Demon Seed do? Oh! That's good, absolutely. Absolutely. This game is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. You get the insect thing? I think I fucked it up. Uptime, about six and a half hours. We already killed the mercenary. Can you give Noodle your demon seed? I don't think so. anything that tells you how to use the scroll so far tbh hunger is driving kexley mad well that's just uh just a darn shame isn't it you had so much shit why did you only get one upgrade because i don't want noodle to be fucked i'm gonna have to restart like look at him we're not gonna bring noodle around the city like this we need him Can I beat the fuck out of this guy? Hold on. Alright, I have an idea. I have several ideas. Fuck, I didn't want to target his head, I want to target his arms. Yeah! Okay. So, apparently I need a... a open slot... for the demon seed. So, what we're gonna do now... Noodle? Served us well. Why the fuck are you still following me, asshole?
Noodle, what the fuck? Oh, I know what it's gonna be. He's gonna tackle. God damn it. Noodle's fucking invincible. So how do I get an asshole out of my party? I don't want Noodle anymore. Now I just have this fucking literal nugget. Just select him and get rid of him? I don't think so. Look at him. Look at how happy he is. Alright, I know what I need to do. Made love to a literal nugget, like a literal chicken nugget. Yeah. Try the- you're right, I could sacrifice people to the Hydra. You smart. We'll give- we'll give him Noodle. So let's use the bone saw on him. Maybe I can get his head. Unfortunately, Noodlebone has no legs left to saw. Well, isn't that a goddamn crying shame? <laughs> okay. No, I can't sacrifice it to this thing. Sure he doesn't have an arm left? I mean, I could try. Noodlebone has no arms left to saw. Ask what to sacrifice first? I don't think it that was the case when I had the little girl. I can try. What do you mean? Bring us sacrifices. No. We're, we're, we're a banged up crew. The only person who doesn't have something missing is the girl. Thank you, Yopi, for the five-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, this is the shit pit chat. If you ever go into here, it's actually inescapable. You actually just lose if you go down here. We're in, Dude, this is about to turn into a fucking four-piece nugget meal. About to get this shit for a dollar at Wendy's. <laughs> Did you, oh my god, did he really? Ack, ack, he ack, acts you, oh my god. Disable necromancy, yeah, now we know we can disable him, but it's a little too late. Let me stand up really quickly. <laughs> Alright. That was some good shit. Are we getting our noodles emotes? Okay. Kexley's weak from hunger. What a tragedy. Alright, so... We can get Demon Seed and try it out. We, now that we know how to disable necromancy, do you guys want to give it a give it a go? You have meat to cook. I'm trying things out right now. I'm not. I'm not so much uh, like I know I have shit that I could cook. I have raw meat and stuff. I have an arm, but right now I'm just I'm kind of experimenting. You feel me? these things. The noodle's OP. I just want to try some shit out. I know noodle is OP. I am, I am aware. But I want to see what happens when I come into a corpse. Like, can you really blame me for that? I don't think you can.
Want info on how the scroll works? Mm, okay. I don't think that's something I w would figure out on my own. Another distinction between Kexi's neck and the rest of his body, so it just looks like his jaw's almost falling off. Rid of the low tier knight, she's trash. First verse is, oh lord. Alright, alright. I know, I, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I know what to type in now. Oh, floored. Um, common. I'm a common. That's the second one, right? Oh, for did I do oh, Ford? Oh, Ford, I'm coming. It's good, right? Alright, it's perfect. Oh, look, you guys were fucking memeing me. I did put, oh lord. God damn it. You fucking detractors. I can't believe it. In my own stream chat fucking shamfoozled me. What the fuck? Got a bunch of memers in here. Yeah. No. This is actually really fucking annoying to, to navigate. Okay. Demon Seed. Yes. The skill of Demon Seed is engraved in your head. Oh lord. Give... Teach. Okay, so what would the spell call be called? Oh Lord, teach insect whispering. Okay. Fucking a corpse is engraved into your head. I need to find out exactly what the insect speak skill is. Master of insects. Will that fit? So master. Okay, I'll try that next time. Oh Lord, teach mastery. Okay. Oh Lord, give worm juice. All right, we're gonna beat the fuck out of this dude. sword with it that would be fucking funny oh lord give clay more you know that might be what i actually n use it for if the insect thing isn't that good bye okay okay so now we need to talk to the skeleton Noodle Bone doesn't seem to understand what's going on. That's so sad. Noodle Bone! Getting my soul stone, bitch. Noodle doesn't have a soul. So, how do I use the de Demon Seed? to be a woman? Or can I kill a woman? <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> hmm. The cave mother? Maybe. I 
have an idea. First, let's see if we can kill this little dude and impregnate him. Impregnate the butterfly? There's nothing wrong with that. No. <gasps> you could use demon seed on it. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? You take the baby with you. Baby demon. Oh my god. So, uh... Okay. Got a baby demon now. That's cool. Can you name it Hank? No, it doesn't let me name it. All right. Well, we have a we have a baby now. Where's Noodle? So we got rid of Noodle so that we could use our new ability which is entitled Demon Seed where you fuck a corpse and from the corpse springs a juvenile demon. Um, so yeah. What do I do with the Nomag? Can, dude, can I Oh, I wanted to see if I could make the, the baby demon smoke the pipe. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, it like fucking, it, it, it fucked my game. I can't press escape anymore. It like it like fucking soft locked my game. <laughs> I can't press escape anymore. <laughs> huh. Your baby is starting to feel heavier. Interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Tomo chan, it's me, your baby. Oh man. Oh man. You've been detained. The game is drawing the line here. So, what do you think these two assholes who are accompanying me think about the fact that it's fucked a butterfly to make a baby? Look at the baby. I can't. I fucked my game. Like, I, I I cannot open my my interface anymore. Can I give it the demon baby? to die. I lived through the warring history of sea terrors you couldn't even imagine. I lived through it all this day. I'd be damned if you being like yourself or did feel. <laughs> Sif, shut the front door. anymore. 
Maybe, maybe this gigantic Sam Squench just wants the loving care and affection of a small child and will take the baby away and then leave and then we can beat the shit out of the loser. I guess not. <laughs> I suppose that's not how it works. All right, we've we've dicked around quite enough. Thank you, Viral Cirrus, for the prime sum. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much, Seth. Hey. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so what do I type for the scroll? Oh Lord, teach mastery. Oh. Lord. Let's go on just a gamer job. Job John. Oh Lord. Teach. Mastery. Master, not mastery? Stop scrounging through my fucking Cheetos. Those aren't yours. No, nothing this time. That's okay. That's absolutely fine by me. I don't really expect it to work. Okay. Um, what the fuck was I gonna do? We could do the... What could we do? What do we want to do? I guess explore the city some more. Misery? Misery over insects? That doesn't sound right. Actually, let the demon grow? Okay. Here, you know what? I want to see if I can get this mastery over insects thing. So I'm going to go ahead and use the suicide ability. All caps, oh lord, give mastery. Is it give or teach? I'm so confused. We could replace demon baby, but we're attached. This is noodle. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. All caps, because God can't hear you unless you're in all caps. Mastery over insects. Okay, so it does work. Mastery over insects. You can hear and talk with insects of all sizes. I wonder if that's going to have any effect on the butterfly, man. for anything in the game. Keep Noodle, get rid of others. So, can I do that? Can I tell the Night Lady to, to fuck off? What's the idea that you'd be in prison here? Nope. There's always a bigger chat out there. Noodle, let Davian come. Rid of the dude with the broken bones, he's dog shit. I think we need him for the story, Hank. Make her kill herself. I mean I could make I could starve her, but I wouldn't want to do that. It's fucked up. We've been through so much together. Fuck you in the story. No, fuck you in the story, Hank. Suck my pee pee. Oh, wow. 
We're, we're pretty fucking hungry if we're hitting for 80s. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Alright, well, she's injected now. Well, now she can starve to death, I guess. She's gonna... She's gonna get fucked. Dolphins will starve females? Let's go ahead and take all of her shit off. Just clear. And then we could use her for food. So let's go ahead and, and take her limbs so we can have food for later. We're gonna impregnate a nugget, dude. This game is so fucked up. <laughs> Christ. I'm a terrible fucking person. <laughs> Such a piece of shit. Oh my god. I can help you with the last one. He actually helps her with the last one. Holy fuck. I didn't think that would actually work. Holy fuck. <laughs> Are we dragging her? Do we have like, do we have like tied her to a rope or some shit? We're just dragging the corpse? This is so fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this game is turning me into a worse person than I already was. Oh Jesus Christ. Talk to her? I guess I could. Do you think she'd have a lot to say? Oh how I hate this on hell holy hell all the things I've gone through here. What you mean, man? I don't know what you're talking about. Can Noodle be the baby's adopted mother? What will she do in battle now? I don't know. Nice, Christ, and this sounds dope. Go sex the crow? Let's go on Django stream. You probably don't want to watch this stream. This stream has gotten extraordinarily fucking morbid in the last, like, 20 minutes or so. This might be one of the most morbid things you ever see on this website, as a matter of fact. Let's go on Sensual Lizard. Why not just cure? Yeah, prolong her suffering. Use, uh... Use loving whispers. Like, oh, baby, you're the sexiest fucking nugget. Oh, my fucking God. Like, I just get a... I just throb at the sight of you. I'm gonna put you in fucking sweet and sour sauce. Expect it to not be morbid? I mean, I know it's gonna be morbid. Hacked off a chick's limbs for food? I did not. I'm just waiting for her to starve, pretty much. Wait, insect. It comes the fearsome crow. No, we killed that asshole. You're all good. Perhaps you can make love to her now? Ooh. God damn. I guess I could go to the last circle and see. That would be... Fairly fucked. Because I think you can only use the circles once, yeah. 
Speak with the tree insects now? Yes. I want to see if the butterfly dude will tell me anything. I doubt it, but... My rotten home, there was something shiny. What do you fucking mean? Not all of them, Trash Snake. So where, where do you think the other... The other insects are? Hunger's driving? I think hunger is the least of your worries, lady. Game's interesting as fuck. This game is also one of the most fucked up games I've ever played, for sure. Have you guys ever played something more fucked than this? Dark Souls 1, Hercules 64. Soda Drinker Pro is pretty fucked true. Fallout 4 traumatized me for life. God damn it. I'm asking for serious answers. I know League of Legends is a terrible experience when you try to play Teemo Jungle and you fuck it up and feed and everyone calls you a retard. What's going on, Gacky? Okay. Alright, Noodle, you are dismissed. Ack, ack to you too, my gamer friend. Are you sure hunger is what's crippling, Dars? I don't think hunger is the big problem here. Alright, eat her legs. It's what's for dinner. They're just for you. Fuck the bleeding dying hunger. Dude, I want two babies, Hank. God, you you, you are not capable of, of of looking beyond your nose. And seeing into the future. I'm going to bed. Good night, Hellish. I just gotta wait for her to starve now. What the fuck? What's going on, Burn? This game's gotten worse. If you if you can believe it. Check that tree. Right. That's why I wanted it in the first place. I'm gonna talk to some buggies. Okay. Investigate. Listen. Okay, I have bug speak though. Alrighty. What's going on, Gluteus? You can't impregnate him, he's a dude. This is a train wreck? I don't know if I'd describe it as a train wreck, but it's something. This is our kingdom. Look for hidden paths, there are plenty. Okay. Good night, Driz T. Go. 
Where did my nugget go? Does she not leave a body if she dies like that? Oh my god. Alright. Well, at least we have the baby demon. It's the next screen. Usually corpses persist, though. She did, but you left the arena. Alright, my bad, my bad. My bad. At least we get to see what's in the tree now, right? Oh. Cool. Wizard head boss? No. Okay. Are there soft? Yes. It's a mumble rap. All right. Monstrosity is down. Okay. We cannot use demon seed on it apparently, which is probably probably for the best, honestly. I like how now every time we kill a new enemy, it's like, can we impregnate that? Heads or tails, chat. Tails, all right. God damn it. Pulsating vines. Yes. What the fuck? You're getting scared, me the fuck too? Kexley, look at the baby. I think we need to give him some snickies. You want an arm, little buddy? Here you go. Enjoy. God damn it, Tola, what? Guy just offered me a blowjob on the streets. You find a soul stone. Cool. Another one of these, huh? I don't like the noise it's making. So, I'm guessing we have to find all of these organs and slice them open for something. What that something might be is beyond me. Without an arm? Oh yeah, I've been without an arm for a long ass time. So is that it for here, or...? There's so much to this game that it's nuts. Have we been down here this way? I think I remember. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck is this? Eastern stuff. Uh, Katana? Examine it. Hey, thank you, Nikkei, for the 30 month resub. I appreciate it. Black Steel of the East. Presence following you. Uh oh. I have a baby, sir. Assassin Specter. Okay. Maybe. I have an idea what to use that sword for. You leave that child alone. Me what I did. I meant I, that was a severe input error. I held down the, <laughs> held down the fucking button and, and ate worm juice like a fucking. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, 
Is this another invincible ghost? Good night, Sniper Knight. Okay, so what's what's this sword about? 90. Its shape is prone to critical attacks. Okay, that sounds fucking dull. I can dig that. I need to take a, a white vial here, though. You let your child crawl on its on. All right. It seems perfectly capable of that. So the, the thing I'm thinking of is maybe with that sword I can kill that asshole wizard. Okay. Because he made a big deal about being from, like, the West or whatever the fuck. So maybe it has something... To do with that. Hmm. Caxley's starting to feel hungry. What if the baby turns into something fucked up? Maybe a ghost sword can kill a ghost? Maybe. It wasn't the ghost sword, though. He was just. Protecting a general area. How long till infection? Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Fuck. Yeah, let me go ahead and just... It's an arm, right? Yeah. Just cut my arm off, bro. <laughs> this chopped me up. I'm not gonna be able to feed my own child. Cannot hold iron mace without arms. What the fuck you mean, homie? Okay. I'm the armless man. Use your teeth? I mean, do we do we need to bring back the the little girl, the armless little girl who killed the killed the assassin? Hold on, what does this guy say? Glad you were here. Take. You find a bag of opium powder. Okay. Now you're bleeding? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Opium is one of the best items. Bugs from opium? Wait, can I smoke it if I don't have arms? That would be fucked up, dude. Don't ask me how I did that. <laughs> don't even question it. I got my I got my small demonic child. Please don't uh oh. Your child's now. His demeanor and attitude also suggests he has great potential as a warrior's when he grows even older. If he survives the harsh world until then. Give a name to your wicked son. Davion. Look at him. He's... <laughs> Give him the peculiar doll. And the guard outfit. Mother help. He looks like some sort of fucking Ant Man creature. I can give it to the pocket. I don't want to give it to the pocket. That's my fucking son, dude. Now, how the hell do I leave? Why no weapon? Could I equip him with a weapon? He's he's child size. He can't use a big weapon yet. That's how it works. Like if we're gonna give him a weapon, we probably have to find that that small little dagger. But the problem being, I can't find my way out of here. Mm -hmm. When you bone spur bitch, nobody loves you. I'm fucking outy. Let's 
Farm children for pocket cat? Yeah, hypothetically. I mean, there's a finite amount of things you can kill, though. So I could kill, in a future run, I guess one of the better strats would be to slaughter the butterfly man. And then get a child and give him to pocket cat, right? But we'd have to get demon seed. Which I guess, it, if we can use the, the pen and paper thing. Showing a little respect towards you? Why is he after me now? Okay. Talk? I don't want to talk to him. He's a fucking ghost, dude. That's scary as shit. Necromancy without a coin flip? That's a good way of looking at it, but you need... Well, I guess Butterfly Man is a 100% consistent presence. Won't die, take. You find a white vial. These bugs are fucking awesome. The sword just permanently makes the ghost come after you? Do you think he'd leave if I sucked his dick? Maybe or he'd want more a gummies canister? Okay, so how the fuck do I get out of here? I'm starting to legitimately get flim flammed. Well, I got some raw meat, that's good, right? This tree area is fucked up. Stop for dinner? Yeah, I'm not doing that. See, that looks like where I'm supposed to go, but... How fucked would it be if there was no exit and I just got decked? That'd be fucked up, wouldn't it? Okay, I guess maybe I'll talk to the ghost next time. You have to defeat the ghost? Good night, Blind Ashlyn. Let me see if you could cheese and get the soul edge. You mean... The miasma. I don't know what the fuck you mean by soul edge. You know what I really want to eat right now, actually? I just have this urge to devour Hot Pockets. This game makes me want to eat Hot Pockets, and that's strange to me. Open a wall? I fell through a fucking hole. I did open a wall, and that's why I'm going to the walls and checking, but I can't just retrace my steps because I literally fell from the ceiling. Playing this edgelord of the game because me and literally everybody else in chat likes it, Beast Snipe. If Kingdom Hearts is more your speed, I'll be playing that tomorrow. More complex shit pit? Yes. Okay. A lot of hit pockets in this. True. Is it this game looks cool? You're goddamn right it does. This game's fucking amazing. We literally just fucked a corpse and got a baby. That's what the weird blue thing is. What did any VOD? I mean, I don't upload VODs. They just automatically record when I stream. This is my second time playing it. Although I am at a pretty bad impasse right now. I don't know how to get out of this place. Game is $7? Yes. Have you tried Ace Combat? I've never played an Ace Combat game in my life. I have no idea what it is. Is that like one of those flight sims? Okay. Looks like an alien. It really does. It really does. I just wish I knew my way around. Maybe I have to kill all the mumblers. It sounds like a groaning stomach right now. Okay, you mum. 
humble fuck. Cage not edgy. Cage has Disney. And that means it's family fun. Am I right? Is that on your stomach after Whataburger? Maybe before. After I eat Whataburger, I'm full usually. Be fucked up if I ate Whataburger and I had a tummy rumbly. The thing about Whataburger is you go there, you slap your dick down on the table and say, I want a triple meat, triple cheese Whataburger, which is ketchup, mustard, pickles, and they, okay. And it's fucking dope. Why am I this demon child, David? You are a demon child. Oh my god. I might have to restart, I but I want to come here and get that sword, I just don't know... I just don't know where to go. Because the sword's very useful, I want to give that to Noodle, and I want to curse the sword, imagine a cursed East Eastern sword. Like the second strongest weapon in the game that we found. Let's be an exit, there's gotta be, I just don't know where it is. I've been here before. Falling seems like instant fail. That's possible. That's possible. It gets basically a shit pit if you fall. Hmm. You should have talked to Ghost, maybe, but eh. I don't think that's what we have to do. Okay, I'll talk to the ghost now, right? Talk. What up, bitch? Guard. And guard. Okay. Talk. Try talking to the ghost. There's no need for killing. What? It seems to wholeheartedly disagree with that notion. Killed head mage? No, I'm not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that could have gone better. Nothing of worth. Later, Metal Breach. Okay. So I think we're gonna stop fucking around. I do want to go back to the tree area, but I think if I fail the coin flip, then it's just done. I don't think there's a way out if I I fail the coin flip. But I'm not I'm not gonna kill off my party members for demon children or anything this time. Okay. And we'll feed them arms though. I think I think that's still fair. Ghost enemies are fucked. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. But that's okay. We will figure it out. Really, just fine food? It doesn't seem like there are really any, any bad foods to eat in this game so far. That's actually one thing where it seems at least a little bit merciful. I've never gotten parasites from eating bad food or something to that effect. Try for the miasma? I suppose so. Okay. Is it give? I think it's give. My ass. Oh, that's fucking cheating. So you can get multiple miasmas. And you can get multiple empty scrolls with paper, too. So yes, you can cheat and give yourself the sword. I, I consider it to be just that, though. 
I I am not going to do that. That's some bullshit. Later, Hootie. Take it easy, wrong way. I keep thinking I'm in the Knights layout. It's awesome. Yes, but it's better than a two-hander and it's a one-handed weapon. Now, granted, I did kind of get fucked out of getting it this playthrough because the crow bugged out and didn't give me the thing to access it. But at the same time, I don't know. Scrolls like a wild card item? Yeah, you could just request whatever it is that you want. That night is the hardest. You out of your fucking mind. <laughs> You're out of your fucking mind. Knight, the hardest character, Shiggy Diggy, my friend. Use it to kill that head? I don't think miasma is what we need to kill the head. Oh lord, give shotgun. What other fucked up shit could we get from that? Until you reach the point in the game? See, I didn't know that there was a point where it was going to tell me that. But I'm not really using it. I used it to see the insects, I guess, and see what they say. Sif, shush. Shh. It's gonna be okay, babies. Eastern sword. Yeah, there's a katana in here. See, now here's the question. Is it possible to, to do this part without insect speak? I think the wall that I went in on the, the other time is this way. Yeah, you don't need insect speaking to do this part. Okay. Now the insects aren't going to give me opium this time, unfortunately, but I think we'll live. And we'll be just fine. What's going on, Rail Cat? I, I, my name is not Towel, dude. You're misgendering me right now. Insect speak is so many dope items. It does I, I feel like the empty scroll thing is kind of like a way for the dev to just test stuff out. Like it's almost a debug tool sort of thing rather than something you're supposed to get and know how to use. Uh oh. Just ignore the chest. No big deal. Alright. Heads or tails, chat. I want to equip my eyes, but not when I cheat to get it. No. Tails? Alright, we're doing tails. And it's fucking heads. Wow. At least I got a vial. Vial's really not that bad of an item, all things considered. Definitely worse things you could get. Like fucking nothing. That always sucks. Jesus Christ, you're still- I woke up like an hour before I started my stream, so yeah. What's going on, Jin? Heads. Okie dokie. You'd be using it if it didn't bug out? Probably. Masma's like the fairest thing you could wish for? Well, I don't know if people are telling me the truth when they say that, uh, the crow is guaranteed to give you that sword. I've only killed them twice, right? So people could be, could be jiggling my dick on that one. It could just be an RNG sort of thing. They're like, no, I'm not really a big fan of Darkest Dungeon, which kind of makes it weird that I enjoy this, I suppose. Okay. God damn, alright. What happened to WD? He's still there. Just chat wanted me to start over as a wizard. Okay. This map is made out of ramen. I'm starting to get really hungry. Need to take, uh... 
Need to need to take some ibuprofen. Okay, I'm gonna go down this hole and see where it leads. I think it leads to the exact same place, actually. Holy fuck. Hmm. No, it actually doesn't. Try taking it. I wonder if I can kill this asshole. Not gonna try. There's gotta be a way to get out of here. There has to be. Right? Ha. Ah, I figured it out. Hey, thank you, Fapple Cake. I appreciate the 17 months. Let's go pop that boil. And then we fall down through there. Wait, what the fuck? Do you guys see this shit? What's wrong with this picture? I can't inspect the pot because I, I, I'm walking like this. <laughs> Fuck. Hopefully after I, I change zones, this won't be a thing. Oh, I, I think I'm actually soft locked. I can't face the wall to open it up. I guess I can go through the, the hole, but that sucks. Means I'm gonna have to come all the way back here to, to pop the blister again. I guess we can do it later. Battle the guy? Fuck no. Dude looks scary as hell. Is it single player only? Yeah. Yep, okay. So we we figured out the tree. We figured it out. There's another skeleton. We could get rid of the girl. And get another skeleton. And then we'd have Hank and Noodle. That would be fucked up. Alright. So. I wonder if that sword will allow us to do battle. The girl's good. I know she is. I know she is. It's just, I'm using. What's happened so far? Honestly, a lot of shit has happened. We learned that there is indeed a spell that allows you to impregnate the corpses of your enemies and it gives birth to a demon child. So, that's... That's a thing. You can literally kill people and fuck their dead bodies to, to get a party member. And it starts off as a small little fetus that you have to feed and nurture. And eventually it becomes a, a warrior. Later, Amater. Is this permadeath? No. <laughs> so nice that I could just beat the shit out of the little enemies. At that point. Okie dokie. So let's save and let's do some more exploration. Let's see if this eastern sword is gonna... Well, actually... Hold on, there's something more we need to do. Oh, I lied. I want to see if we can curse the Eastern Sword and get some big dick damage. Noodle's got his legs back. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying shit out that run. So if the Eastern Sword is cursed to where a ghost is following me around, what happens if I curse it again? I don't think anything actually happens, but that shit... Really makes you think. You break the bird door, can I? I guess I could try. And the thing is, you know my asthma's of okay, chat. Let's have a family discussion really quickly. Has this game at any point ever given you the impression that it fucks around? And that you just get shit for free and, and, and without any consequence. Fuck no. Absolutely not. It's a talking sword. 
It's going to fuck us at some point down the road. 100%. You cannot curse miasma. Too many souls attached to it. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Cursed longsword for a hundred. I kind of want to give Noodlebone the cursed. Eastern Sword. Oh, wow, it's the same fucking damage as a Cursed Meat Cleaver, so it's really not that good. Wait, why don't I give my character a weapon? I, I'm still using the Iron Mace on my guy. <laughs> Sitting here giving everyone else the good shit. Missing your left hand? Yes. Didn't cut the organs? Not the one in the woods. I got a bug where I couldn't turn around. I need to go back and do it, but I'm not really worried about it. How did Noodlebone join the party? I'm playing as the Necromancer class right now. You can revive skeletons and zombies and shit, so... It's pretty useful. It's pretty goddamn useful. I have four tobacco, holy shit. How the fuck did he get a miasma? Chat was telling me how to use those scrolls that are basically cheating, and I'm not gonna use. That's why I'm not actually using miasma. However, in my defense... I, the, the crow that normally allows you to acquire the sword bugged out and did not, did not give me that, that key to get into the door. So I'm not using it unless I get it legit. You scrolls for moldy bread. Knight always gets last pick of weapons when she has fast attack. I guess you raise a valid point. What's going on, Anthony? Get the key to free the girl? I am not wasting it on a small key. That girl can rot for all I care. Especially now. Well, I don't know. Tiny bar on top of the guard's model. I think that's a bug. Scrolls for free save. We already have free saves, so we can save whenever we want now. It's not, it's not like uh, that's really a pressing issue anymore. Oh, fuck. Hold on. So can we fight this door? I wonder if if we can use the red vial on it. Best part is I don't have maces anymore, so it doesn't make that god-awful noise when you hit things. Okay. Miserable mortal worm, you wish to use me? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we, we have legitimately obtained miasma. So we can use it now. Which means we actually... Uh, hold on. No, the, I can still use the Eastern Sword. Our, our damage is so fucking stacked right now. We are gonna fucking massacre... Goddamn near anything that so much as looks at us the wrong way. We got Eastern Sword, Miasma, and Cursed Long Sword, and some other bullshit that does ridiculous damage. Kill the head? I mean, I guess we can try. I don't think that... I really don't think you're able to kill it through, through normal means, but we can try. You get the talking sword? I beat the fucking door down. I literally bust the fucking door down and it, it let me get in. Did you cheat? I mean, is breaking doors down cheating? <laughs> if so, then yes. If you can't do it now, you definitely can't kill him. I think that's a fair assumption. Care if I tell you? Yes, I do. Please don't tell me how to beat the head. I'm enjoying this game. I don't want people to handhold me and tell me how to beat everything. It's not fun. Cheesing the game, I'm sorry, Hank. Like, I'm gonna miss shit my first playthrough, but that's what a second playthrough of hard mode is for, right? Okay. Okay. 
convince the head to fuck you? What's going on, Santa wins? I don't think I've ever brought the girl to the head. Maybe, maybe I could bring a child to it. It's really like the only thing I haven't tried at this point. Get ready for braps. We're in the land of brap chunks. See, sometimes, here's the thing that sucks about this shit. Sometimes you can't target the head. Like, like if I'm pressing the arrow keys, I'm just attacking the darkness and not the head itself. I don't know what causes that. So it, we're just gonna miss. Move your mouse? I don't think that's gonna help. Oh, it does, what the fuck? Hold on, how do I? I had him targeted for a brief moment. There we go. Why the fuck does that... Okay. Thank you. Mouse wasn't even on that screen and it was fucking things up. Huh. got ruined, it definitely did. This thing is still taking a colossal amount of damage, though. With absolutely no results. Think you're dead? I'm absolutely fucking dead. He just crushed me. I'm a stinky grape. Okay, must be a secret. I think you gotta sacrifice the little girl. I don't think you can kill him with normal weapons. Cause even though I fucked up a turn, I was still like critting him, hitting him with my asthma, just honestly fucking him up. So let's go back to the city and explore some. Cause is it we we have kind of well shit. I should probably break the the boy the other boil in the tree in case it causes something. Who's attacking the air? Yeah, he can attack either the darkness or the head. Okay. I also need to see if I can get past that knight. Try talking to the head, I have. What else have I not done? I haven't really been using the nymph very much at this point in time. I think I've used her once, I haven't even attempted. Found anything in the city? I found a lot of things in the city. <laughs> the city's fucked. The city's not a nice place to be. And also, uh, delayed response, but Acid asked me if I had played Apex Legends. I, I, no. I have a zero desire to play the Flavor of the Month Battle Royale game. It is, it is not something that particularly piques my interest. Do not care. Okay. I am, I'm focused on beating this right now, and then Kingdom Hearts. I like... I like both of those games, and I want to finish both of them. Uh, more, less so finishing Kingdom Hearts, and more... Finding all of the hidden Mickeys in Kingdom Hearts. That's what I actually care about in that game. The story or whatever the fuck is just a... God damn. All right, I'm going to I'm going to close the chat for a bit. There's a lot of spoilers happening in chat right now. Okay. I will I will open it in a bit. I am going to go fuck with that boil and then go back into the city though. All right. Oh shit. There's got to be a way to recruit this asshole too, although I'm not entirely sure what that might be. 
Because you can recruit the knight. That's, in my mind, being able to recruit the knight is a soft confirmation that you can recruit the other party members as well. Although, the mercenary fucked us up. We recruited the mercenary, but he was not exactly someone we wanted to have. Because <laughs> he, 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 uh, kind of fucking dicked us. Okay, so we gotta go find a hole and drop down and then go to the north. Also, it looks like the ghost only pops up in the woods here. He doesn't seem to chase you outside of the thicket. Oh, wrong way. I was worried that he was going to chase you and just be a consistent nuisance throughout the rest of the playthrough, but does not appear to be the case. Okie dokie. So let's go this way. I also... This area kind of disappointed me, I'm not going to lie. This has some of the most unsettling and fucked up noises and ambience in the entire game, and there's just the only thing that appears to be here are the... the noodle-headed idiots, the mumblers. Which I guess they're kind of unsettling. They look like pulsating cocks. But... I feel like they could have done more. Maybe there... I mean, there could be more that I just haven't seen. That's a possibility. But... We also just found the the way to go, I think. There's something shining, a soul stone, and then we're gonna kill it. I wonder if these connect to that giant mouth in the mines. Although the giant mouth doesn't seem to be animate. Because if I had to warn, I guess these are these are like uh, pustules that are attached to the body of one of the gods, or something like that, or some other sort of eldritch abomination. All right, so let's chop this asshole up. <laughs> Nine hundred and ninety-eight. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. So I guess Metastrat. Metastrat. Pick Necromancer, immediately resurrect the skeleton, and come back down here. Uh, you can avoid all of the mumblers, from what I can tell. Avoid the mumblers and get the Eastern Sword, which has a significantly increased critical strike chance. And it looks like you can just... You can give all of your opponents a one-way ticket to Pound Town. Seems like it would be quite effective at, at just annihilating everything in short order to me. And then you could get... There's a second skeleton in the thicket, too. That's another... Oh, no. Nope. It, it does follow you. Okay. I, I'm guessing Loving Whispers might not be the way to... To get this asshole to, to fuck off. Hmm. Alright, let's go. I want to do the mine. I don't want to go back to the city. I want to... I want to see if I can get past that ghost. I think I'm gonna have to try to, like, engage in combat and run by him and see what's on the other side. Because it has been... It has been kind of burning at my mind for a while now. I wonder if lighting the torches does anything. There's got to be at least one point in this game where, where lighting shit on fire has a real effect on the outcome. Wait, hold on. Does this thing regenerate meat? No, but I got I got a, a salmon snake soul. Is that is that unique or does it just? No, it's still a lesser soul. That's kind of lame, actually. You would think something like that would be a unique soul. Although I don't know what to do with the crow soul. It's unique, but I have no idea what the acquisition of that unique soul does. Okay. Let's try to run. 
Unable to escape. Delightful. Oh, I lost a leg. Dope. That's what I'm all about. All right. Well, we, we will we will see what's on the other side of this place. Hopefully. Oh my god! But now I'm a fucking cripple. God damn it! This piece of shit. What an asshole. I think if you if you use run as a command rather than run, uh oh, hold on. He's guarding his sarcophagus. Something underneath the armor. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure what the best course is. I'm gonna go for the head, and I'm gonna have the melees attack his arms. Interesting. So you have to break the armor and then and then the shit under like his actual body. That's kind of neat. I think I'm not sure. Maybe you just have to break all of the armor. No, I don't want to. I don't want to use mind. I want to just normal. Wait, hold on. Am I am I fucking myself with my mouse again? No, I'm not. And then hit his loin claw. We're gonna get to see his wiener. <laughs> oh my god. It, it, I was just kind of joking, but sure enough, it's like a fucked up strip tease game. So what's in here? I'm, I'm a fucked up nugget. All right, chat heads or tails. Tales for the books. Uh. Wow. We got an explosive eye right, for the chest. Heads or tails. Heads? Okay, pop it out. Thank you. 35 silver coins, that's what's up. Now that we know there's an actual good merchant, that's pretty good. Oh, we found his bong. Delightful. Vanum Knight was projecting himself through the power of Mary Joanna. So, wait a second. Oh Lord, give enlightenment. Okay. Okay. I would not have caught this playing through normally. But it says on an empty scroll, it says, Oh Lord, give enlightenment. So if you were super, super observant, then you would you would try that. I would not have. I, I don't think I would have made that connection. But it's there. Alchemelia Volume 3. Too bad I don't have fucking legs. Okay. Alchemelia Volume 1. What the fuck? Okay. It's a shame that I lost my legs here. I think we're gonna have to just continue as a nugget. I don't think I've ever found cave moss. Okay. I want this one. Let's 
So my body's fucked up. That's unfortunate. I think I might... I might try to... To do the... The whatchamacallit. God, what am I... The nymphs. The nymphs. Can I do anything with this yet? No. I guess this is what the... Like, if you pray to certain gods, you get the ability to get more of this. Oh, man. This is so... Ooh. Ooh. Work on the last session? I mean for a heal. I know I'm not getting my legs back, but I mean, I... I'm at what? Five? But I guess I could... You know what? Hold on. Can I use Loving Whispers on myself? Oh, wow. That's really strong. Loving Whispers is a really good move. Let's smoke some tobacco. Tolo loses his arm. I lost it to a prison guard really early on in the run. Um, so that was interesting. That was, uh, that was perhaps the opposite of dope. But... Why do you say tabacky? Because that's what CWC used to say. I'm a disciple of, of Christian Weston Chandler. He, he used to go on and make YouTube videos saying, uh, If I was president of the United States, I'd take every last inch of tabacky and send it off onto the moon. And you know what? I respect that. And there's nothing wrong with respecting that. Okay, I'm gonna make the final push to the city. <laughs> Slowly. Check the pile of armor again. I think when you use it, I mean, you're right, but fuck you for making me go back. We are a nugget now. SCP, this is the spirit of the game. I'm not gonna be like, yo, dude, I'm reloading because I lost my legs. That's some bullshit. If you're bored, you have me. You have Mr. Tolomeo. You can ask me any question your heart desires and talk about anything you would like. I am right here. I just wish Noodle would fucking carry me. Use me as like a jetpack or some shit. Oh lord, give Heelys. How to attract a girlfriend? Get a big dick and swing it around in the middle of the street. What's your favorite food? Steak. Meaning of life, whatever the fuck you want to make it. Hanku Chan would have carried you. Hanku Chan would have Jack Diddley. Fuck. All right. Beat him. Hurt your shin a little. I don't have legs, asshole. Nope, too heavy to use. Wow. Weirdest thing you've done with your dick. I don't fucking know. I haven't done too many weird things with my dick. You play this game because we don't love you enough? I play this game because I think it's fucking fun. And thank you for the five month resub spell, Lena, backwards. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Cotton Hill right now. Kill fit men! What's good, dude? What happened to Baby Demon? We died on that run. What fetishes do you have? Big black anal acrobats. Cut off Noodle's leg and shove it into your leg? I don't think that would work. I feel like that wouldn't be a good strategy. Too heavy for you at the moment, but maybe it'll be too heavy when you play as the knight? Possibly. See, look, it's my homie. knows what's up. Have you watched Dororo? I don't think so. Not really sure what that is. Okay, Khan didn't actually kill anybody. Yeah, Khan was a little fucking... He's like f fucking manlet. He's an asshole. Dororo is an anime. Okay. Is it an anime about a cute little little waifu who, who likes you but pretends she doesn't and then 
It's about like going to school and getting into wacky hijinks, and then slowly but surely she opens up and shows her true feelings towards towards the the protagonist. And then it's like it, like the character's made in a way to where you like he doesn't really have a personality, so you can project your own personality onto him and imagine that you're the anime protagonist and that the little cute anime wife who actually likes you and you're you're doing wacky anime hijinks. Uh, you're back in school. You're not like a 25 year old burnout playing video games on the internet. Is that is that what it's like? Or is it one of the ones where it's like that, except, yeah, like Rain said, a fat, balding old dude ends up fucking her instead of you? Tolo's 20? No, I'm actually 26. Asshole. Don't even know the Tolomeo lore. Not, no limbs, but sword limbs. That sounds fucking dull. You're almost 30? Ha ha ha. It's 30 inches in your fucking mouth, Rain. Shut the fuck up. Suck my dick. Discounted car insurance, you cucks? Not too much of it. No, that's seriously like anime, dude. Like, I've watched anime before. It's like so many. I, I know that anime is a wide genre full of exciting and interesting stories, but you know that what I described can describe quite a few of them. You know that shit is true. What the fuck is this, dude? I've never seen this this enemy type in my life. Do you think he's nice? The body snatcher is counting your extra limbs. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. So, am I- do I just not get my magic attack? Is that what happened there? Just decided not to do it? That sucked. Alright. Yes, sir. I was 29, now I'm 30. Happy birthday, dude. The trench coat! We can- we can be an atheist now. Thank fucking god. It's actually really fucking good. Holy shit. We actually got something worth a fuck from one of these enemies. Okay. However, our main man Lagarde appears to be pretty fucked. He's got a lot wrong with him. He's seen better days. He's bleeding. He's fucking hungry. He's got an infected wound. He's got broken bones. That's not good. Do I have a green herb at least? that arm. He's worthless for combat now. He, he's, he's completely impotent. And he's still bleeding. The problem is, he appears to be fairly integral to the story. Okay, so you fucked up, so you're gonna have to eat your own arm, dude. I'm sorry. That was entirely your fault. Causes food poisoning when eaten. That's not good. We're rapidly running out of shit. Okay. I should have cooked food. But now we know that the Body Snatcher gives pretty dull body armor, right? Yeah, I guess we could cut his legs off for food if need be. Yeah, yeah, let's do that actually.
Nugget Nation, dude. Give me that other leg. <laughs> Lagarde is dead. <laughs> I, I hate the way they move. It's fucked up. I shouldn't laugh at it, but goddamn. They're just like actually motionless. Okay, what's in here? I bet you there's something to do here. This looks like some weird-ass puzzle or some such nonsense. Hmm. Imagine being this, this woman, just following the Nugget Squad. We're like a fucked-up Siamese twin. This is where we're gonna die right here, I think. Nope. Okay, we've made it to the city, gamers. We're looking good. <laughs> we're looking like we're ready, we're ready to take on the universe. I wonder if I really do need him at this point, but I imagine if he dies, the chick is gonna be a little bit upset with me. But then I could get another skeleton. And then if I kill her, I can, I can do stuff. But, I don't know. Use demons, yes, yes, that's what I was implying. The only fear in hunger streamer? I doubt too many people want to risk playing this game and getting banned. I'm I'm towing a line, I think. Is this a good game? I think so. But I think I'm good because really the sex scenes I censor and there are cocks, but Outlast also has cocks. Like they're they're big fully animated cocks in that game. So I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong. Because it's about the size of the cock. Alright, come come down the stairs. What the fuck is that? I I didn't even know was he there when I went up the stairs? There's no way, right? Alright, Lagarde, do your best. I don't know how you managed a 93 there, but I respect it. Gaping now. Has lost both legs and arms and is useful now. But my party was victorious. I still won, though. Wait, are you serious? Oh, my God. Come on! <laughs> Pick me up, Noodle! Quit breathing. Just stop breathing. Guess I'll just die. I guess I'll just die. Oh my god. Alright. Well. This is... What the fuck did we even do last time? I guess we gotta cut the pustule and then and then go to the city and kill kill the knight. That's right, the fucking ghost knight. God damn it. Let's cook some food. Body snatcher. Thank you, one nut warrior, for the twenty month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your continued support. Beat the crow guy. How'd that go? He decided not to peck me. <laughs> That's it. That's it. 
broke my asthma door? I think I have my asthma. Yeah, yeah, we're good on that. We're good on that. That was before we saved. Thank you, though. Man, I feel like I'm playing speed hacks now. You know what? Let's actually explore that cave area with the giant titty bird more. I feel like we weren't super thorough looking in that area. Maybe there's something we missed. I feel like that's actually the area we've spent the least amount of time in. Here, and let's kill these gnomes for good measure. The WD, they wanted, like, we still have WD, but they wanted to start uh, a wizard playthrough. Oh, come on, Noodle! I was about to say, if that was triple miss, triple cheese, would have been fucking pissed. So, what do you guys suppose the Gnome Egg is for? Maybe I can cook it. Maybe it's a recipe. Like, I'm gonna get a book that teaches me how to use the Gnome Egg. Yes, I'm aware that it's an egg, but what does your character use it for is what I'm saying. Like, I wonder if I can have a gnome party member. Hey, thank you, Surdy, for the 23-month reset. You hungry? I'm hungry. I'm not really afraid, but I'm pretty hungry. I'm not going to lie. How long have we been streaming? Eight hours and 12 minutes, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Time just fucking flies, dude. All this mutilation gives me hunger? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so let's try this again. Now we just have to win the fight here. I'm gonna save three hours of progress. What do you mean, Felix? I guess it doesn't really matter. I probably shouldn't go for the fucking head, though. <laughs> Work it, girl. Save file? I still have the night file. I just started a new one. I like how you win by stripping the knight to his to his dick. That's a good way to win, I'll admit. So now that I, I didn't lose limbs, I'm gonna fail both of these these rolls on the books and the chest. Save file with this That's because I keep dying. Heads for chest, tails for bookcases. Explosive vial. That's actually pretty shitty for winning a roll. Damn. Okay. God damn! Okay, we got enough explosive vials to do whatever the fuck we want in life. <laughs> Holy shit. See what I mean? Now I'm gonna do heads and it's gonna be tails. Guarantee it. Guarantee fucking tee it. No. We got one at least. We got the Necronomicon. Woohoo. Curse equipment. Can I get anything? I 
guess I could learn Demon Seed. Why not? Tomb have anything? I actually haven't checked. We can go look that up in a second. Is this? Empty scroll. See, okay. Okay. So, I would say that's a pretty big tell. Someone has written notes here on an empty scroll. Oh, Lord, give enlightenment. And there's an empty scroll right there. So, that's your, that's your hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, Lord, give arm. That'd be pretty fucking funny. No, you can't look in the tomb. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when you win the Necronomicon, you get a spell. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. I want to try something, now. Will you guys get mad at me if I try some hood rat shit? What do you suppose I have to say to get the small key? Oh lord, give key. Do you think it would be key or just... Let's just try key. Nope. Okay. It's small key. That is okay. I want to try feeding the little girl to the demon head. Did you get an acid vial? Spell O. Oh lord, give opium. Evil Dead's Necronomicon seem much stronger. Do you, do you think he'd take the Necronomicon, the blood wizard? have no idea. I wish I get shit for writing on paper. That'd be pretty dope. Oh lord, give what a burger. I could respect that. Is when you free the girl when your party's full? I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to find out because I fucked up and didn't get the key. What's good, gotta... It's McDonald's and Lisa. McDonald's actually sounds kind of good right now. Only teaches you a spell? Supposedly, chat has said that it teaches you a spell from any god, but I don't know if that's true or not. I think it's only going to be... Oh! Oh, well, that sucks. Wow. Thankfully. I can't... Well, I'm fucked. I can't use Demon Seed on her. I didn't get Demon Seed? Well, you know what? There's only one thing to do right now. See, this is why I think you can only get Grogoroth spells. Because it's called the Testament of Grogoroth. Enjoying this game? Always. And then I fucking died. <laughs> Oh! Look at that skeleton. Look at the way he's... He's standing. He's ready to fuck. Teaches any spell you don't have? Hmm. A 
So, Gata, you'll be pleased to know we got a new spell today. We figured out that you you could get a spell where you kill someone and impregnate their freshly deceased corpse and a demon baby is spawned. So that's... You know? I think that's really good. Fuck. I need to go cook my meats. And then I need to break the pustule. Do I? I don't remember if I need to break I don't think I need to break it. I think I saved after I broke it last time. But I, I honestly can't remember. It's all blurring together at this point. How romantic? Absolutely. Alright, this is still a fucking thing. Yeah. Can you go fuck yourself, Mr. Ghost? <laughs> Thankfully, he seems relatively easy to, to flee from. What's on the menu for today? We've got to explore the fucked up city. Break it because I thought you fell down after grabbing the samurai sword. I thought I went back and broke it though. Well, you know what? There's actually an easy solution for that now that I'm thinking. Thinking with portals. We could go backwards. We could go through the other route. Oh lord, give me empty scroll. That's fucked up. I was just sitting there and he, he, he attacked me again. Can you bone noodle? No, we tried. It says he has no flesh to fornicate with. Which is fucked up. Okay. I need to go back down and get the scroll. I, I still want to try sacrificing the little girl to the head. See if that's something you can do. A skeleton? Yes, I'm playing as the necromancer now. So, we have a skeleton friend. My nose is fucking cold right now. I feel like it's gonna fall off. Okay. You know who I kind of miss? The fucking dudes with the with the little blue dicks. Like, like an entire city of subterranean uh, Captain Manhattan or whatever the fuck the Watchman dude is called. Oh, I can't go this way because I fall through. Okay. Dr. Manhattan. That was the asshole's name. Did you kill them all? Yeah, I slaughtered them like they were fucking... They, they were just livestock, basically. My paper the paper's consistent after the night, I'm pretty sure, so we will we will try it out. We will abandon Noodle and we will see if we can use the little girl to get some good shit. What if you got a that that disembodied head to suck your dick? Do you think that would be better or worse than a normal blowy? Depends if it has teeth. Please let me go. Thank you. Okay. I wonder what's underneath the armor then. Kid in a fetal... Yeah, I remember the kid. I don't know how to do anything with him, though. And find the couple banging. Maybe we'll have to go search for that. Oh, shit. He's about to kill Noodlebone. 
Fuck you and your 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 unusually large flaccid cock. You have any music? During one boss encounter, has something that that is kind of music in the same way Skrillex is music. Okay. Open the chest. Pets. Yeah, baby. A soul stone. Nobody's infected this time. That's good. Alright. Always tails. Fuck you. I wonder if the coin flips are the same. Is this one gonna be heads again? scroll okay search tails no they're not okay noodle needs some sustenance dude his hunger is 100 he's a skeleton he doesn't need to Im to imbibe okay empty scroll is it it's oh lord is it just oh lord right Yes. Okay. Thing right next to you? Fuck you, Hank. Small. When I press shift, it, it puts in a... Alright. So we got our key. Use the hexen. Nope, I want demon seed. Yes. It's actually weird that we have more souls than we know what to do with at this point. Never imagined that being a thing. Can I... Wait a fucking minute, dude. I have a great idea. You're gonna love my fucking idea, chat. I promise you. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I save, though. Fuck the night. No! I could ask for a fucking helmet. Or, or one of the rings. If I wanted to be particularly cheesy. I don't think I'm gonna... But I could, if I wanted to. So let's... Good on hunger for the time being. I might risk the furry cannibal fuckfest to get all their hunger up. That'd be a fucked up coin flip to lose, though, because then you're just dicked. So... Let me run this by you as an idea, chat. I, I want you guys to, to let me know whether you think this is fair or not. Okay, so let's say I were to save right now. And then go to the nymphs to try to heal. I think, like hypothetically speaking, if I were to go to the nymphs and lose the coin toss, then I'm banned from using the nymphs for the rest of the playthrough. Because I lost. I died. That one time. Uh, if I get heads, it's fair game until until I lose. But if I, like, to prevent me from save scumming, if I lose once, then I'm never allowed to use them again, even if I reload. Is that cheating, or is that... Is that good? What do you guys think? This game kind of wants you to save scum a bit. Make the system your bitch. Allows you to save scum. It's not save scumming. I I kind of disagree most of the time with this sort of game though. Like Lisa, I feel like Lisa wouldn't have been as enjoyable if every time something bad happened to me, I were to save scum. You know what I mean? Okay. You 
pumpkin cheese, remember? I can, but I don't have any more doors. Crow was meant to stop you from saving off and you killed it, so it's fair game. You turned into a nugget and stopped breathing? But that shit's fucking funny! That shit's hilarious! You know you you know you guys were fucking laughing when that happened. <laughs> okay, so what we wanna do now. We're gonna talk to the we're gonna talk to Noodle and tell him to go to go to go ack ack somewhere else. Goodbye, Noodle. You Majin Sweep? Don't ever compare me to Majin Sweep. It's fucked up. It's the goal of this game. To, right now, our current goal is to see what... What is in the City of Sleeping Gods, or whatever the fuck it's called. That area is scary as hell, though. Okay. A bunch of bullshit one-hit KOs in the game. I don't think safe scumming is a bad thing. I'm actually gonna be really sad when I beat this game, I realize. This is the sort of game that I just wanted to keep on going. I don't really want it to end. That's part of the reason why I'm like kind of dawdling in earlier areas instead of just like trying to power through the city. All right, so let's see what the little girl does to the demon dude if he if it does anything at all. Are you still gonna do a hard mode playthrough? Absolutely. Like I say, who gives a fuck about Sekiro? I would, dude. No meme. No meme. If I could, if I could press a button and have this game's length increase by ten times, or or have Sekiro pressing the fucking button to make this get game ten times longer. <laughs> well, don't really care about Sekiro that much. Like it's it's the last thing on my mind. Truth be told. I'm not sure why. I think I'm just, I just I burned myself out on those games forever. I don't think I'm ever gonna have a, like a passion or a desire to play them a lot again. Okay. Like I'm still gonna play it. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, yeah. I'm just not excited for it. Maybe I will. Uh, maybe I will be when it's closer to being released later. CJ. Okay. So let's see if we can give this chick to the demon. Tola wants to cut Tades forever. See, Tentacle Rap understands me. He knows that I just want to play shitty RPG Maker games where you can you can slice off the mammary glands and cocks of your foes. I'm a simple human being. I don't ask for much. You got noodle stuff? No, I'm just seeing. This is just kind of a one of those runs where I'm I'm probably gonna end it by by slash suiciding. Just throwing out the FF. Mm. Tell them to make this game into a Soulsborne game? Maybe if I look at more Sekiro gameplay, I'll be excited for it. But I haven't really looked up shit at all. Because that's usually how I go into FromSoft games. I don't like looking things up and, and knowing all the mechanics and whatever. Like maybe seeing a sneak peek at a boss. Like just going in blind. Little burnout on Souls games. Okay. Serves my sleep. Can you see I've not retained my whole body yet? You instead of a fool. A fresh blood for the ritual. Sanctuaries. Okay. Maybe I just have to spam talk? Oh, 
quack quack. Your eminent doom approaches, but it's a glorious way to go. I'm at the katana before ya. Fucking die. So I don't think the little girl. Maybe if I give him some loving whispers. Little girl. No, the little girl doesn't talk. Only your main character has the talk option. It's unable to escape. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> So we killed the the one asshole. And now let's go let's go to the nymphs. Let's see if we can get the fuck. Isn't there a book about him, maybe? If I have it or if I if there is I I don't think I have it. Like it's certainly possible. Nars Raha I don't recall reading a book about him. Give the little girl to the nymphs? No, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to do that. You can't do it anyways. Maybe we'll let you, which is good. You also can't do certain... There are a lot of things you can't do with the little girl. And as far as being disinterested in Sekiro, I don't know. Like, There's not a particular reason, I guess, if I had to point to something... It's because I've played so many of uh, the Souls games, but it's like the same reason you might be disinterested in something. It's not necessarily a concrete reason, you just don't really care. It's just whatever. There's an insect right behind, besides where the w is there. Hold on. There's a fucking thought. P Lord. Oh, Lord. I love Sekiro, maybe. Teach. Mastery. Holy. So where's this bug? I don't even see the insect. You're right, there it is. Okay. So much potential for a new home, but they are too spoiled. We poor little insects need fresh flesh. Gotta bring them a body. You gotta bring him a body or some sort of flesh. Which isn't- it really didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. Unfortunately. Because he talks about wanting a body, like needing a body. He's not yet done, uh... Reanimating or whatever the hell. Don't understand this game? That's okay. What happened to Floating Head Wizard? Did you kill it? No, we still have no idea what to do with him. Would be spoiling if I said what to do with the head? Yes, it would. I would be very, uh, very rude if you were to do that. Okay. Noodle Bone Hungers? No, he doesn't. Well, you guys fucking tell me to feed the skeleton all the time. Later, Max. Look who's spoiling his- hey, 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 don't call Marito. He at least asked. You didn't just go and fucking spoil shit. There's nothing wrong with asking, although the answer is almost always gonna be no. Okay. Needs bone meal? Ha ha ha. <laughs> ha ha ha. So I wonder, 
if the skeleton is going to heal from the coitus I'm about to engage in. It's a coin flip. I still don't know what happens if you fail this coin flip. Heads or tails, chat. Oh no, apparently this is our first time. Nope, here it is. Head. Tails. Lose track of time. Lose your mind. We literally are just fucking some dude in the forest until we lost our mind. You spend the rest of your days like this. Okay. Alright, so no more nymphs. They're banned from future attempts. Alright. Hooey, maybe we'll have better luck with the cannibalistic furries. Better than getting STD on a fail? I mean, at least I'd be alive. Oh, okay. It's gonna, you gonna do me like that? Okay, Noodle Bone is dead. Man, fuck this ghost. The ghost is a piece of shit. Safe scumming. Fuck this shit. If there's anything else besides that ghost, it would be one thing. That ghost is stupid as fuck. <laughs> no reloading. Nah, fuck that dude. <laughs> That's cheating. You're goddamn right it is. <laughs> You're goddamn right it is, Hank. It's a fucking ghost that just randomly appears and, and fucks you. Now you want to save scum? Yes. Because this ghost is bullshit. Okay. Let me give loving whispers to Noodle Bone. That's stupid. I'm gonna run. Okay. What? Okay, I wanna know what this potion is that I keep seeing. Blue vial, red vial. It's poison. So that was kind of a waste. Sword worth all this hassle? It's really not that much of a hassle. Just occasionally it fucks you. Noodle Bone has truly been a good friend. He yeah, had Noodle Bone is is a legend. Much better than Hanku Chan, for sure. Hanku Chan was was all right. But, but Noodle? Noodle Bone? Man, what a fucking god. Absolute legend. Definitely getting my MVP award. Well, you, you didn't care to shit, Hank. You're just imagining things. You're just... Be any nah nah. Hanku Chan was superfluous. Nah, you're right. You're right. I, I just like triggering Hank. <laughs> Triggered. Oh god damn it! I forgot. I need to cut the boil. Lost in vivo cry of fear. No. What I want to do is I want to cut the pustule in the, in the thicket and then go back to where that gaping mouth was and see if anything happens. Actually, yeah. Honestly, Hanku would have been fine if he could equip shit. But not being able to equip a goddamn thing really limits your, your potential usefulness in a game like this. What's good, Mian? Mm, 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 mm.
Don't you trigger fish me. Holy crap, I have no idea what's going on. I mean, you can ask and I might be able to explain, but really... Okay, 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 okay. Let me try to explain what has transpired this stream. Alright? So, the idea is... We were playing our knight character, and then chat wanted me to reroll as the necromancer, the wizard character, which we did. And over the course of playing as this necromancer character, we got to a jail cell where we freed a man named Lagarde, who was our party member. That was our initial reason for coming to this dungeon story-wise, and Lagarde wanted to go to an ancient city, which has all sorts of fucked up things. You get you basically like it's Pacific Rim in there if you really think about it because there are enemies called uh, I believe they're called uterus and what the uterus does is the uterus after sustaining a little bit of damage ejects a baby still attached via umb umbilical cord that crawls at you and has an attack that literally drains all of your fucking stamina. It's a delightful move. It, it really just... It gives you a boner every single time you get hit by it. Um, and so we're... Our, our immediate goal, I suppose, is to figure out what's going on in the city. But I'm doing optional shit right now. I'm just kind of... Kind of winging it. Yeah, the baby has a ridiculous amount of health. The baby is not easy to kill in the least. We also went into the woods and got a Cursed Sword, which is really good. However, the Cursed Sword makes it to where that Samurai Ghost pops up and just randomly tries to fuck you every once in a while. Adding another layer of RNG to a game that really didn't have enough RNG. So hopefully that explains a little bit as to what the fuck's going on. Don't get hit, it's literally a baby. I mean, I agree with you, Hank, but... You have to tell that to Noodle Bone. And over the course of this stream, we have defeated the giant axolotl god. We have defeated the ghost in the mines. Um, we defeated the crawl. So most of, most of the threats that were present in the last stream of this are no longer really an issue. Thankfully. Yeah, the tit gnome is dead. The tit gnome is absolutely dead. Good riddance. Can I still talk to bugs? Can I? Tit gnome? Yeah. So, if you've seen the little, the little small gargoyle type creatures, those are called gnomes. And they have a mother in the cave area. Which has huge titties that you can slice off. And if you don't slice the titties of the gnome off, uh, it continually attracts baby gnomes so they can they can feed on the mop the mama's titties. And we beat the fuck out of her. We and when you kill her, her legs split open and you can peruse through her wizard's sleeve and acquire a gnome egg. We don't know what to do with the Nomad yet. Thank you, Something Hill Zone, for the one year resub. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Different in hard mode? I presume it's harder. Things are probably going to hit me even harder than they do now. Also, Shakespeare is dead, too. Literally, literally everyone's fucking dead. Although, Shakespeare, when you, when you hear Shakespeare, you're probably thinking of some curly-haired ninny who's going to recite poetry towards you. Shakespeare... And this game is a giant bronze golem with two lanterns for fists that can ignite and kill you in two hits. Uh, he's kind of a piece of shit. I'm not gonna lie. Like he, He's definitely an asshole. However, he's really weak to magic because you can, you can beat the fuck out of him with wizard spells. Is this game supposed to be hard? Yes. This game, I, I would say this game's pretty hard, but most of the difficulty comes from not knowing what it is you're supposed to do. Most of the difficulty is kind of a, a burden of knowledge, so to speak. Like, when you, when you don't know how to tackle a particular enemy, you're more likely to get fucked by it. But once you know that, for example, 
cutting the titties off of the cave gnome mother stops the gnomes from spawning. Uh, it gets a lot more manageable, right? A lot of PPs in this game? Oh yeah, you've missed quite a few PPs tonight, actually. Later, Mr. Weeb. Fucking eggs? I don't know. But there are at least five endings to this game that I can discern. There's... Because we, we actually lost... We got a bad ending, and we got ending E. So A, B, C, D, E. Five, right? Counting. Quick maths. So logic would dictate that there's at least four real endings we can get. So I'm going to do this playthrough. I'm going to do a hard mode playthrough. And then whatever endings we don't get, you can, you can get the game and find yourself. Or you can just look them up on YouTube if they're up there. Another ending if you just leave with the night. We could try it. Let's try it right now. We're right at the entrance. Make love with someone yet? I mean, I fucked a bunny and a, and a bunny nymph in the woods. Does that count? They look like the, the Dead by Daylight killer with the rabbit mask, actually. It's like a field of Scott Juns. How far in the city have you been? Decently far. We've got we've gotten pretty deep in there. Like we saw several of the uterus enemies and this weird fucking spider thing that I want to try to kill next time. And by dash cam so bad, dude. I need to get a Whataburger so bad. You're about to leave? I'm afraid we must part our ways here. I still have unfinished business in the darkness. What do you mean, Lagarde? I can't explain it here, but I must go. Fine, I'll go with you. I'll come with you. I imagine that would also be ending E. Really? We're out in the fucking woods, and you're, you're pulling this shit now? I'm about to get rid of this fucking sword, honestly. If you can get rid of it. Can you destroy items? No, I'm, I'm fucked. I have to deal with this ghost for the rest of the run, pretty much. Just kill the ghost? If we were not successful. Ghosts cannot be harmed by physical... Um physical attack so maybe if i manage to cast a spell on him like 70 fucking times he might die but try talking to it it does not like to talk and will not talk to you ghost is kind of like a fifth party member yeah except he fucks you instead of helping you in any sort of discernible way that's the kind of party member i'd like how did you get your legs back i died amuse I died, and so I had to start over. You know what the respect thing is about? Not sure. Maybe you can find its body? I doubt it, because the sword was in the Tangled Woods. So if it was, if that were the case, I imagine it would be in there. I think that is just the trade-off for having a, a really big dick sword that has a super high critical rate. Try talking to it? Yes. Are you gonna fuck Butterfly Boy again? I still want to know what the fuck is up with that little asshole. There's gotta be a way to turn him into a blood or bu butterfly. And don't don't tell me if you know. I'm 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 wondering aloud. What if one of the bugs in that area can tell me? I don't know. Baby does? He grows up to be a party member, and apparently you can give him to the cat. Although I doubt that, because he says human children and a demon child. I don't know. That's with the craftable fetus. 
I mean, I could make the craftable fetus. What would happen if I made the fetus? And then I, uh... Then I fed it to the demon. The demon fetus. Would that be a f would that be a party foul? Would that be fucked up of me to do? What if that it greatly increases the strength of the demon child feeding it a, a human fetus? I wonder how far this game goes with that sort of thing. Probably pretty damn far from what we've seen so far. I need to see if I can find a, a vial of blood here. Fetus isn't really human? No, not really. A lot of weird arbitrary shit in this game. Wait, did I get these? I did. Nothing's off the table. What about lighting this lantern and then having something pop out of the maiden and fuck me in the ass? Oh, I mean, something came to fuck me in the ass, I guess, but it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Fuck. Alright. So now we have our fetus. Delightful. I'm so glad that Arrow Trap isn't here on this run through. I like it gets a nice feline. I don't. I don't think he is. Also, I just noticed Noodle Bone doesn't have a phobia. That's fucked up. That's that's an example of a positive stereotype having a negative effect. Like, what if, what, if, what if you were a skeleton and you were really scared of something, but people just think just because you're a skeleton you're not afraid of shit? And how that would impact you in life? That would be terrible, wouldn't it? I'm actually kind of bummed out, though, that the, the lizard people don't really play as much of a, a role as I thought. Because I saw the lizard people statues, and the, and the other one there was a lizard man drop that cleaver so I figured they'd be pretty common but nope you assuming he does have a fear I'm just saying if he if he if he did have a fear he could tell me about it like I'd be understanding and shit I'd be a shoulder for him to rattle on you know what I mean and there ain't nothing wrong with that Shoulder for him to act act on. Wait, what's this bug have to say? I know you're in here, you little fuck. Maybe he goes up this way and I have to talk to him over here. Huh. Hmm. Alright, I gotta I gotta Wait, do I really want to risk dying here? No, not really. I don't I don't want to risk falling victim to a, a furry an inbred furry fuck fest. Skeleton might feel anxious about running out of milk. What if his bones aren't white enough? It's like it, it's like in America where everyone expects you to have like brilliant bright white teeth like what you imagine your entire body had to be like that that would be kind of fucked up right and who, who would want to live under those circumstances you can bleach assholes you can bleach bones fair enough i guess dude holy shit I wish you could commit. Never mind. I, I, I wish you could use a certain ability in in combat. I think that would be good. 
Ghost is showing respect. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that means. Demon seed in combat. You got it. You got it. Alright. So I want to see if I missed anything here. And I also, importantly, want to check that mouth. There's an action. What's going on, Phoenix Flame? I could try talking to it again, but the first time it didn't work. And preemptively, because I know someone's going to ask. Yes, I talked to it when it said it was respectful, specifically. Giant blood pit. That leads to the furry fuck fest. And maybe there's something to do with this. Almost looked like the thing moved in the corner of your eye upon entering the room. Bug? Yeah, there's a bug outside. Is there one in here? Let's go get the bugs before we forget. I feel like the, the insect talking ability is really good. I don't know where the bug went, though. The rock to the left, okay. Do I, I don't have bug speak, do I? Do I even have that on this save? Did I fuck it up? No, I don't even have the ability to speak to insects. No fucking wonder. <laughs> no fucking wonder. I could get it. Let's get it. Oh, Lord. Crazy guy trying to talk to but You see a cockroach like, oh, oh, God. Oh, tell me a secret. It's a vile place. Vile for the likes of you. Paradise for the likes of me. So that's a bug that likes seeing... Seeing furries. I guess it's a... I guess it's a flea. Makes sense. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. There's another bug at the beginning of the furry area that I want to... I want to interrogate. I guess I could do that on the way back. I don't have to do that immediately. You know what sounds really good right now, though? A triple meat, triple cheese Whataburger. My tummy's rumbling just thinking about it. Good cop, bad cop, the bugs. Send girl for demon seed. Hank, enough about the demon seed. Can I go this way? And then the samurai ghost attacks me because he's a fucking asshole. I wonder. I wonder. What do you think this one's about? Like, I, I gotta be able to do something with this little guy, right? Can't you stand in front of it? No, won't let you move that way. Pee on him? That would be fucked up. My name's not R. Kelly. an empty party slot you could take him with you maybe that would be interesting actually and then we went in here where we got the relic does this one say the same thing yeah 
wouldn't want to talk to you either if you killed my whole clan. Sure you would, Hank. I think you still would. See, look at this fucking thing. It looks like a trigger fish. It's lying dormant and we can perhaps find some way to awake it. That's what I came back here to look at, to see if breaking those two pustules would wake it up or something. Maybe put it into some sort of agony. Wake it up with a blast vial. Put my seed in it. Okay. Maybe I could feed it the fetus. That's why they call it a fetus, right? Because you're supposed to feed it to people. Feed it a gnome? <laughs> a fucking gnome egg. Alright, we're going back to the city. We're gonna see if we can find some new shit here. Still interested in the gnome egg? That's the thing about this game. There's a lot of interesting things. And I'm sure when I, when I decide, okay, I figured out all I can on my own without insane trial and error, I'm gonna look some of this shit up and be like, what the fuck? I think maybe I'll do that for my hard mode playthrough. Like, hard mode, I'll, I'll let people tell me how to do things, and, like, all bets are off. We can just do whatever the fuck and read up on whatever the fuck. But the first run, we, you gotta do it blind. I mean, cheat? Yeah, basically. Basically. It's tantamount to cheating in this game, because, like I said, the strongest ability you can possibly have in this game is knowledge of what to do. So if you... If you look it all up, it is basically cheating, in my opinion. Yes, already too. I went down the bloody hole. It leads to the furries. Am I high? Oh, by the way, I need to go back and talk to that bug. Dear crafting bullshit interactions and RPGs is cool, though it is. The thing about that though is I'm not very I'm not very creative when it comes to that sort of thing at all. Eating each other, humans are savages. Yeah. Most of this bug dialogue is not exactly the most compelling shit in the world. I mean, I guess that's uh, like you're literally expecting good info from insects. Don't bugs eat each other. That's true. They also traumatically inseminate one another, which is delightful, in my opinion. Well, I'm still awake, but this shit is entrancing. Is low mind cause- I don't think anything actually appears, it's just bullshit. Okay, so we're gonna fight the body snatcher again, because that trench coat's pretty fucking lit. But first... Tip out the hidden walls in the trees. We gave you an item, but the skill seems worthless on multiple runs. Yeah, I agree. It's something that helps out the first playthrough, but it's knowledge that carries over to subsequent ones. The body snatcher. Oh! No, this is the ghost. He's there, but... I'm still- I'm still fucking tripping out over that gigantic, uh, vagina monster that we- we died to in the city last time. Stash rooms, not puzzles. I really haven't put too much effort into finding that out or not. To be blunt with you. Right, I'm gonna try to just burst down the torso like a fucking idiot. Okay, that went poorly. I think I lost now. He's gonna he's gonna fuck me. This guy actually seems like 
a dude you kind of want to avoid. Noodle Bone lost an arm. That's fucked up. Talk to the samurai ghost. I've tried and nothing really meaningful happens. Okay, we got him, but at what fucking cost? Poison, bleeding, and infection. Okay, say goodbye to your arm. I think she still has an arm. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Okay, so now she's bleeding. I do have a cloth fragment, so that's okay. And then get the white vial so this dude doesn't get fucked. And I think I should probably save. And now we get the trench coat, which is fucking dope. Huge dick physical defense. Happened that no bleed ring? That was a different playthrough. Talking help you in any counters? It actually helps against the gnomes. Versus the gnomes, it's actually fairly potent because you can stun them by talking. As the knight, you can actually dick the gnomes down by, uh, by the spam talking. Why the fuck you cut the hand? Because the they were infected and I have nothing to cure infection so they would die if I didn't cut it. My body is weak. However, this is what we're gonna do. Loving whispers. Full body. Now I'm insane, but I have opium. Which happens to be... 100% sanity restoration. Infection, death, progress. It just kills them after a couple minutes. Okay, so chat. If you were if you were a good at puzzle solving sort of man, what would you figure the solution for this kind of thing is? Do you think it's actually a puzzle, or do you think it's just a... It's just not... Because it, it looks like you can open this door. Practically solid stone and no way of breaking it. So there's got to be a way to do something here. This side is a template, but one side is much smaller than the other is a thing. Like, I, I'm sure it's a puzzle, but I don't know what it requires me to do. Statues say when you click on them, they always say the same thing. Standing ominously is too heavy to move, it won't even budge. The key would be in the tiles with the Cheeto dust. Two that, that are headless? Yeah, no, it's the same thing. Maybe if I find a statue head, I can do something with it. But I remember trying that the first time through this area. I also really don't like the noises in this this part of the game. They're actually pretty pretty ominous. This statue is me as hell though. <laughs> Made some good ass progress. Yep. Later, Phoenix Flame. with the different colored ones? I don't think so. Price the ghouls don't infinitely respawn. Nothing really respawns in this game, which is good. Although I'm pretty sure there's a zombie over there that I don't really don't really want to deal with right now. Okay, let's give him some salami. And some moldy bread for the for the nice young lady. And some cabbage. Levitation spell a big, strong brute to come open this jar of pickles. Feed him that chick's arm. No, I'm saving that for later. Going to the city? I I am? It's right here? I thought those could be stairs. I don't 
know where I, if I should do the the cursed city or the alive city first. Wait, I just realized. I think opening that shortcut let us get to this side. Okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to have a, a pretty difficult encounter here, more, more likely than not. Yeah, he's fucking fast. Literally all of my characters have a phobia against this asshole too. Let's go on Sim Sim. God damn it, dude! Thank you, Noodle. Jesus Christ! I just dick him now. Yeah, you hit his little fucking knee. Okay, we won. Search him. Me cleaver. I was about to say. I was about to be pissed if beating him actually summoned the fucking, uh, summoned the dude again. I was like, oh no. Deal with this ghost? I stole his sword and he's gonna, uh, presumably chasing me for the rest of the game, which is <laughs> something. Fucked up thing is I can't. What the fuck is that? I have like no healing items left. God damn it. I guess I can I can use the whisper attack on myself. The moment you come close come to close vicinity of the beast, you smell some repulsive odor emanating from the filthy front inspect. So it's a Smash Brothers player. The smell hits you like a wall. It doesn't help that you see maggots crawling under the surface of the fur. Heads or ta- Oh my god. Encountering this thing forces a coin flip? What the fuck? Heads or tails, chat. Tails, I'm going with Tentacle Rat. He'd never lead me. He'd never lead me in the wrong direction. You cannot fight against it. You vomit violently to agree that you damage your lungs. Hit that fucking head. It's the Lord of Flies, apparently. I'm surprised I didn't get an immediate game over. Harry bomb. <laughs> okay. We defeated it. Two small seeds. Wait. Excuse me? Huh. The only place I can think of that would use seeds is that the little thing, the little underground creatures were farming something, if you remember.
And I have a, I have a healing spell, Memer. It's called Loving Whispers. Okay, you're getting fucking annoying as hell. Please go. Alright. On repeat runs, do not pick this fucking sword up. Lord of the Flies fur. Delightful. What does the ghost do? He chases me because I stole his sword, and he's never gonna leave me alone for the rest of the playthrough, it looks like. Just kidding, the other dude I did, Hank. Pretty sure I did. Okay. No, you didn't? You kicked him? Hank. It's okay. I promise. It's alright. We're gonna see more of those dudes. Those those do not seem... Wow. There's another one, huh? Can you flirt the ghost? I don't think so. That would be dope if you could. So I knew that the moon guards were gonna be repeat offenders, but I didn't really expect the Lord of the Flies to be an enemy that just is, is seemingly ever-present. Okay. Carefully. We, we've seen this part in the dream version of this world. Losing your mind? I can't, I can't comprehend how good these deals are. Oh, I have more opium? Holy shit. Okay. Didn't even know that. What the fuck is that? A scarab, huh? Well, fuck you. Okay, we need to remember, chat, we know something about that type of enemy. Do you remember what it is? Very, very early on in the game, the knight that's by the, uh, the knight that's by the Iron Shakespeare says that that monster spits out poison and shit when it dies, and it's the same corpse. Good shit, Russ. You got it. What are you doing up, dude? Good morning. This fucking ghost. I'm actually... We're not gonna- we're not gonna fuck with it. Are you running out of food? Yes! As a matter of fact, I am. I'm actually entertaining the idea of starting another fucking run because of this ghost. <laughs> this is starting to really- Oh, fuck. What the hell is this? Should we poke it? No reaction. A lot of blood, that doesn't bode well. <gasps> Fuck you! What an asshole. There's a lot of herbs here, goddamn. Can't imagine if the respect you gain won't lead to some interaction with the ghost. I can talk to him, but it's probably going to result in me dying because, I, like I said, despite the respect, I have tried to 
engage in conversation before. It's like talking to Hank. Will he talk to you? Maybe, but do you really want to talk to Hank? Do you really think that's a good idea? Like, do you think you're actually going to get some sort of concrete benefit from doing so? Like, if Hank went up to you and said, Oh, yeah, I have a little respect for you. <laughs> Would you be like, Oh, yeah, let me just talk to this dude. We're bros now. What the fuck is that? Let's not find out. Critical hit, baby. Alright. I'll, I'll talk to it, but I don't think it wants to talk. Maybe I would have actually been able to talk to it with the option. Bugs? Spiders? Arachnids, though. They aren't insects. Let's go down to Pride Scum. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That's a tobacco. Alright. What's down here, Wu? Name the scale, yeah, his name's Noodle Bones. Cavern seems man-made partially, okay. Interesting. Yeah, Auntie, that's what it's supposed to be, I'm pretty sure. Okay. A blue herb. So what is this? Ancient table, multiple hand-shaped embeddings. It's soaked in the blood of war. A spear that matches the strength of 40 men. 